All right, we good? We we gonna crash this time? Dude, my thing is bugging, bro. I don't. <laughs> I really don't know what it's on right now. Like my thing is hard key bugging. Hold up. Womp womp. Dude, I don't even freaking know. I just lowered the thing to 1080p, so I think we're fine now. I don't know why it keeps acting like this, dude. It's so weird. Okay. But I mean, the game runs normal. It's just the thing. That's fine. We're still connected to VATSIM and everything. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and let this APU start up, which is now on. Go ahead and remove those chocks. Chocks have been removed. There we go. And we'll go ahead and call for push. And prepare for pushback and departure. On upon airways, please. Uh, no GSX, please. Are they speaking in a different language? What? All right, cool. That's fine. We're going to do our before start checklist. Flight the doors closed and locked. MCP has a V2 plus 10 of 157, heading 322 out to 10,000 feet. Uh, takeoff speeds. We'll go ahead and check those. Let's catch up here. All right. Take off. Oops. All right, takeoff speeds. We got V1 as 136, VR as 137, V2 as 147. Looks checked. V2 plus 10 is up there as 157. CD prefiles completed. Rudder and arrow and trim is free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing has been completed. Actually, no, it hasn't. Where are we going? All right, so we go airport briefing, and we are going to. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Airport. There we go. And I could get it to daytime, please. That'd be great. All right, so we're heading to 32, uh, 32 left today. That's a taxi. Push on to Echo. We'll take Echo 1 and uh, Bravo f Bravo 4. We'll hold short Whiskey 1 there. So that looks good. That's completed. An anti-collision light comes to the on position. Let's get it. We'll go ahead and get our fuel pumps on. Switch over to the APU gen. Yacht Ampener comes on as well. Uh, Alice, are you online? Roger, about to be pushed from stand 9. Oscar, uh, it's like a traffic. All right, there we go. All right, uh, Roger. We were tuned to the U.S. Unicom, so uh, we couldn't hear you. Got to go to 22.8, by the way. I was about to say. I don't even know why it was on here. All right, we'll go. Uh, we'll just go straight back, actually. All right, release parking brake. Oh yeah, they're speaking English. I was like, what? 
All right, so parking brakes get released. There we go. Cool. <clears throat> well, that's why they that's they're just saying more than normal. Here, uh, push all the bun, Mr. Chosen with the two dollars for the Ram Fund. Appreciate it, my guy. Ram Fund, thank you so much. Visa of the ten dollars and the two dollars. Thank you guys. Money in the chat if you do have the emoji. Chill just sent two dollars. Hello, what's going on? What you got? Um, sorry, not what you got. What's going on, Cathay? How are you doing, man? Here you go for the right. Ram Fund. Appreciate that, Chilzy man. Hydraulic say, come on, B, come off, packs off. We'll go ahead and slam on those brakes. Bleeth comes on, and then we'll go ahead and ground. Thank you, Visa, and, and uh, Chilzy. I do appreciate that so much, man. Yeah, like I said, we should be fine now. I I lowered the stream down to 1080p for now because something's bugging with the computer. I'll I'll probably work on it this weekend with stream because my game's running fine. It's just the stream and RAM usage. Anyways, uh, how you already starting push? Yes, sir. Inbound. Oh, let's go appreciate it. Is uh, runway 3-4 still closed? I don't think it is. Somebody said it was still open, so we'll still land 1-6. Um, I'm on Unicom now. 24, we're at fuel. Going straight back push today as well. So we'll let that go back. There we go. Butter, what do you need help with? Uh, he just needs mods and stuff. Only post 50, you're about to run into a couple of the airplane right behind you. Yep, we see him. I told him I was pushing first, but he still went. That's fine. We're stopping here. Flight line. Uh, this is for all the pond 15. You did not tell anybody you were pushing first. Buddy, I, I just told you. I The second I said you weren't on Unic, I just... <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're spooling. Uh, you need a Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, da, da, da. You already started before stream? No, the stream crashed, so we just started it back up. Like I said, we should be fine now, so if we aren't, oh, well. But that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna ask my dad to let me to get me the 737 800 in liveries. Just ask for the plane. Are you on Xbox inbound? I think that's what it was. All right, looks stable. Start valve is gone. We'll go ground on this one. Continuous on number one or number two. Got EG alive. Temps rising. Looking for 25 percent. Uh, join for the RJTT, RJSK, and are you flying? Yeah, we probably are. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's going on, Harrison? Yo, what's up, pals? I think I'm gonna start putting some Microsoft Vats and Viz and stream. Uh, when I, when I can, gonna start tuning in on my new channel. Sounds good, Harrison. Sounds good, man. You'll do well, my guy. Uh, did the leaderboard go? Used to have it back when you first got guns. I had it, but then it's like so. What I have on my streams now, having another like a leaderboard on like the right side would just get the stream a lot cluttery. So I'll find a way to make it like a leaderboard, but it's just so cluttery with all that stuff on the screen, in my opinion. Push back time, yes sir. Simpa, I'm back. Welcome back, Shaq. Hopefully with my GPQ, I could finally function X point twelve. Oh yeah, you probably will. Hopefully, I'm on PC. Oh well, yeah, just ask for the plane. You don't have to buy liveries on PC. You better FPS? Oh, yeah. You probably will. When, uh, then you don't need to ask for it. I was about to say, yeah, you don't need to ask for liveries. You're on PC. Really do appreciate that. Chillsy with the $2. And, uh, Mr. Visa with the 10 bomb. I appreciate that, man. Alright, we go. Auto brakes RTO. Start valve is off. We'll go continuous. Gen 1 comes on. Gen 2 comes on. APU comes off. If you bleed, packs. Get isolation valve. Flaps 5. Plus five again set. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. We're going for nine or not. I said 25 likes earlier. We're going for 90 likes this evening. Help us out. It's very much appreciated. All right, spoiling that up. How does the stream look, by the way? Because all I could tell is it's a little bit more delayed than usual. Confirm that we get to take off first. Yeah, 15. You could go ahead. I can't move with you behind me, anyways. Roger. Alright, so we got flaps at 5 degrees. All that looks good. We'll go ahead and do our before taxi checklist. So generators are on. Pro Pete's coming on now. Pro Pete's on. Anti is not required. Uh, engine start switches are to the continuous position. Recall looks good. Auto brake set RTO. Engine start levers, idle detent. Flight controls will go ahead and do that. So full right, neutral, full left, neutral, full up, neutral. Oops. Full down. Neutral, full right, neutral, full left, neutral. Looks good. Flex shows feel good. Ground equipment, we, uh, we're clearing the front, clear on the uh, left side. I'm trying to make sure that plane's good, and we're clearing the right side. Before taxi checklist has been complete, taxi light's about to come on here once I know he's good and gone. We'll get the T-cast on to a TA only for now. Get this thing moving. We'll wait for him to get on out of here. 
Yeah, low key, I think I might start streaming on 1080p anyways, because I was going to do 1440p, but for right now, 1080p, is, I'm actually noticing a little bit of a difference in performance in the game anyways. I think it looks fine though, yeah. Phenomenal sounds? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't need 500, um, no, bro. <laughs> How much is Phoenix? Yeah, it's about 60 bucks. Ground, Live in Canada? Uh, oh, yeah. on the Where are we flying to? We're doing right now. Oh, Osaka, Japan, over to. Uh, where is he going? Three we're doing Osaka, Japan, to uh, one, Hanita. Charlie we're going to go from Bravo Hanita one, to. Bravo three, Bravo two, Bravo one, and Whiskey one. Osaka. Osaka traffic on upon one five, taxing the, the uh, runway street to left following the company 73 uh, Osaka. All right, cool. And Osaka, uh, the Park pod, get on set. Five following company Tax lights on. Cam quality as well. Yeah, I know. I just need another camera too, because this is it's just not good in low light, virtual pilot. It's just only good in like daytime light. So until I can get, I more so just need a ring light. If I can just get a ring light, then I'll be fine. But I don't got a ring light right now. All right, so we're gonna start moving her here. Now I see him moving. Let me make sure he's good. Yep, we're good here. Do a quick spin around here. Get this thing going. Yo, why are you taxing so freaking fast? Oh my. All right, looks good. Let's keep it going. Talk Where is that? This is in Japan. On bond, 14 is crossing Just using the conversion rate. It's 85 Osaka. inbound. Oh, jeez, that's crazy. Still expensive. Oh yeah, it is. Sorry, Not three, two, right. I'm on PC. Nice inbound. I heard you. That's sick, man. Sam, I think his cam is the same. Yeah, it's it's the camera is fine. It's just the fact that it's weird. Twenty knot taxi is a normal taxi speed. Yeah, but he got up out of this gate. He said, "Nah, we're not waiting." Flight time. It's flight time. Just space it, bro. I'm not gonna dissect your thing just so I could read it correctly. I'm uh, chowing down on some Chipotle right now. What's up? What's going on, Tricky man? Hope your Chipotle is good. What kind of bowl did you get, man? Maybe Elon Musk would, bro. Gotta go see it. We'll see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button. We're trying to hit our like goal of... Um, oh, hold on. Let's call it this tag. This active. Soccer traffic on the pond. One five crossing my street. Two right at Charlie. One continue taxiing via Charlie. Oh, or soccer. Poof. Just had a seizure there. All right, gun cross here. Strobes and a wing light comes on for that crossing. And we'll go ahead and do a spoiler test. Traffic, Galnipon 745, crossing around with T2 right, the following company aircraft to Osaka. Cool, let's continue this taxi. Like I said, dude, it's so beautiful over here. I didn't know they had a world update, so I downloaded the uh, newest world update here. I don't know how new it is, but we got it, so it looks pretty nice. Go guys, now see you. We'll see you inbound. Thanks for stopping in, man. Hope you have a good rest of your evening. Chat Owls uh, likes Flightline is official. I said flight time, Chris. I swear if you're going to be acting like this, bro, I'm just going to time you out, fam. I'm, <laughs> yesterday, you are already on my meat, bro. So if you're just going to continue doing that today, I, I don't care. <laughs> I have no remorse. Uh, where do I find my computer? I Where where do I find my computer for GSX? Just, oh, your computer ID? I don't know if you literally make computer ID, but just look up FSDT installer. You should be fine from there. Let's go to Micah Messer. How are you doing, man? Legend in the chat. How are you doing today? If you guys are just now joining in like him, though, please, please be sure to hit that like button. We had to restart that stream. I don't know if I'm going to delete that other part, but it's fine. We'll keep it. Random question. Chipotle is real Mexican food? I don't think it is. Me, personally, I think it's Americanized Mexican food. That's just my opinion. So we're having a license and buying like your own food uh, just makes it 30 times better. Uh, What's going on, Brian Tampa? Hope you're doing well, man. How are you doing today? Can't wait for the community flight now that I'm a little bit more advanced with the 737. Yeah, like I said, not this weekend, but definitely sometime next week. Uh, we'll definitely be doing some community hops. That should be pretty fun. Yeah, here we go. We're almost ready to rock and roll out of here. Yeah, I just need like a light because I was testing it out early. If I just get a light and bright up my face, the camera doesn't get this like freaking fuzzy. And it's only at nighttime because I don't really have that much, you know, light in my room. I run off at of LEDs. So, <laughs> sounds great. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, the first week uh, back in school break, I don't think anybody's in a great mood for others to mess around. That's what I'm saying, dude. I, <laughs> I can't handle it, bro. Uh, perfect Al is not banned from a snack. Chills and Tricky banned from getting a snack, by the way. They, they eat Chipotle. Nah, I don't think they should get banned for that. But uh, I just don't think Chipotle is real authentic Mexican food because it's not. Legend, not nah, you definitely are. You taught me how to fly the 737 in, uh, in X-Plane, so I definitely give it that to you. All right, so we're going to be on the uh, 
Asuka? Or is that just Osaka? Anyways, this is the departure room. We're going to be following this. It's just an RNF straight to the uh, Osaka uh, waypoint. So lining up on runway 3 to left Osaka. You lining up or are you taking off flight line? Which one? <laughs> which, uh, which one are you going to be up to today? Oh, Chipotle ate Rex, uh, Mexican food at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's bad. I'm just saying, like, I don't think it's authentic Mexican food. Authentic Mexican food has to be at, like, the most sketchiest places you've ever seen. Because they have the most authentic food. There's a place where I live where it's, like, it looks like it's basically, like, just, like, a shack. But their food is so good, bro. What's going on, Ryan? Chipotle is so good. It hits sometimes. It just feels bland and empty. Yeah, because it is. It's, just, it's literally just, like, fast food. Just healthier. I mean, it's still good, but, yeah. Hey, into Tokyo, you? Yes, sir. Mr. Just Pilot, how are we doing? Dude, sketchy places always have the best food. I'm telling you, bro. The the freaking places that look like they're ran down, you'll get mugged the second you walk into. Mm, amazing food. <laughs> Makes no sense, but it's the it's the most amazing food. Uh, ready for takeoff? Yes, sir, Sim Pilot. Here we go. Good you, I'm doing good. Just Pilot, hope you're doing well. Osaka, uh, Osaka traffic. Osaka? Osaka? All in the pond, 14's taking off. Right, we'll runway three, Osaka. We're not going to forget to set the clock here. In Osaka traffic on the pond, 1-5 at uh, Whiskey 1. We're going to be lining up parting, uh, behind the departing 7-3. On oh, my shoot to left, Osaka. It's had a seizure because my head starts scratching. All right. Go engine mode. Get that turned off. Okay. The hitbox. There we go. Cool. I'm telling you, though. Chef's kiss from Brendan. Yes, sir. I was bullying Vatson. Bro, this is literally flight line. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Chris, bro. All right, we'll go ahead and get all the throttle on. We'll get VNAV and LNAV arm as well. There he goes, ramming down the runway there. We are clear on the uh, left side. We've got traffic downfield departing. We'll take note of that, or we'll remember that. It's not like we're just going to take off right behind them. We are going to have to wait just for a little bit, though, for the same direction of flight, so just know that. Let's go ahead and information alpha. How are we doing? Another legend in chat. Hope you're doing well. Oh, look how cool, like, the uh, things are down there. That's actually sick. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, if y'all see those flashing red lights, those are wind turbines. It's actually kind of cool. All right, cool. Not too bad, thanks. Of course, man. I think those are wind turbines. Oh, no, those are just, like, the marker things. All right, landing lights come on as well. Uh, we'll get the strobes back on. Wing light comes on. They should have already been on. And we'll keep all that up. Good. All right, before takeoff checklist, it's just the flaps and all that. So flaps set to five degrees with a green light. Stabilizer trim, 5.3 units at a 5.36. Uh, did it go down? Get that down just a little bit more. There you go, it's a little bit better. Cool. All right, we'll wait for him to get on out of here then we'll go yeah i think what we're gonna do instead of making this weird wrap i think we're just gonna make a uh we'll make a make make a well, make a right well. turn here three six zero i think that's a lot better then we'll go direct to uh direct to Ascara. looks good mr mike and messer just now joining the alice fan club appreciate it man if you do have the membership emojis go ahead and spam welcome for him. appreciate you joining the alice fan club man mike that means a lot Ryan time for takeoff? Yes, sir, Cathay. I'm waiting for him to call clear, but hey, I won't judge you on this flight, promise. Oh, my. I won't say with you. That's all I won't say. Who's Brendan if I was guest Owls? Yes, sir. I'm waiting for him to call out. I don't think he's going to call it. Membership laps. Hey, you're all good, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for renewing it. And Osaka traffic. It's on the pond. One five on the ground here at uh, Osaka. Still holding that uh, 3-2 left. Is departing traffic out of 3-2 clear? What's going on, Classico? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. You both got blocked there for Osaka traffic. Uh... Oh, he's caught up the second I did. Osaka traffic on upon 1 5 departing runway 3 2 left on the Shri 6 0 heading. Osaka. Alright, let's go. Uh, ahead and go. Yeah, you're gonna run into us, bud. Never mind, cancel takeoff clearance for uh, on upon 1 5 Osaka. D you gotta say. <laughs> Why do uh, I see some memberships orange and some with blue? It's just the month. So the longer you're a member, uh, they change color. So I think orange is like, I don't even remember my own colors. 
I think orange is like three months, blue is two months, something like that. All right, Osaka traffic on up on 14 is finally clear of three, two left, Osaka. And Osaka traffic on upon one five taking off runway Shree two left the uh, Shree six zero heading on uh, Osaka. All right, cool. And all the puns so far gonna line up and clock. wait behind the departing traffic go Osaka. We'll start that roll. Wait for forty. Forty two conditions, Tugga. Small nose down pressure. We've got thrust set. Airspeed's alive. 80 knots. 100 knots. V1. Break 2. And pause the rate climb. Drip. So we're going to be following this 360 heading because should I fly this departure correctly? Like off of LNAV? We'll fly it off of LNAV. How about that? I was going to do a 360 heading. You know, Osaka traffic on the pond 1 5. We're actually going to be climbing out of Runway Street 2 left on the Osaka, or Osaka uh, 4 departure. Osaka. All right. Uh, just uh, say when you're uh, clear of the 360 left, uh, thank you. We'll go on the pond info. All right, let's go ahead and hand fly this departure here. I was not going to do it, but then I realized you get to hand fly this for a while, so that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and get that nose pulled up just a little bit more. There we go. Flaps clean up speed. A little bumpy out of here, that's fun. And auto brakes go to the off position, taxi lights come off. Micah saying <laughs> that takeoff center line is their crosswind. There was a little bit that pushed us over, but it's more so me still trying to know how to maintain center line with rudder pedals. I'm not the best at that, I won't lie to you, there's no excuse for that. Hoping to, hoping to get stream early next week. Nice, Micah. I'll be there. Hopefully, I'll be there, actually. Won't say I will, but hopefully. I'll be there. All right. Continue hand flying this. Crosswind correction to help. Yeah. I need. It's more so me learning how when I take off, I need to throw my ailerons into the wind. I'm not really doing that. I tried to, but I end up overthinking it. And instead of doing just the ailerons, I throw the rudder into the wind, too. Which just jacks the whole thing up, which is why I usually come off the center line when taking off. So I need to learn how to do that part a little bit better. Actually, not a little bit better, a lot better. Alright, we'll call clear. And a soccer traffic on the pond, 1 5, clear runway 3 2, climb via the soccer rough 4 departure, flying to, to the north side of the field of soccer. And the soccer traffic and we'll uh, out of the pilot pilot one. 745, taking off uh, 3 to left. Uh, we're taking the right hand turn to come out on the uh, soccer. 310 is getting set. Oh, bumpy there. All right, 310 making that turn. Let's get out of here, folks. We'll call out when we're climbing out of here once we get a little bit further from the airfield. All right, let's go ahead and get some tunes back on. I just love oh, flying out of here, now, though. just because it's so like uh, it's so densely populated. That there's so many buildings, so many houses. It's, it's like so cool. Like, look at this. And the clouds and everything. Oh man. Awesome takeoff. Appreciate it, Simpilot. We could have really maintained centerline a lot better there, but hey, there was zero cross in my takeoff. Perfect. Yeah, mine wasn't. <laughs> uh, it was smooth, but I was all the way on the left side. So, is there a second one? Yes, sir, Tricky. There's or Trixie. There's gonna be or Tricky. There's gonna be like three legs actually so we're doing this leg we're gonna do another one and then another one back to osaka so yes yeah, so there's about three legs today look what i sent you i got you give me a second man 
Honestly, want to do normal apology for being rude for the past during streams. Honestly, it's my depression I've been dealing with. No excuse for it either. We'll take a break. See, right, we'll see you, Chris. Man, hope you feel better, man. I don't. I'm not really pressed about it. I just, uh, I don't really like being trolled 24/7. So that's the only reason. I, I understand that. What's going on, Caden? How are you doing, man? Does it join VC? PNG default sounds are better. I don't know. I, I think the sound fact is a lot better for him. Not gonna lie. Probably have Alice help me with it. What happened? What's the problem with that? I can try to help you. Yeah. What? Uh, what happened? If you want to send a message on Discord, I can help you out. Can what is he trying to get fixed? Uh, ain't on PC, but isn't GSX free? No, GSX costs money, Adam. My GSX keeps crashing when I open it. People are having so many issues with GSX that are new to it. I feel like something happened with the thing. Yeah, I, I have no clue. Uh, blue is one month, and uh, two months is orange through or two through five months is uh orange, pink. Six to eleven months since purple is one plus here. Nice. Okay, there we go. Lisa, I made these so long ago, so I don't really remember. Let's talk of traffic. Uh, uh, do I have to rebuy GSX? Right, you shouldn't have to rebuy right GSX. In, uh, one, one, if you one, have one, your right same now. account, you shouldn't. If you have a different account, then yeah. All right, passing out of ten thousand here. Landing lights can come to the off position. Auto. Nope, not strobes. Wing light can come off. Double ping cabin and uh, seatbelt signs. We can go ahead and get that off for now. Looks good to me. Cool. Uh, if your GSX is crashing every single flight, you need to reinstall or update it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, that, that's weird. Uh, okay, for the next slide, can you press ET on the clock? Yeah, that's how you get your block time. I'm not trying to mess with you. There's a way. Uh, I was there the other day. Oh, yeah, what was it? ET? I know it was something over here. Yeah, I think it actually is ET. Now, I, I hit one of these. It was like a... I think it was, it was TCSR. It was that TCSR crap. That, uh... That made you time accelerate. <laughs> that was stupid. I don't think I've updated GSX's months. What up? What version are you on? I'm on the. I try to stay on the newest one because I think the last time I checked is when I bought the Louisville scenery, and that was the last time I checked. So there's probably another one since then. Because GSX, if you haven't realized, they update GSX like every like 20 days. I don't know why, but I mean they add good stuff. They added that new push pull thing, but it's push pull, and I don't really know how to work it. Just it's basically. That's only going to be used for like GSX preset airports like it because I don't know how to do that myself. So, bro, whatever I sent you, I can't stop laughing about it. I'll check it. Give me a second, man. Uh, hey, man, what's going on, Dota? How you doing, man? Glad to see you guys are just now joining in. Please be sure to hit that like button in the freaking face. It does help out the channel. I don't know what happened to that last part of the stream. I think we're just going to. I don't want to delete it. I wish there was a way to merge streams together, dude. I really don't like how you, could, you can't merge streams together. Because it makes me mad how I did the whole intro on that one and I didn't do an uh, intro in the, in the next one. You know, I'm just going to stop babying about it. I'll just delete it because it was like 10 minutes of me just setting up the plane. So, I don't know. I installed GSX and reinstall. Yeah, try that. I don't know. Maybe I'm installing into the wrong folder. Make sure it's going into the right folder. That's a big one. Uh, what rudder pedals did you get? If you check the description, Mike, it has the link with the uh, Thrustmaster TFRPs. They're, they're pretty intro level rudders other than the Logitech ones. just like the other ones. 4.8k subs, well, there you go. I told you, past you soon enough. Hey, we're trying. I won't lie to you, most of that is from YouTube Shorts. A short I made like a while ago, like freaking two months ago almost, has like almost the mil views. So that's where most of it's coming from. But I know a good 1,000 of that has actually been from streams in like the last two weeks. So I was checking my analytics. I was like, I wonder how much is really from the YouTube Short. And I realized I only have like, I think 2,000 something subs from the Short, which is still a lot. But another thousand of those are just from streams alone in the past two weeks. So I was like, wow, we're we're moving. So I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah. Uh, nice greening around. Oh, yeah. It's it's lovely out here. I I really do like this area to fly in. Like I said, I've never even actually flown here before, like ever. Not even like offline. I, I don't think I've ever just said, hey, let's fly to Japan or something. Y'all see the time though, 24 minutes. Like I said, this is a very, very, very short flight today. So basically it's up and down, standard gun switch that. Up and down flight. Our top of descent is probably already up up and coming. Uh, we'll see what we got here. The yeah, top of descent is a little over 178 miles. So up and down flight. Edit them together. I know you can edit them together, but how do you do that? Because then it just posts that as like a normal video. I don't want to post it as a video. I want it to be a stream. Why can't I gamble? You got to give uh, it a second. Just looking on flight radar 24, it looks like they're running using runway 5 for takeoff and landing today. All up on 14. 
All right, we're playing for uh, runway five for on upon one five. Thanks, fourteen. All right, yep. so planning for runway five now because they're not really using that. So we'll go ahead and we'll check out the uh, what do we got? Five. Do I have to do an RNAV? Oh my gosh, I haven't done an RNAV in a minute. Got the ILS All 16. The is also going to be using the 5 for arrival. Dude, we do a VOR or like an LNAV approach in there. I think I'm just going to take a normal one. We'll just visually fly it in. We're descending via this one again. Looks good. Cool. We'll throw that in. And let's check out what we're using here for that. All right, cool. And that's just a whip in, and then we uh, we manually fly that in. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna basically be manually flying that whole thing in. So we'll descend probably like, what does it want us to be at? We'll read the charts, but it's saying we gotta bypass that at a uh, one eight zero. That's a little little weird. We'll figure it out. That's a later problem. Japan is amazing. Oh yeah, it is. I I absolutely love it. Like I said, I literally just started flying here, but I already love it. It's it's super cool, here, man. Especially the freeware series, like the one we just got out of, that's not payware, that's a freeware airport, and it looks super good, so that's why I like it. Bro said, ooh. Uh, gonna hop off for a bit, I'll catch a second, like Tyrox sent me a DM on Discord, uh, and I'll look at it when I get back to the Sounds good, Chosie, we'll see, man. Peace. Say, welcome to Japan. <laughs> uh, he's doing heists. Wish I could stream more, I know it will help you stream like every day. Yeah, I try to. That's, that's what I'm saying, most of the... That's why I was saying getting 1k from streaming to me sounds crazy, but it's also making sense because yeah, I am streaming like almost every day. So yeah, I <laughs> feel like I should be getting that kind of stuff with that much dedication. You know? I feel like if I just keep going, I keep getting good, good responses. You know what I mean? I think it's just like a, it's a win and a lose thing. Like I lose time to fly when I don't want to stream, but then again, I'm slow. I'm slowly growing. You know what I mean? So I think it's, it's a, it's a win lose, you know? I don't mind, like, the only time I really fly now, other than, like, the last two days, is when I'm streaming. Like, I don't have any time to just stream for fun by myself anymore, but, or just fly by myself, but yeah. The AT is true block time, that's what you're at right now, and that was a chrono, which is equivalent to, uh, of a stopwatch, that's why it resets that one hour, it makes sense, there you go. Japan's amazing, oh yeah. I think I'm gonna fly RJTT with you, but, like, not on Batson, because I'm banned. What did you put your name to? Because I was trying to see the... I didn't know. I put my actual name on like the the fill out form, just my username in the game. I put that to Brimmy, so that's why I haven't got banned or anything. It's because my actual name isn't is is showing as my actual name, but my just my username to fly around is like anything. I was like, oh, that makes more sense. That's why what you call it got banned because the name he was flying around with, like on Batsim, had his name, and then his actual thing he signed up with didn't have his name either. So that's why. I, that makes so much sense now. I was like, huh? That, I, I get it now. Must be nice not to have a full-time job. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> basically what it is. How is it possible you play a Troit by LAX Superlative? That guy sounds like he probably has copyrights on his song. So from all the porn 14, they're actually using 3-4 left. So playing for that instead, my bad. Roger, 3-4 left now for only upon the 1-5. Thanks, 14. 3-4 left for only upon the 7-4-5, too. Thank you. Alright, so 3-4 left is what we're planning for now. <laughs> I think we got an ILS for 3-4 left. Yep, ILS Zulu 3-4 left. So we're going to descend on that same one. Execute. Let's step through that as well. Like I said, these are busy flights. And I won't lie to you, in real life, they'd be using like 787s for this. So I just, I, I don't even understand what they got going on. What kind of arrival is this? Yeah, we're not going to do all that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go from... Here, let, let's be smart here. We're going to go from that Yumbo. I think that's what it is. We're going to say Yumbo and then direct to Arlington. So Yumbo to Ar Arlon. Yumbo from there, Arlon. Then from there, we can join the localizer instead of flying over it because that's a different arrival anyway. So that's fine. Top of climbs coming up shortly. We'll be down here already in about 16 minutes. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. We're going for 90 likes this evening, right? 23. Help us out. It is very much appreciated. Yeah, he didn't use his real name. Say my Vatsa name is my actual name of my username. Yeah, that's what I didn't I didn't understand. Because I was like, I was like, what do they what do they mean by their his name wasn't correct? I didn't know that, you know, I I, I was looking into it, I was like, oh, that's a username. Like you don't have to put your actual name for the username, but for your actual account you do. And I was like, oh. 
So I looked at it. I was like, let me make sure I actually did. And I was like, oh, yeah, I did. So I'm chilling. I thought I was... I, I started stressing out when I saw V2 or V1 got uh, got banned for that crap. They start asking for, like, his, like, birth certificate and stuff. I find that so overwhelming with Vatsim, though. They, they have no right to be asking for birth certificates and stuff just to verify you're, like, a human. You know what I mean? Like, bro, it's Vatsim. It's a virtual ATC client. Why are we treating this like it's a real-world thing, bro? Like, you, birth certificate to verify that's his actual name? Like, bro... <laughs> five for departures three for left for arrival sounds good there we go maybe i'll just do early morning stream because that's all i can really do yeah i mean there's a lot of there's a good market for uh or not market but you know viewership for people that stream in the morning i've seen people do pretty good in morning streams again that's more so uk but i mean like if uk viewers are still viewers i think that's just what i'm saying though because when i see people go live it's like it's a London controller on Twitch, and he's, like, alive at, like, 9 a.m. for me. But then again, like, for them, 9 a.m. for me is, like, what, 12 or something for them? So, I don't know. Like, what are people going to do in that? That's what I'm saying, bro. Not fly the A300 if you have it? He might. I don't know if he does. I know I had another Vatsim account with my real name. Yeah, you're not supposed to have two Vatsim accounts. But yeah. Should I fly the 787-9? I mean, you can. I don't think they ever fly that, though. I think for this route exactly, they fly the uh, 737. I'm not sure, though. Wait, what did I miss with Vatsim? So, Micah, basically, you know, V1 Simulations, the real-world uh, Airbus pilot? He he was, like, emailing some uh, controller, and he was like, hey, I really respect what you're doing. You're actually doing an amazing job better than normal than I used to see on Vatsim. And when he sent that email, the dude that he sent the email to reported him to Vatsim and said, hey, this guy doesn't have his real name on Vatsim. And Vatsim looked into it, banned him, and now he can't get on until he sends, like, proof of, like, you know, his actual name, like a birth certificate, or a driver's license or something like that just to verify that's his real name and he's banned until then until he does that i don't know if it's like a temporary ban or something but for right now that's what that's what it is that dude is a big op. that's what i'm saying bro it's like dude how are you gonna get a compliment from v1 simulations and then report him for not having his real name like i don't get that that's a uh, i don't like that that's stupid what airline yeah what airline does fly that Hey, we're looking good. 13 more minutes. Told you guys it was a quick stream. David says, that's great. That's what I'm saying, dude. It makes it. I don't get that. I don't like it either because that, that doesn't make any sense. You're telling me like, dude, he's a real world pilot. He has probably funds that tie to his name and all that. Like he doesn't want his full name just being thrown out there. So I would if I was him, too, I probably wouldn't have put my real name. So I don't know why they're tweaking about it. I'm going to chose Vaz is what I'm saying. That's crazy. V run report. Yeah, he like if you if y'all check out his stream from a few days ago, he he can't be on Vatsim. He's thinking about doing a IVAO or whatever it is, because he just can't get on Vatsim. He's banned. I do know that you're supposed to use your real name on the account. Mine is on there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My name is on there. It's just for him. He didn't have his real name on there, which makes sense. But also, it's like I get that he didn't have his real name, but for them to say like, hey, we need your birth certificate to make sure that's you, like. Y'all need his birth certificate? Like, what? Fast and Prop Trolling, are they just tweaking? Nah, they're just following what that's what's going on for them. Like, they're just doing what they're supposed to do. But, I mean, it's just crazy. The fact that he didn't have his name, that's not what's, like, bugging me. The thing that's bugging me is how they were saying to prove that he's, like, that real human that he tried to change his name to now is is his, like, birth certificate. I don't know. Why doesn't he make a new account? You're not supposed to make a new account on Bass. So you make one and you end with one. That's how it, that's how it works. Here's the deal, and I respect V1. When you choose a stream, uh, your non amenity is gone. That is true. That That is a good fact. Not going to lie. A lot of people don't want to give their real name privacy. Why Why couldn't they understand that? I don't know. V1 does make a good point. If you go live, and you basically go live every day, you basically do kind of put your, your... I don't know. I can't say that word right. But anything you post, like even on like Instagram or something, if you post a picture of yourself, everybody can see that picture and do whatever they want with it. You know what I mean? So that is a, that's a good point. Uh, you do have to show some type of proof anywhere else, like Facebook, et cetera, ID card, birth certificate. Do you? I don't think I've ever had to show a birth certificate or anything for any of that. Or maybe that's something new. I don't know. Top of the sense already coming up. We're going to be looking for, uh, let's see, let's go in our charts here and look at this star. Um, yeah, it doesn't even actually have this. So what we're going to do, we're going to approach and go for the iOS 3, 4. Oh, this is RJ. That's what. Tokyo traffic going upon 14 descending for the second one arrival for three four left. I left three four left. All right. 
we're on some weird arrival. I don't even think there's charts really for it because it's not really like a, a published thing. It's just like a, a few waypoints. All right, so in that case, we'll just go approach 3-4. We'll look at our minimums and all that. Yeah, approach 3-4 left. We're not on that. We're on the uh, Zulu here. All right, let's see what we do for left, and we'll read that in just a second. Bottom, we'll just say we'll go all the way down to 10,000 initially. Actually, let's get 11,000. I think that's the most optimal altitude to be at if we do need to change something. So let's go 11,000. I think that's pretty solid. 12,000, actually. I think that's a little bit better. 12,000, that's our initial. Cool. There we go. Uh, Daddy, oh my gosh, aviation. How's it going? He doesn't want to give his real name because, like, I guess, I guess he doesn't want people to find his employer or something. I don't know. If you verify your account, yeah. Oh well, yeah, for verify, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Never mind. Yeah, to like get a green check from that. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense though, because you're trying to verify yourself. Like, if it gets uh, flagged for fraud, hackers, uh, or you can go for a verify account. I see. Came back. Uh, new me, new year, more details on why he didn't have a real name since the airline has policies that prohibit him to keep identity secured for airline confidentiality. Elaine, he is holding on and providing proof of verification since he cannot, as the airline doesn't allow that since it will break the policy. That makes sense. Tokyo has two airports. Hey, I was about to say, I was going to say Hanita, not Tokyo, but yeah. Tokyo, you need traffic on upon 1-5 to sing on Street 1-0. We're going to be on the uh, exact uh, arrival for the ILS Zulu Street 4 left approach. Hanita uh, traffic. The, the Zach, that's the Zach. Uh, um, wound up on 14. X Gray Alpha Charlie Victor. <laughs> that does not say Zach. That says Zach. F Z Zach. F <laughs> Anyways, we're coming down, pinging out the cabin that we are. Here we go. Let's get her down. Zachin. That does not say Zachin, fam. <laughs> uh, I believe he has been holding up. Oh, well, yeah, I already read that. Yeah, that's, that's interesting, though. If you guys haven't already, though, make sure you hit that like button. It does mean a lot. Help us out. Already coming down. That was a very short flight, I will say to you. Also, I'm deleting this video because I was going to keep it, but I don't want to keep it anymore. That was just an intro. We'll, we'll just delete it. We'll, we'll just delete it. That's fine. Dude, YouTube Studio keeps scaring me, bro. Like, half the stuff that it says that you can't get monetized on, it's like after they you fix the monetization thing on, I'm like, bro, why'd I get monetized or demonetized again? I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> like, they need to delete the notifications once it's not a factor anymore. I keep getting tired of it. Anyways. Bro, Flatline. Personally, Matsim, as a company itself, doesn't uh, deserve the hatred. That one controller ruined the temporary representation of Matsim until the whole process on. Yeah. Talking on Unicom like no tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. At least do it in the middle of nowhere. That's what I'm saying, bro. Uh, what is RJSK arrival runway? I have no clue. I don't even have a flight plan plan for that yet. I'm gonna do it on the ground. And they need a traffic on the point seven four five. Yo, what's going on, on Leon? How are you doing? Exact, Seems to be uh, a runway two eight. Hurry up with the community flight. We're gonna be doing it next week. I just don't like doing community flights so much, man, because it's just so much chaos. There's a bunch of randoms flying around. There's no VAT sim, so if you do a longer than normal flight or like a two-hour flight, even at that, it feels boring. I don't know. That's just that's just VAT sim. Or VAT, that's what VAT sim is like amazing. Anyways, minimums are 218. We'll go ahead and set 218. That's a nice little small scroll. That's not what I was looking for. All right, 218 is set. Altimeters down there. We'll pull that real quick. What do we got? Uh, one zero one five. So we'll set one zero one five here below. Oop, I already had it. That actually. There you go. Get the charts pulled back up. Frequency one 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 seven. So we'll set one 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 seventy. Boom. One 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 seventy is set on both sides. Looks good. Uh, course is 337, so I'll set 337. We don't even have to change much of anything here. 337. Alright, 337 looks good. Cool. Alright, we're coming down now. And I'm just gonna have to basically watch out for traffic this whole flight because we're so close together but not at the same time but we're all playing for the same stuff so i just gotta stay a little bit more alert of that there goes that steep descent 
Jesus. <laughs> Look at that mountain back there, dude. That looks sick. focus eh eh there we go cool I just took my camera off hello dude I need to change my binds for that stuff anyways intercepted by F-16 that's what I'm saying bro they didn't have a public broadcast associated all the pilots saying to keep the conversation yeah dude yeah they did I, I thought someone else would have seen that too it was a public broadcast it was, it was like 10 minutes after they were we were chatting about some too Guess who's still suspended on Vatsim and can't make another account? This guy? I really don't understand how you got suspended off of Vatsim for, like, not even doing a flight. I'm telling you, you're not trying hard enough to get there in contact. There's no way. Because, like, bro, if, just tell them flat out your story. Tell them to check when you made your account, your login history and all that. They should be able to check that stuff. I, I, I think you're just not trying and that dedicated to get on Vatsim. <laughs> Will there be a stream tomorrow? So what time? Probably around like 4 or 6, I would say. 4 to 6 is when we'll probably start. We'll see. Is that Mount Fiji? Actually, I think we could check on uh, Volanta. Let's see. Uh, well, it's not telling me on Volanta. It might be. I'm not going to say that because I don't really know the mountain ranges over here. I don't even know where Fiji is. Mount Fiji is, but I don't think that is. Maybe it is. I do know Vatsim is really cracking down on things because of an enormous amount of complaints. I told folks when this happened, people would get smacked good and bad. Yeah, I mean, that is true. That's what I'm saying. We're just keeping doing what we've been doing. I'm not going to not gonna start doing barrel rolls on Vatsim or anything. We're just going to start cracking and making it realistic still like we always do. It's confirmed to me Mount Fuji. Nice. Cool. Fugi? Oh, Mount Fugi. It's not Fiji. It's Fugi. I know my geography more. Nice, man. Awesome mountains below. Oh, yeah, some pilots. Sick. That thing looks pretty darn sick over there. I was told in uh, 2024, Microsoft should the uh, the Microsoft 2024 should look really good. So we'll see what the, what they got with those terrain vectors and all that. And I think we're gonna go down now. We look good, so we're just gonna go down three. Get ready for all that. Down three thousand is the plan. Standard. Boom. One zero one eight or one zero one five. Sorry. And uh, we'll get our. Let's go ahead and get our performance lined up here. So let's do some math here. Or Fuki. Fuki. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're at 137.9. We're going to subtract that by 9.1. That leaves us 1 to 8.8. 30 at 140 should be good. All right, cool. So. Everything's set up. We'll go ahead and run through our descent checklist. All right, descent checklist. Pressurization set to our landing altitude. It's 21 feet, so uh, 21. Or it's 21 feet, so zero should be good there. It's a lot closer than 50. Recall is checked. Looks good. Auto brake. We're gonna set that to two for today. Uh, landing data. We got our VRF set. Flaps 30 at 140 knots. Minimums 218. Approach briefing has been completed. Descent checklist complete. Cool. Fuji. I just said Fuji. Fuji. Mount Fuji. My bad. I've, I've called it Mount Fiji this entire time, bro. Uh, tell me what says. I was you mind checking DMs. Just a quick question there. Yeah, let me get on the ground and then I'll check my DMs and also look at whatever rooster is trying to send me. I thought I was going to be able to, but we had like no, no crews like at all. <laughs> like it was like up and down. Fiji non dead. Bro, I thought it was Fiji. This is Fuji. There we go. <laughs> like, <laughs> G next to J, sorry. No, you're good, you're good. I'll check you though, Chad. Look at you. It's Fuji. Oh my gosh. Arrival runway. Two runway three, four, right. What? Is it the most uh, iconic mountain? I know. And I've always called it Fiji. That's what I'm so confused about, bro. I swear, every stream, I just have to learn how to pronounce something, bro. I'm about to go fly back in America where I can pronounce almost anything. Almost. Almost. Almost anything. I can say Texas. <laughs> Span weebs over here reacting. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I appreciate them telling me how to say stuff correctly because obviously I, my pronunciation of like 90% of things is horrible. So I, I appreciate them for helping me out in that aspect. So, not nah, okay, Chris. Fine. That makes sense.
All right. Here we go. What do we got? Basic geography. All right. We'll get a lantern monitor open here. So we're coming in nice and fast. Yep, the lantern monitor over there. It looks good. Was a joke. <laughs> All right, we'll call out the, uh, or we'll get out the landing lights out just a little bit early in the wing light, just so we could uh, hopefully be a little bit better seen. Honestly, I learned to drive, uh, drive free uh, when I was playing Seven and Infinite Flight. I've learned a lot more about the world on flight sim than I have in school. I feel like that's sad, but <laughs> what's going on, Jerome? How are you doing, man? Coming into a Haneda right now. Haneda. Uh, now I want you to fly around Hawaii. Pronunciations are on a different level. Oh yeah, I, I see. I see. Just because I traveled, bro. All right, about to pass 10,000 here. We've got continuous on the gens. Double ping the cabin. Landing, or no, yeah. Seatbelt signs come on. And cool. Let's get her down. So, what we're planning to do, we got to meet Shotgun at a 5,000. Tokyo so traffic. We're going to go on 14, down. making right base for 3 4 left. We're going to uh, say uh, okay. 1,300 feet per minute to get to 5K. And we're gonna actually we're gonna be crossing Orlan at 5k, so that's what we're gonna descend to. Now. So we'll go 5,000 feet, go 1,400 feet per minute. Slow speed two five zero. Speed brakes come up. Now just now crossed it yet. So the second we get to 10,000 flat, we're now being illegal. All right, we're illegal now. Cool. Bro, <laughs> like Geronimo, like the song. Out in India, gonna go crazy? Oh, nah. I have the FNCS pickaxe. I saw that. You're using one of those, like, what you call changers, skin changers or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I was uh, just here a couple of months ago in real life. Really? Yeah, this this place is sick, dude. I actually love it. We gotta be at 186 knots here, so this is just gonna be an interesting whole thing around. Ain't no way I learned all my drivery through flight sims and not a flex, but I've been no more knowledgeable in that aspect than the ones who learned it through school. That's what I'm saying too, man. Like I've learned most of where everything is, but like I've got a better sense and idea of where everything is from the flight sim. Fine, so I need to try Tokyo has two airports. Harita and Narita. <laughs> Dude, I thought Narita was like the main airport. I, I just realized like a few months ago that like Haneda was like the bigger one. I've always thought Tokyo Narita was like the bigger one, like the biggest one. I was like, oh, why does nobody really fly out of there that much as often? It's like, oh. It's going, Papa. Just got uh, back from school. Sick, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good day at school. Coming into Anita right now. What's going on, Wafi? How are you doing, man? Joining us just in time for landing, guys. If you are just now joining, make sure you hit that like button. We're at uh, almost 30 likes. Looking for 90 this evening. Help us out. It is very much appreciated. I don't even live in the States. <laughs> All right, so we got to cross here. And we're going to be joining the localizer right there. So 5,000 should be good enough for us. Look at all these mountains. They're so high up that there's snow on it. Haneda traffic uh, on the pond. 14 is making Jamaica? left base nice, for runway 34 left, uh, Haneda. What did you just say, Kaden? As I uh, started flying VATSIM off stream. Nice. How's it going, man? How are you liking it? I'm telling you, VATSIM is one of those things where you go to and you just can't go back because... Just VATSIM is fun. I don't I don't like I'm not saying I don't like, but flying offline is more so just for fun, in my opinion, whereas this is where I like like to go through flows and all that and do everything mostly realistic. Uh, when I hit the fuel page in FMC and I try to put in a zero fuel, it doesn't let me put in, I'm just clicking the button. You haven't set it in your fuel page. You gotta make sure you go into your FS actions, you go to fuel and you set it up through there first. You have to do that. If you don't, you just don't have fuel in your plane. I watched one video on it and I'm literally able to do anything. That's what I'm saying. Watching YouTube videos can actually help you do most of the stuff in flight sim. It's crazy. <laughs> I can't. It doesn't let you. It doesn't let you type in your fuel rooster. Don't tell me it doesn't let you. It won't let me hit ZFW. Yeah, you don't type in your ZFW there. You type in your total fuel. ZFW with your payload. Yeah, put the ZFW number in your payload. That, that fixes the whole thing up. You can do it on that page if you do if you want to too, but I like doing it in the payload page because it, it's a lot. Sometimes it messes with your fuel if you change the uh, ZFW thing. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, Dom? How are you doing, man? All right, coming up on 5,000, then we're gonna go and slow her to 200 knots. All right, we'll go 205 actually. We'll go ahead and get that music going. Start right, getting off. There we go. Music is off. Here we go. Well, let's make it happen. I knew that, don't worry, definitely. <laughs> Alright, cool. 
Coming up on 5,000 feet. And Apollo, just to check, is at 5,000. Yep. Cool. Coming up on that fast, too. All right, so we're going to stay there. We're going to make this turn. Native traffic on the pond. One five left base for a final runway. Three four left. We're going to be about 20 miles on the trail of the field. Uh, Tokyo native traffic. All right, 5,000 slowing down. We'll go VOR lock here just so we could somehow capture it. Taxi light comes on. Approach checklist. Altimeter set 1015. Press checklist complete. Go flaps to. I need a traffic. Uh, only put in 745. It's going to do a speeds little. Down 180 here. Uh, route that takes a little bit extra time to get a base for Isla 34 left to get you guys some time. And we're going to be going to a little bit slow speed. Uh, What's going on, Anita. Orange Ghost? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Catch us just to land. Just to confirm that the one of the first things I do three, four, left, when I start the plane up. Yes, sir. That's what I like to do. Wait, we already landed? Yes, sir. It's like a 15 minute flight. Nothing much gonna fly without soon. Yes, sir. Bro, just remember school starts in three days. Yeah, mine already started. That sucks. <laughs> All right, flaps five's getting set, and we're gonna go ahead and slow 175 on the speed. Flaps ten. And we'll try to join this localizer here. Oh, VOR lock's not even armed anymore. There we go. Go approach mode actually. So we're gonna need a traffic on the pond. One five fully styles for the RLS three four left approach. Fifteen mile final. Uh, Tokyo, we need a traffic. What gate? Uh, what gate should we go to? I don't have a gate planned here. <coughs> All right, there we go. Got our flaps and everything. Thirty at one hundred and forty knots. So that's what I remember. Yep, there we go. Single channel glide slope. Let's bring it down. And we're gonna stay behind the speed curve because obviously we're gonna be speeding up here. So get one hundred seventy on the speed. I think I have the field in sight. Yep, we do. We look a little off to the right side. Maybe we'll fix this up here. He's on a 10-mile final for runway 34 left, Tornado. He's on a 10-mile final? All right, let's slow it to 107. Let's do one. Eh, let's do 160. Give him some space. All right, here we go. What do y'all think the landing rate's going to be? I think we're going to have a solid one. Let's go ahead and pull up our charts, though. Um, airport. Uh, that's airport briefing pages. Airport info. There we go. We're landing on three four. Where is that? I think it's right here. Three four left. That's where we're at. We're gonna probably take terminal one. I think they take terminal. They take terminal two over here. But that's fine. We'll vacate probably off of uh, Alpha Ten. Jesus. Oof. This airport has the most confusing taxiways. That's fine. And get flaps fifteen. We'll stay slow. Gear can get dropped now. Just to, again, keep our speed slow. He said he was on a 10 mile final, so we'll see. Lady ship starts at a 1045 and fish at 238. Take terminal one. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't want to taxi all the way over there, but I'm pretty sure they take terminal two. I don't know. I used to play like a, a ATC game. Excited for the landing? Yes, sir. Terminal three is for wide body. That's all I know. I flew there this summer. Nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about this airport. They said they had a good freeware airport for here, but I just didn't get it. I got it, but then the default Azobo one looks a lot better than the Payware one just because I a traffic. there's glass. On the 14 <laughs> so, is on a five-mile final for runway 34 left, Tornado. So he's about 10 behind me. Tokyo Nana traffic's on the pond. One five, we're about five behind and trail of a 7-3 lane on the street for left. We'll be number two, 10-mile final, I need him. Uh, I can search it up. I can't search it up right now. I'm about to land. <laughs> By the time I be on the ground and search it up, I'll just be sitting on the taxiway. It's fine. Most of the live bodies, unless there's too many of them to go elsewhere. I swear, like, 90% of every Tokyo airline or anything that flies into Haneda that's, like, a Japan or Chinese airline is just a wide body. Just because their population is so big. All right. We'll go ahead and drop those because we're not going to be dropping any faster now. We'll arm the speed brakes. And we are at flaps 15, we'll go flaps 25, flaps 30. Flaps 30 in transit. We'll go ahead and do our landing checklist here. We'll Going slow, 150 on the speeds. I don't know if he's landed yet, so that's, we're just we're just coming in all slow, just because I don't I don't know what he's doing. Go 145 on the speeds here. 
All right, landing checklist. Into start switches to continue with speed brake arm, green light, landing gear down, three greens, flaps 30, green lights. Continue approach, we're landing. Landing checklist complete. Got minimum set as well. Tax light is on. Cabin crew, we already pinged them. I'm pretty sure we'll call them again that we're ready to land. All right, let's make it happen. Get a good little view going. Yeah, looking at this ILS, it does not look like we're centered at all, but we'll, we'll fix that when we take over controls. I'm just trying to get his call out that he's clear. That's all I need. Alright, here we go. Damn said, bro. Alright, negative 29, negative 2, 147, 118. That's my direction, negative 2. Alright, we'll see. Tokyo Nato traffic on the pond, 1 5, final approach speed, 5 mile final for all, that's 3 4 left. This is the traffic on 3 4 clear this time? We go, final approach speed now. Haneda traffic on the pond 14 is clear of runway 34 left. Haneda. Haneda traffic on the pond 15 one short final three miles for the Atlas 34 left. Final call Haneda. Thousand feet. Haneda traffic on the pond 745 uh, turning right for base. Uh, Atlas 34 left. Here we go. Yeah, let's try to get back centered here because that ILS was not very ILS y here. <laughs> They kind of threw us in the right direction, but not really at the same time. Like, it's trying to get us to throw us all the way to the right side. In reality, we're perfectly centered right now. So I don't know what this thing's tweaking about. Just default airport things, honestly. <laughs> right, we're three reds, one white, but we're looking perfectly fine on a nice little glide slope. Just flying it for the numbers. 400 feet. Three hundred feet. Fly for those numbers now. Minimums. Continue. One hundred fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Buttery smooth. Versus out. Those were, that was no way, those were actual landing markers, bro. How did they all go through in like two seconds? I didn't even float. <laughs> My float time was one second. There's no way we ran through all of them. That was the last one. Anyways, 80 knots, bursters out. That was negative 85 feet per minute with a one second float. <laughs> this default airport's things was instantly were gone, all the landing markers. That's fine. Go ahead and vacate here. This is a high speed, we'll take it. Cool. Uh, landing lights coming off. Continuous gins also coming off. Strobes can come off as well. Auto brakes are off as well. I didn't mean to actually slow her down like that. What's going on, Gig? How are you doing, man? In Tokyo, I need a traffic on the pond. 1 5, clear of Shree 4, left at Alpha 12. Alpha, Whiskey 11, Whiskey to the ramp for uh, Anita. Alright, cool. Keep rolling her in here. And we'll get the uh, cleanup section. I know everybody wants to hear that. Let's go ahead and get her cleaned up. Look at all those all in the ponds over there. We'll just park over there. Over there. Speed brakes get disarmed. I didn't even stop the flaps there. There we go. Cool. Welcome to Anita. All right, we'll take here. And honestly, I was going to take... Yeah, we'll take this. That's fine. a wide little turn here. Cool. Continue spooling it. There you go. If I had an NRT or something after me, we're going to be going up to Askia? Uh, Askia or something like that? And then flying all the way back down to uh, to uh, Osaka. Well, because it is. <laughs> uh, look, hey, why is that name sound so Italian? I just want Italian food, honestly, bro. I knew I'd absolutely love everything Italian. <laughs> Oh, that's what you're saying, because it is. Taking Terminal 1 or Terminal 2. We're going to go over here at a Terminal... Uh, we're parking up here at Terminal 1. More variation to uh, then a return like 2. Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. 
I mean, it is, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick to what we got going. Park next to the uh, black A320. That's me. All right, cool. I got you. All right, AP, get started up. What gate? What gate are you at, Yoham? Because I'm planning to park next to Yoham. So whatever gate he's at here, just that one right there. Like a private jet. What's going on, Angel? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. No way, you called your destination one. I'm cringing. I have no clue how to say that. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, You're at 21. Uh, right. So was that, like 19? Uh, Establish localizer for uh, 3 for left. Go parking here. All right, we're going to go for a wild guess and just say that this is... If you're at 21, this is 20. Let's try to say so this is 20. Get all in the pond here. Yeah, that space was right there. All right, so this is 21. Or 22, actually, probably. Let's get 22. Yeah, we were right. Cool. It was a 50-50 guess. <laughs> Still loading into Microsoft? All good waves? All right, cool. Uh, Unkita, if that's my guess. Professional guess? I don't know. What add-on you got? This is the default uh, Hanita. It's actually really good. That's what I was saying. This is just premium deluxe scenery. I had a freeware one, but the freeware one, honestly, it made the grass go away. So I'm just sticking with this one. It's pretty darn solid, though. I actually freaking love this scenery. Where are you parking? We're over here at gate uh, 22. I think I came into that line so early, can't see anything. Pretty decent, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, obviously, the jetways and gates kind of don't look the best, but this just reminds me of, like, Orlando, like, the default Orlando airport. Kind of just looks like this. When I take off, I, I, why do I never hear the engines decelerate? Um, because they don't really decelerate. It's just a decelerated toga. Traffic, uh, that's more so Airbuses when they decelerate the, from toga to flex or, uh, or flex to climb. That's usually when they do. DMZ park up? Yep, I got you, man. It's funny how I mostly just look at the numbers of what they're what they're saying rather than looking at the actual marshaller, dude. Alright, parking brake skin set. That's good. Go upstairs. APU comes online. That's good. And we'll go ahead and kill the engines. Oh, yeah. Look at them spool down. There we go. Got a 165 for my landing under a G. Let's go. Yep, I got under a G as well. Negative 85 feet per minute. I'll take an 85 feet per minute. That's a solid landing right there. Got two other landings to do, so we should be able to master. We're trying to beat Mikey, guys, if you didn't know. Uh, Mikey actually got a <laughs> a negative 13 into wherever he was just flying to, so we're going to try to beat him here. Anyways, we're going to request uh, deboarding here. Boarding Beacon light can come off. Engines aren't trying to kill anybody. Turn off the hydraulics. Uh, isolation valve goes to the open position. IRS gets on the line, as well as the yaw damper coming off. I should have switched this to Gen 2 and Gen 1, but I was just concerned about the other thing earlier, so that's fine. All right, all that looks good. We're going to go ahead and get deboarded and uh, set up a new flight plan. We'll get back into the virtual skies. Let's go ahead and uh, let's turn our music on. Oh, yeah, we got to watch Clove Phrase landing. I got you, I got you, I got you. Let's go check it out. Uh, do not request ground power. I think it is cool how now in the PMDG, it, GSX allows you to request ground power, which is something I've never seen in the flight sim before um, with all the features inside the plane. But, yeah. Just to confirm, I do the fuel page in the FMC like first. Yes, Rooster. Parking at gate 24 sounds good, man. Uh, is there a tut to on the N1 page in the FMC? Yes, and the multiple, multiple, multiple tutorials we've sent you over the past year. <laughs> uh, are you doing return leg or flying somewhere else? Like I said, we're going to be going to... Uh, uh, it's Ankita. That's where we're going. Ankita. It's in the description. Look at the description and tell me how you think it is. Where should you port? Park at a 24. Because uh, Waves is flying with us, but he's not actually there. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I just lost all of your hour bucks. Oh wow. How did you manage to do that? Alright, I got you. We're going to be checking out your landing here. What do you got? 
you guys haven't already make sure you hit that like button we are slacking in likes we're looking for a nice 90 likes we're at 34 help us out this is very much appreciated all right he's coming in he's very very short final here i'm also gonna pause my my sim just so we could uh not hear the guys back there and also we could not have them instantly deboard the plane because i want to see that listen i'm gonna go bankrupt i'll save me the stress it's uh kita uh kita i don't know all right see he said five mile final now so we'll see we'll see what my boy has in stock for you guys i said negative 85 feet per minute on the landing i'll take that i think that's a solid landing rate in my opinion I think I hear his plane. I don't see it, but I hear it. Anita, traffic. Yes, simple Get finally. On the four five on the simple five mile the final. Anita. Akita, Akita, Akita. You said saw it, yes sir. Like no, uh, I mean, so Akita. But how do you not put a uh? A key, a kia. Oh, Akita. There, that has an uh in it. Akita. Uh, well, I guess it's not as strong. He's on a seven mile final. I thought he said he was on a five mile final. He just said seven. Yeah, don't you dare correct me. Oh my. All right, he's coming. Just wait for him. <laughs> just give him a second. He He's on his way. Uh, it is very pronounced. Oh, you were saying it's an uh? Yeah, it's Akita. Akita. Y'all are telling me two different things almost. That's why I'm lost, bro. It's Akita. I'm saying Akita. That's all I'm saying. That's where we're going next from Hanita. Bro, it's taking so long. Oh my. Hanita <laughs> traffic. Uh, El Nippon 745 on the 5 mile final. I left before this. Hanita. Akita. Yeah. Akita. That's what I've been saying. Akita. <laughs> Okay, buddy, that's the closest American pronunciation. He, he's not gonna say it the uh, with the traditional accent, bro. <laughs> uh, anyways, you said it. yes. All right, cool. As someone who knows nothing about Japanese pronunciations, I'll contribute absolutely nothing to this conversation. Thank you, Happy Fish. You appreciate it. See, he's just coming in saying, I don't know. Dude, I need to change these binds, bro. There's no way I accidentally hit these buns that often. Said so I'm actually right here with you, <laughs> bro. I'll tell you one thing, bro. I, I actually, I get mad when they say, check my landing. I'm almost here. And then they're on the 10 mile final. Like, that's close, but bro. You better, you better put on a nice show for us, please. Did I hit it again? Oh my gosh. I'm not even hitting it. I need a traffic. I'll nip and send four or five on short final. Uh, three, four left. I need a. There he is. All right. Let's see what he got. Hopefully he doesn't let any of us down. What do we got? He's in the uh, A320, I see. Yeah, well, he was. I love Japan stuff, like traditions and stuff. I watched the uh, Godzilla, uh, or Godzilla, Godzilla minus one movie. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that, but I think it was pretty good. He's going to smash the landing. We'll see. I got hope for him. He looks pretty high. He looks like he's on a good glide slope, in my opinion. He does look a little high, but I think his glide slope he's on is going to be pretty fine. But yeah, look how short these these landing markers are. There's no way this is, like, accurate. Like, look, it goes instantly captain's bars. Like, be mi be be mindful. There's a dip right here on the runway because, you know, it's on, a, like, an island. So, it's a dip. Then the the runway numbers, you got the captain's bars, and then, the th like, dude. <laughs> Maybe that's right, but they just seem so close together instantly. We still didn't do an illegal landing. I landed, like, right there. Like, somewhere around here towards the last landing marker. I don't know float in a slam watch can't judge how far he is that's what i was saying yeah probably gonna skip that page i don't have a calculator you don't need a calculator to do the performance page that's just for the arrival i just do it to get the exact number because the uh, landing marks are so close that's what i'm saying there there's oh what the um i think that was a vat sim glitch if i'm gonna be honest with you i think that was just vat sim tweaking so I'm going to say that wasn't a bad landing. That was just bad some tweak. <laughs> I'm just going to say that was bad some tweaking because I, I think he's fine. I don't think he did anything bad there. Anyways, let's go ahead back over to our lovely aircraft here. <laughs> we said, um. 
Let's make sure we're not freezing here. I'm scared. Okay, cool. Oh my lord. Oh my. Uh. I don't know what we have going on here, but I moved the camera for like five seconds and we instantly glitched out with GSX. That's fine. Anyways, give me a second. We're going to go ahead and uh, refile a flight plan. Finally figured out. All right. If you think those are close, I got a short XP's bar. It's the main zone rather than being a thousand five hundred feet. It's like a thousand feet. And then go 2,000 rather than 2,500. Yeah, it's just weird. I don't I don't know. I don't even know what just happened with that landing. His, his landing was a little glitch there. That's fine. We're gonna go ahead and check out uh, what we got sent on Discord here real quick. Though, and then we'll do it. No, I got you. I got you. Let me check it out. I hate looking at this though, because look how bad the jetway looks when you move away from GSX. Anyways, if you haven't already, hit that like button. We're going for 90 likes this evening. Help us out. It is very much appreciated. Uh, sorry about earlier. Don't you know, staring around the front ears looking for assistant. Okay, so Tailwinds is looking for somebody to essentially. Help him manage his channel. Oh my gosh, I was so loud and it was so quiet. He's looking for somebody to help him manage his channel. So is there anybody here that will be able to manage a channel for for Tailwinds? I don't know if there will be, but just throwing it out there. He was telling me to ask him. All right, so we'll get that off and uh, go ahead and call some catering. We'll get that checked up. Uh, where's catering? There you go. Catering. We'll call that. Get on the pond catering, please, and we'll get in it. Pause in it. We'll go. You were not K. Romeo, Juliet, Tango, Tango. And I shall realign the IRSs. I'm stuck in my chair. There you go. I'm still stuck in my chair. There you go. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Ducks good. Wait for that to come down here to align. We'll also redo our tablet here. There we go. And. New altimeters are all set down there. Boom. 
Throw that in there. Looks good. Uh, uh, you have Discord put up on phone or PC. You should, you should be, you, you should be it on the side. Huh? I have it on my phone just because of what was happening earlier. I'm just trying to reduce RAM usage right now, so that's why I have it on my phone. RJSK. Like we're fine with RAM. I just think 32 would definitely be a lot more of a sweet spot. 16 is good, but yeah, 32 is what's probably needed. All right, so that all looks good. We're using uh, departure. He said departing runway five. So yeah, we're gonna plan for runway five for departure here. Zero five, flight number is on the pond one two. On the pond one two set. Go net ref and we'll get our fuels and all that thrown in. So fuel for today's flight's a lot less, 13,000 and one pounds of fuel. Go ZFW here. We'll go one, two, three point one. Get that set. It's got 122 passengers on board. Not that many people on this route. All right, cool. Reserves today. We got 2.2. We'll set 2.2 as our reserves. Cost index of 20. So we'll set 20 down there. Cruising at. We're gonna say 290 or zero for now, but I don't. I don't know if we are at or not. Uh, we'll worry about that necessarily. Take off later. Flaps five. Get our trim. Trim to 5.19. That's a lot up. Let's get that set. Uh, last leg, correct? Nope. We're going to be doing this leg and then another leg back down to Osaka. That's the plan. And cool. We get our departure here. Runway 5. Climbing via the Robeck to Charlie. Robeck to Charlie. On the Bruce transition. Route. Activate. Execute. And we'll worry about those speeds later. Uh, now one more. No, we're going to be two more. Yep. That's not one. That's two legs. Can anyone help me out? I can barely make school documents say it. So basically, yeah, he's just trying to get somebody to to help his uh basically help him do stuff on his channel, like edit stuff, you know, basically just like edit videos, help him like post out stuff, give him ideas, stuff like that. I feel like that's a lot to ask though, but if anybody would be down to do that, he's looking for people to do that. Uh, I really want to say something about the name, but you can't why can't you? <laughs> Why can't you? All right, let's go ahead and fix this up here down there. We're at Agris, then Yankee 1-1. One, one. So we'll set Yankee. Oh, wait, no. I forgot. That's an airway. Got to go through here and go performance. Nope. Position. Take. Uh, I keep accidentally going through. There we go. All right. So and this to Yankee 1-1. One, one. We'll set Yankee 1-1 one, one here. Yankee 1-1 one, one is set. Then from there, we're going to Yankee Tango Echo. And then from there, we're going to be direct to Yankee 32. Yankee 32. Bunch of airways to join the short flight. Yankee 32 to Choka, and then we're coming in from there. So that looks good. Go step through that here. Uh, it spoils about the movie Godzilla. Uh, fly on, you better not push behind him. <laughs> Just fishing up, pushing first again. Sounds good, man. I think Johan might be getting out here first, to be honest with you, but we'll see. I didn't even notice. Look how... I don't think I've ever looked out the window to see them like actually doing catering stuff. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so go ahead and step through this. Okay. And we're drawing the look as Cool. Looks good. So that's what we'll be rocking with. I will say the freeware scenery we got for this airport is super cool. I actually really do like it. Getting ready for push sounds good. Get all of our fuel pumps off stuff that left half. Seatbelt sounds can come back on. And let's do a pre flight checklist. Uh, zero five zero on the heading. Let me call for boarding here. Uh, request boarding. Boarding requested. And zero five zero was it? Yep, zero five zero on the heading. Zero five zero. Oh. Zero five zero. We'll set zero five zero on this side too. Oh, flight director still on. Recycle those. Zero five zero. Looks good. Zero five zero on this side. Oh no, uh, got the depressed GSX ground person. <laughs> Where's that? What? Which one is that? The one with like the sad sounding voice? All right, here we go. Yeah, I called it out flight line earlier on the ground when we were in Osaka. I don't. Th I told you when we were on the other frequency after I told you to switch. I, I just don't think you heard me. All right, yeah. did we get the updated? This is telling me something a little bit different. What do we got? Get 6,001. Yep, 1015. So we'll set. We'll keep 1015 here. 
All right, cool. If I have a low fuel amount, like 15,000 in a long runway, can I kick 24K D rate? It just depends on how your whole thing is. Like for me, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a uh, takeoff. Plane up close, you really can appreciate those small details they put into this plane. I wouldn't say it's the most like like the Phoenix. I wouldn't say it's anything like that. But this plane looks pretty darn good in my opinion. Yeah, we're already getting all of our bags turned in. We're born in this thing fast today. What's that, Zexy? Yes, sir, I'm saying. Whew, this looks nice. Yeah, that livery is pretty nice. It's a Star Line, Star Flyer. I don't know if that's if it's a, like a VA or something, but he's flying Starflyer. I don't know anything about that. Hello, nice delivery in the back. Yeah, that's a Yoham Starflyer. I need to do a straight push. Go ahead. Phenomenal, phenomenal shadow reflection. Oh yeah, it looks really good. Like I said, I thank Pulse for teaching me how to do it. It's a Japanese airline. Uh, Twelve planes in turtle. Interesting. Yeah, I've never even seen or heard of that before. I know they have like a bunch of airlines now that are like basically charter flight planes, airlines, if that makes sense. So they have like, you know, 12 planes, five planes, and they basically, their plane is just a charter plane. So it's like a business class plane, but it's an airline that anybody can book, but it's like a charter flight. Of course it's expensive as crap, but it, I don't know. That's what I thought that was, but I guess it's like an airline airline. I'm going to wait uh, until you're done for my push. Sounds good, man. We can't even push right now if we want to, because Yoham's right there. Yeah, they used to charter now. They're just a small airline. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because usually airlines with a black livery like that, they're usually like the charter airlines. I've heard of them. I actually uh, track them. You've got to up your knowledge in carriers, bro. <laughs> so I'm flight radar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, Yoham, I think you're going to be pretty happy. we got about 20 flights. Or not 20, but a lot of flights with the A320 family. 
that we're going to be doing this whole next week. So no more, no more Boeing. We're going to be flying Airbus. I know Johan's pretty excited about that. <laughs> What's going on, Falco? Yo, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. You guys are just now joining in. Like him, make sure to hit that like button. It does mean a lot. It does help Sierra, Sierra one delta one. Uh, Should I try to push? Track. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could try to push or pull push. Oh, I don't even know how that thing works. I tried to figure it out myself and I couldn't get it to work. So, if you could get it to work, then yeah, I don't know how to work it. So, I would say no for me, but this is me. Honestly, keep up with the uh, DS Aviation and learn details of how most crashes happen with Mentor Pilot. Oh, yeah. He's a great channel. I, I like his stuff. He makes some pretty darn good videos. All right. I'm just going to watch them go ahead and throw our final bags into the plane. They will be uh, ready to rock and roll. I think looking at these angles are pretty cool because it actually feels like you're in the plane looking out the window and just being like, hey, what's going on? I think that's also a, a thing with a uh, smaller aircraft. It's also a lot easier to have situational awareness. Because, you know, you can actually look out your window and see stuff. Whereas if you're in a 777, you have to be like looking down and all that. You can't really see anything. I don't know. Just seems so scary. Like I've sat in like a 747 before from like the Delta Museum. And I'm just like, how do people feel confident taxiing this around? Like I know it goes with years of training, but it's just like, dude, this plane is massive. I have no situational awareness of where my wings are. If I'm going to hit anything, how, how I can weave around people. Like, I don't know. Don't do that. Uh, start pulling me towards the terminal. Yeah, I was about to say. I don't. I'm not gonna try it. I'm just gonna do straight nose, right, tail, left. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you have horrible luck through your flight. Smile emoji makes everything better, bro. What? Oh no. Nah. All right, almost done here. Getting the rest of our stuff boarded up. Then we shall be out and headed over to Akita. Uh, not cool, Chris. <laughs> All right, I'm here. What's going on, Mikey? Hope your stream went well. I'm guessing you finished, right? Like those family members who text, sorry for your loss, bro, what? I said, oh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh. I need a traffic. Repent uh, and keep calm. <laughs> Buddy, what? I need a traffic uh, all in the pond, 1653 is pushing back off of uh, gate eight for 18. I need a cool. All right, so they're pretty much ready to rock and roll. We're gonna go call GSX. Thank God you're in here, mate. Just try us getting out of control. <laughs> uh, CSC is just lurking. All right, we'll prepare for pushback and departure, and uh, we'll get ready to get on out of here. TA only is our TARA is still on, so we'll just get on TARA. Or, yeah, let's get on just mode Charlie for now. It's gonna be pinging off a bunch of crap. What's going on, Captain Jack? Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, hey brother, can't stay for the whole stream tonight, but uh, hope you have a great flight for getting better with the knee and a long road to recovery. Thanks for doing the good work. Hey, hope your knee gets better, man. I don't know what happened to it, but I hope it does feel better shortly, man. Appreciate you stopping in, though. Hope you have a great rest of your evening as well. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Appreciate you. Hello uh, from my friend in Italy. What's going on, Dream Virtual Flight? Haven't seen you in a while, man. How are you doing, man? <clears throat> How is it going? I've seen your uh, your streams and stuff. I've I've been checking you out. You look pretty nice up there. Honestly, nothing's crazy about this stream. Nothing to see. I definitely don't need another timeout. Chris just asking for it. Yo, they have actually added like the best diversity of freaking GSX characters. I got tired of seeing like just British people talking in like Chinese airports. You know what I mean? This is actually so much more realistic. I actually like that. That's it did again. How? Oh, no, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No, I was about to say no. That was just my internet. <laughs> that was just my internet. I was like, no, it didn't. <laughs> I didn't recover anything. Just my internet tweaked out there. That was me. All right. Uh, we'll go nose right, tail left. So we got to depart ASAP. No, that was just my internet. We're not, we're not even doing anything. Also, where did my thing go? Did I hide it? I didn't mean to hide this. Uh... Here, we'll do this. Why is, uh, I was trying to figure out where my, where my overlay went. When did it go away? Facing, uh, south, the gate two zero. We're going to give way to that other, I'll nip in to the left. Here, we're going to get our thing back on. This is just a, a rough day of streaming again today. <laughs> yeah. All right, here, we'll get this fixed up. RJTT. 
Going from RJTT to RJSK. Call sign NA12. All right, got that thrown back up there. Dude, is this thing just like tweaking? All right, well, <laughs> I don't know what happened to our overlay, but okay. Go ahead and remove those shocks. All right, Hineda, All right. traffic, Star Flyer 718, continuing. And we'll go ahead and get speaking lights on. Cool. All right, we'll go ahead and release parking brakes. Looks good. And anti collision light came on. Four, tech, or four start checklist has been complete. Yeah, I don't know why our overlay ain't working. Yeah, dude, it's acting acting weird today. Stuff is just jacking up. Like, I seriously don't know where my overlay went. <laughs> like, dude, where? It's on. It's activated. Anyways, I don't know. All right, we're pushing now. Going to get the bleed on. Pack's coming off. A's. Oops. A's on, B's off. We'll go ahead and go around on number two. And we'll let that spool up here. Uh, temps are rising. Got the N2 rising. We're looking for 25%. I'm going to be messing with this the whole stream now. Because what the heck. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Alright, 25 adding fuel. Oops. There you go. Spooling it up. Let's get it going. Uh, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Of course, man. Internet recovery. Yeah. <laughs> Tells you even in my Discord. Yes, I'm a general VC. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, man. Well, <laughs> there's a flight tomorrow. There will be, my guy. And uh, we're going to be... I got to decide which one we're doing. But yeah, we do have a flight tomorrow. Uh, got your different names. Looking for tailwinds. Oh, you're good. Better pushback. Now, this is a GSX. I don't have a friend request for me. All right, parking set. Alright, parking brakes can set. Cool, yes, sir. And we got a good start continuous there. Ground on number one. Gonna do a one engine taxi to save fuel. Is it that far away? Whiskey, Alpha, Romeo, Sierra, Sierra, one, Delta, one, Haneda. I'm gonna let this thing spool. Haneda traffic, all Nipple 745, uh, following uh, traffic, uh, Whiskey, Whiskey, nine, Alpha, Romeo, Sierra, Sierra 1, Delta 1. All right, 25, Adam Fuel. I'm over here messing with the overlay as we do this, so <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, okay, let's get this. Let's plop this in properties, get the new thing in there. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it just disappeared. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that would fix it. All right, we're spooling up. We're good now. Uh, can you add me to the car now? Try to see. Oh, if you if you um, he has the he's usually in his members only. That's why. Yeah, I was about to say his channel's members only. Maybe uh, a flight will be with us on Vatsim. You saying it will be on Vatsim? The flight I got planned for tomorrow is definitely gonna be on Vatsim. All right, we're gonna continuous gens on both Gen one, Gen two. AP bleeds off. Packs back on isolation. Go ground or all electronics on. Flaps can set five degrees. What's going on, Zimp? Sorry, you're late. You're good, man. All good. Flaps coming down five degrees to do a flight control check. Bypass pins in his hand. Looks good. Full right. Neutral. Full left. Neutral. Full up. Neutral. New down. Neutral. Sounds good. Doing a echo golf. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I, I only know one of those airports. What are they in like, you know, normal terms? All right. Sparrows are coming down. And just because we don't want to get left behind, we'll go ahead and do our uh, before taxi checklist as we're taxing. So we're going to go ahead and get the tax lights on. AP can come off now. And uh, let's get a move on. All right, let's go. Birmingham's uh oh, top, oh there we go. I was about to say I know where the I know where the second one was. I thought I did, and I did. All right, let's go. Ran into runway five today. Oh yeah, that is a long taxi, isn't it? It's that one down there. Probably should have done a one engine taxi. We're gonna go whiskey Alpha Romeo. Sierra. 
And Tokyo Haneda traffic on the pond. One, two. Coming out of the ramp, we're going to take uh, Whiskey Alpha, Romeo, Sierra, holding short of a runway zero 05 at Delta 1 for Haneda traffic. All right, so what do we got to do? I think we make this. If we're here. We got, yeah, okay, cool. We make this left turn. We're clear right, clear left, contains taxi. Maybe I'll fly with you. Sounds good, man. All right, let's get this thing moving here. Scooter over. Don't have any penny requests in Discord. Not sure. Did you add it? That's so weird. Doing a flight from JFK to OMDB. Geez, y'all love doing long hauls, bro. I can never. All right, we're heading down there. They are, like, gone. We're going to have to catch up with the pet. All right, anyways. Taxi checklist, because I know the things that we didn't do, which was the pro P and all that, but I was just waiting to go through the checklist. Too. But anyways, pro P comes on. All right, uh, taxi. We're just going to say during taxi checklist now. Generators are on. Pro P's on. Isolation valve not I mean, anti is not required. Isolation valve is auto. That is checked. We're going to be doing a southwest style taxi to catch up with the back. Even though we're going to have to wait for everybody anyways. We're all flying to the same place. Also, y'all got to be generous with the gates because there's like no gates at the airport. There's a bunch of stands though. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, recall. We got flight continuous. That's our y'all dampener here. Go ahead turn that on yep yaw dampener is turned on recall recall again looks good uh auto brake we're gonna set that to rto engine can come off there flight control is checked and good and brown is but yeah, tax check is cool. cool let's keep it going if you guys haven't already make sure you hit that like button trying to our like goal of 90 likes this evening it does make a world of a difference so i appreciate it if you help us out by hitting that button and that vnav comes on and we'll just continue to do the southwest style taxi. Are we picking up ground speed? I thought we were. That would have been funny. Rip to those that uh, died on the Jive, Jive 16. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think anybody got on that one. Wasn't it the uh, the 8? What is it? The uh, Dash 8 300 or whatever? I thought those were the only casualties. Looking good. Though. Yeah, I don't know what just happened with the overlay. I don't even know when it went off. I think it was when I refreshed the thing. It was on a Q300. I was about to say it was on the Q300. Dude, we are we are moving, bro. <laughs> but this, I bet this airport in real life feels like so big. I feel like this is one of those airports that just feel massive. Uh, I'm still far behind, bro. <laughs> yeah, we're moving. We're just taxiing at a solid 27 knots. Or 27 in the uh, engines going through. They're taxiing mad fast. We're not taxiing that fast. We got a little bit of... I wish I could pop up ground speed. Also, clocks should get stopped there. The Dash A300 was the one with the casualties. Yeah, I was about to say. All right, we'll slow her down here. We'll take this taxiway. Trying to speed my ground speed up. <laughs> All right, make this turn here as we spool some more power into those engines. All right, we caught up with the pet. <laughs> <sighs> like I said, even the, even if we didn't catch up, we're probably still gonna have to wait because you know they're all taking off. But I'm the last one to take off, so we're not we're not trying to be the last ones. We're trying to be the first ones. You know what I mean? All right, keep it pushing. Let's get it going. All right, so we come up here. We make a right turn, Romeo. Right turn, Sierra. Sierra one, Delta one. Cool. I don't know why all the all the holding points are so weird. This all Nippon 737 though. This is a solid livery, dude. I actually, I think it's just because it's blue, and I love blue airlines. But all Nippon's livery is really nice. I really like all Nippon's. But again, it's, it, I think it's just because I like blue. <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what it was. All right, clear on the left sand side. Go ahead and continue making this right turn. Chrono behind the clock uh, near the PFT is better now. Uh, there's on the uh, max one hour, I think. Yeah, I like the I like the Chrono on the PFT. It's a lot better. What's going on, everyone? With Mike, how are you doing, man? Howdy, hope all is well. How's it going? Hope you're doing well, man. Nice streams, nice streams. Heading out of Hanita, heading up to uh, Akita now. It's about a 50 minute flight, then we'll head back down to. Uh, what is that? Oh. 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 
Then we'll head off uh, back down to Osaka. Take off anytime soon? Yes, sir. We're about to go ahead and get on out of here right now. Probably not instantly, but we got to wait for three planes to take off in front of us, and we're all flying the same route, so we'll see. What's going on, Eli? Yo, finish the PC. Nice, man. Got to show us what it is. What you got rocking with it? If you guys are just now joining in, though, please be sure to hit that like button. I'm trying to hit our like goal of 90 likes. It's seeming we are slacking today, but I don't blame y'all because we are also slacking and streaming today, so. <laughs> Appreciate y'all bearing with us. We gotta figure out what's going on. Only seven four five. It's okay. I need a traffic. Sorry. Uh, only seven four five. Taking off. Uh, Just like a George family. Appreciate it, man. What did he just say? Also, why is he not? He's not going full length. Johan said, I, "I don't need to go full length." And uh, Haneda traffic. Starfly seven eighteen. We'll uh, let the two on the pond seven three go before us. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Roger. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. We are chilling. Had a few stream issues earlier, but I, I feel like something's going on with the game because we've been maxing out RAM on the first part of the streams twice now, and then it's just normal. So <laughs> there's something going on with the game, but we'll, we'll figure it out after stream. I haven't actually paid attention to it, but now that this is the second time that's happened, we'll, I'm going to look at that. So you see he needs to fix your title. Why does he need to fix his title? What's wrong with that? I was about to say. Hey, I was dude. Uh, can't stay for the stream. Thanks for uh, doing great work. Uh, we'll hang my, more time. Got my sim for the first time after surgery today. Nice, Jack. Like I said, man. Hope you hope your uh, thing feels better. I think your knee. You said. Hope that feels better, man. Appreciate it though. Uh, CST Hong Kong. What? It's that 16 gigabytes. I'm pretty sure it is. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm just gonna get some more RAM because <laughs> I I think I just need more RAM. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Well, what is Honk Kong? <laughs> Fix that like two seconds after I posted it. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, it's just so weird. So you take Sierra, you take the Sierra, and then you turn here on Sierra 1, and then you, or this says Sierra 2, but you turn here on Sierra 1. Or actually, no, I think this is because this is like a loop. Yeah, you turn here on Sierra 1, and you hold short Delta 1. It makes sense, I understand, but it's, it's also awkward. Press 16 uh, gigabytes, don't add more sticks. Like, what do you mean? I wasn't going to add more sticks. I was just going to get another pack, like 16 and 16. Not get, like, extra four sticks. I was going to do that. Hong Kong is English. Hong Kong is English for Hong Kong. <laughs> I didn't mean to stop that aggressively, but that works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll see, though. I'm trying to... I, I don't know what it is. It's, like, awkward. It's never um, done this before, too. Like, it's never been a problem until, like, a few weeks ago. So, we we'll see what we got Delta going on with it. But I think... I don't know what's going on, but... I think it's something with the game, me rendering something. Well, honk... Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Like, bro, what? Are you at high school or high star? I'm in high school, Waffy. Did you say he's going to take off? What do we what do we got going on here? Anyways, uh, the Sids here. We're on the Rove Rove to Charlie departure. So I guess the Rover to Charlie. That's what it's called. All right, cool. So we go out. Bruce Sylvia looks pretty nice. That's this is the uh, the way we're gonna be taken. So looks good there. We'll watch these. If I could zoom out, would be great. There we go. Uh, what are you flying a car in the air? What's up? Oh no. Alright, now we just sit here and wait to depart. <laughs> Alright. Head to traffic. Take off. I'm not. Only on is lining up on runway 5, Haneda. No, we were just telling him to line up. You're just sitting there. He <laughs> didn't want to sit on the runway. Pilots actually don't like sitting on the runway, surprisingly. They don't have to. They like holding short one. Uh, I don't know the name in uh, USA, like the final year, it's 12th grade. That's what it is, senior year, 12th grade. The final big exam. I don't know the final big exam, but the final year of high school is senior, uh, 12th grade, either one. Just realized my membership got gone, just got done. Hey, that sucks. Maybe somebody will give memberships, you might get it back. The SAT? Uh, maybe that. I don't know, like, the test. I know there's a PSAT, I know there's the SAT, but I thought there was like a, I don't think that's like the final test of the year. I don't, I've never heard of it being that. I just heard you, you should take the SAT, not like it's like a final big test of the year, <laughs> like a, like an in the school semester thing. I don't know. All right, we'll watch them depart here. 
then it'll be our turn to depart off of uh, runway 5. I need a traffic zero five left cleared for uh, takeoff. All right, uh, on the one sixteen fifty three, taking off of runway five via the Rover Two Charlie departure, Haneda. Haneda traffic on the pond one two behind the departing on the pond seven three on five will be lining up uh, runway five for Haneda traffic. All right, park brakes getting released. We'll get the uh, strobe lights on, wing lights coming on as well. Ping out the cabin. And let's spool spool forty to go ahead and give her some juice to line up here. Bro, uh, how do you get your speed to go so slow? What do you mean? All right, we're going to do one of those professional lineups. We're going to go straight in and then make a nice, nice turn to the left. Got to go a little bit slower here to start that turn. Uh, there we go. Beautiful line up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That was professional. Let's, let's slow down now. Let's not try to keep moving. All right, cool. Somebody's chatting. And you're at the last year? No, I'm in 10th grade. Never mind, it's rudder pedals. Wait, what? What, are we, what were we talking about? Look at Yoham sitting there aggressively. I didn't even know there was someone behind me too. <laughs> Yoham just chilling. Final runway three four right. I was about to say is somebody on final for runway five because that wasn't gonna work out. All right, TARA gets set because like I said, if that guy was gonna take off. That would have been bad. Let's clock two thousand there. Two zero zero zero. There we go. All right, we'll wait. Got traffic on our TCAS saying he's just departing. RJA? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was like, that's not even our airport. Just make it sure. Though. You him always be flying the A320? Yeah, I know. He loves it, bro. <laughs> it is the best. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're waiting to go. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you hit that like button. It is very much appreciated if you do. It does help out the channel a lot. Appreciate the support. Spent $90. I use it. <laughs> yes, it is. You him. Phoenix over the PMG. I think I like the Phoenix a lot more than the PMG with like the quality of the textures and the animations and all that. I just like flying the PMG more. I don't know. It's just because I like the yoke. Haneda traffic on the pond, 1653 clear of runway 5, climbing, climbing via the rover 2 Charlie departure. Haneda. Haneda traffic on the pond, 1 2 departing runway 5 on the rover 2 Charlie departure. Haneda. All right, let's go ahead and spool forward. Tornado traffic, Starflyer 718, lining up runway 05 behind the departing on the pond 737. Uh, I need a track. 42 good engines, Toga. Small, slight down pressure. And let's try not to jack up this departure this time. Just keep it center line. Air speeds alive, thrust is set. 80 knots. Knots. Me one. How's everybody climb? Gear. I need to add the sounds back in, like the call outs. I took them off since the last year cockpit. That was a lot better with Centerline, I will tell you. Alright, LNAV's engaged, VNAV speeds checked. This is such a weird departure though. It's like a, a little ziggle. Like, I'm literally calling it a ziggle because it's, it's a ziggle out of Anita and then you make a, like, dude, I don't get that. It's, there's some reason to it, but I, I'm not understanding. Flaps one up speed. Once we get to Pluto and make this left turn, we'll say we're clear. Flaps up, just clean up. Speed. 
Right, looking good. Auto brakes come off of RTO. And attack set comes off. Nose comes up. Looks good. And go ahead and get autopilot engaged now. Just get to, to RNF fly out of here. Alright, we're almost at Pluto once we make this left turn we'll call clear. Alright, making that left turn. And the native traffic on the pond, 1 2 clear, runway 5 climb via the uh, Rover 2 Charlie departure, we're passing uh, 4.4 for flight level 2 Niners here for the native traffic. Cool, let's go ahead and keep getting her out, get our tunes back on. Look how good the city looks back there, though. Look, ooh, that's a pretty departure, I won't lie to you. It looked a lot boring, more boring in the cockpit, but from the wing, oh yeah, let's go ahead and get our tunes back on. Departing runway 05, Ooh, 5 53 minute Charlie flight time. Told you it was a very short one. Uh, I wonder how many videos you and Pulse are going to be doing with the DFW 8350 and the 777. I'm going to be doing a lot of streams with the 57, with the 7, A350 and the 777. But I know Pulse is going to make that plane look crazy. Though. I already know. Nice takeoff. Thank you, Senpai. Yeah, that was a lot better than the last one. We were center line. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was a 787 at 4820. Oh, that was you? You're the one that spawned on my gate? I didn't know you were the one flying. Yep, it's me. Traffic Hope you're doing well, man. Appreciate you for stopping by. Yeah, that was <laughs> that Bravo was a me. You're fine, bro. You didn't know. I think someone, I think someone had uh, a mirror on the wing, bro. Five, then Bravo nine. That was Narita that is traffic. just a normal thing they have on their plans. Usually they have registrations. It's just like yeah. Usually they have the registration and then like the 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 country wing thing, the logo on the wing. No, I wasn't the eight through twenty that spawned. I saw that too. Oh, you weren't? Okay. I don't know who that was then. You were on upon uh, nine seventy seven. I have no clue who that is, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, you loved his vids, dude. I don't know why he stopped making them. He just said he kept he kept trying and trying, but he would just get less these and less these. So I was like, all right. I guess that's a valid reason. Okay, we're gonna keep that that climb going, please. Get two nine zero here. Uh, come on, there we go. Two nine zero. Vina speeds back on, passing ten thousand. Goes back to auto. Wing light comes off. Uh, on upon six six signs coming off. These visits are good. I'm telling you, they are. Look how dense the, the population is down there. Though. Like, look how many buildings are in that little small range of like just land. Like, I just find that so insane. I wonder how it is to live here on like a daily basis. You probably get used to it though. Uh, phenomenal, hold hearted stream. <laughs> Almost. Thank you for the kind words. And, not uh, traffic, Starfly 718, uh, we are not clear of runway 05 yet, so whoever just departed, be advised that you will be sniffing our APU and data traffic. <laughs> Post videos are also good, oh yeah. If you guys have not already, make sure you do hit that like button, it does help out the channel a lot, I appreciate it. Looking good on tonight's flight, got 48 minutes till we arrive into Akita, and then from there we're going to be landing and heading back to, um, where are we going? Osaka and then from there we'll see how long it is because I'm trying to have at least a four-hour stream tonight so if we if we get there we probably should get there because that's like an hour 30 minute flight because you combine these two that we just did into one flight so that's a little bit longer than usual with these two so we'll see what time it is when we get there um, if we if we end up getting there a little too quickly than I thought we would then we might end up just flying back to Akita or just fly to like Haneda or something again so we'll see yeah, I really do like this airport. It's super cool. It has like, it's Today, like in the middle of like a little mountain range and there's like snow up there and all that. It's super cool. I don't even think it's that high. It's just like, it's where it's in an area really far north. So I think that's probably something to do with it. Not that far up north, but just north of Japan. 
No, nah, you had a 3.7 subs two days ago. Now you're going fast. I did not have 3.7 subs two days ago. I had 3.7 subs like a month ago. But yeah, I am going pretty fast. I definitely didn't get that much in freaking two days though. Yeah, I've been at 4K for like almost two weeks now. Yo, I am is mad. Yes, it's uh, on the pod 403. I don't think you're talking to me, but I'm not on that, so therefore I cannot sniff your AP. Handle, uh, and it's a traffic, <sighs> star flyer 17. Um, if this on the pond 403 can maintain any lower airspeed than 250 uh, on the departure, that'd be great just for spacing, uh, because you departed. You're a uh, Japan 165 Vanta, okay. I just find that crazy how Waves got banned off of that sim so fast. Like, he just instant, <laughs> he made one mistake and just got banned. No, no thought behind it, just instantly banned. Ugh. I'll make another account, I don't care. I'm not gonna tell you to, but I, I wouldn't if I was you. But I mean, honestly, just email them that you messed up. But again, I think they're gonna do what they did to V1 and ask for like a birth certificate and stuff. So therefore I would say never mind. <laughs> Seems like everyone is getting banned now. Well, he got banned before this whole situation and stuff started coming like down. But yeah, they're going to 350. We're going to go to 30,000. I'm just going to replan for 30,000. I think that's fine. And the native traffic's on upon 120 clear of Haneda at this time, flying northbound. We're actually going to be climbing up to Flywheel Shree 00 instead of 290, continuing the uh, rover to Charlotte Park Shree. Oops, that's not good. Yeah, uh, they asked for an ID or something. Yeah, I was about to say, long banned for seven months. <laughs> but bro, you, okay, you keep saying you get banned and you're like trying to get everybody, I don't know, dude. Zip, you did it to yourself, fam. I don't know what you want us to keep telling you, bro. You're banned for seven months because you acted stupid on that sim and got caught. <laughs> like, bro, I don't know what we're supposed to tell you for that. I don't know why they kept pushing back your time more and more, but hey. No, I didn't. So what did you do to get banned for seven months? So, Bounce, how's it going? Aviation, how are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Y'all are going high, so let me go high. I mean, I'm going to 30,000 feet. It's still up and down, but it was because of Micah. Well, yeah, you, you still got caught. You're still not supposed to do that on Vatson. Even if Micah wasn't here, you still were at risk for getting banned. So it's... Don't try to blame Micah hey, because you acted up. Like, bro, right? Try to be a controller at CYVR in like six years or whatever I become a pilot because I have no plan B. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> if I don't become a pilot, I'm an air traffic controller. If I don't become that... I'm working at McDonald's, saving up money to become an air traffic controller. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro, look how cool that turn is, bro. Oh my. That sim, I mean, bro. I'm talking about real life. Oh, yeah, beautiful aircraft. I didn't even mean to hit that thing. Dude, like, look how good this looks, bro. Dude, on the pond's livery, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's just clean. I think it's just because it's blue, but I really like it in the triple seven. Their triple seven looks so good. You no, know, instead I'll be a marshal or something like that. Mikey's over here lurking, but uh, yeah, now you mentioned yes, ATC of a pilot if I fail. Yep, exactly. What did he do? So essentially, I was streaming like two months ago probably, and he was deciding to do barrel rolls and stuff, getting into people's flight. Like we were doing an arrival. And he flew directly out of the arrival, just like doing crappy pattern work that he shouldn't have been doing and stuff. He, he started like doing like 80 knots on the taxiway. He did a vertical takeoff. Like he was just goofing around. And there happened to be a person that's like a big mod for Vatson in my chat. And he dot walloped him and got him banned for seven months. And now he's blaming that dude for reporting him for why he got banned. Me personally, if I did a vertical takeoff on Vatsim on stream where everybody can see me, I think I think I'll be pretty nervous of getting banned. Like, bro. Alright, Mike, a new channel name? No, that's and, not. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's a whole. All the way to Kita. You can get your. If I can get your cruise out and uh, cruise mock uh, for reference, I'll be cruising at mock seven. Oh, you're talking about. That's a whole different person though. That's airborne of Mike. That's not Mike Messi. Yeah, it's going on butters. Cruising at Mach 7. No, he's talking about all of us. And 
on the mom or on the pawn chat. It's all on the pawn. One two we're cruising that five with three zero zero mock point uh, six two for the cruise. Oh, okay, so we, we should be uh, no factor. On the pawn uh, uh, we actually seven, seven four five with cruising cruise three three zero mock point seven eight. And for the on the pawn Congo line correction, it's on the pawn to over me cruising at Mach point seven one. I think I'm number three. We'll keep that in mind. Anyways, arrival charts now that we're already about to come in here. We'll go ahead and refresh this page. Cool. Arrivals into Actually no star. The Chokey three. So is that that Choka? Choka three. So this is what we're going to be flying. I'll use that as ref, and then we'll start getting her down here very shortly. This Kong has huge six airplanes, I think. I know, dude. It's crazy. What's going on, Big Blue? Hope you're doing well, man. How are you doing today? What's up? My flight was great. Nice aviation page. Did you take any videos? That was a quick flight. I just felt quick. Nah, bro. Micah has been growing his YouTube channel, streaming all the time. Airborne Micah? Oh, yeah. He has, man. I've been seeing. He's been doing like six streams a day. It makes no sense. I could never do that. Sorry, uh, was on my phone. You're good, Adam. All good, man. What's next stream? We're probably flying the Airbus, but we're either doing it in Cape Town to Johannesburg, or we're doing like some. Or we're doing some um, fin air ops. I think I'm wanting to do the fin air more though, because I haven't flown in Finland in, like ever on stream. So I think that'll be cool. But we're we're gonna be flying like freaking. Everywhere. <laughs> I'm not going to be in the U.S. at all for these Airbus flights. I'm not going to lie to you. We might do one, like, Frontier one, but that's it. Uh, why are there less people in his stream? Usually you have at least 30 to 40 people in his stream. In my stream? Uh, it's probably because we've only been live for, like, two hours. Usually by, like, the two-hour, 30-minute mark, we get everybody. <clears throat> Amazing camera view? Oh, yeah. Looks pretty nice. Post the pics and find some screenshots? I got you. I'll check it out. I'm down. Sounds good. Yeah, also it's probably because we we had all of our viewers and then we the stream crashed and now we're trying to slowly gain them back. <laughs> That's the thing I hate about when the, the things just like jack up because then like all the progress of the stream is just lost. You know what I mean? It's like stupid. You should do some Lottie A320 ops. That's what I'm saying. Throw in the Airbus ops you got in the uh, flight sim request form and I I uh, will check them out. If you guys are just now joining in though, make sure you hit that like button. I'm trying to hit our like goal of 90 likes. Just need... What is that? I don't even have this thing open. Just need 50 more likes. We're at 40. Help us out. It's not that bad. Warsaw to somewhere. I don't know. Yo, Ham, I'm already doing like seven of your flights. I'm doing like three of your requested flights. So I think I'm going to pick somebody else to do their flights. But you have some pretty solid ones. I'm not going to lie. But I got your Finland or Finnair Ops. And I'm going to do your... Uh, I wanted to wait for that. But I, I'm just going to do it anyways. The... Uh, what is that? The, uh, South African A320 because they use IEs and I was going to be like the IEs are releasing pretty soon so I was like maybe we'll wait for that but I just think we're going to do it because I don't want to sit here and just have flights planned and then when the IEs come out I want to do something else because I guarantee that's what it's going to be so we'll see like all of them are 10 out of 10 recommendations I'm going to say a good 7 of them were 10 out of 10 the rest I was just like I'm not flying that <laughs> like some of them I read through I was like uh yeah, I don't know about that. That's kind of how that went. All right, we got to... You about to start your center right now. That's what I'm saying. These shorts, these are some short flights. We got our top of the descent coming up pretty short. Let's just look at progress. That'd be easier. <laughs> top of the descent's in a 61 nautical miles. So, yeah, we're going to start planning here shortly to get down. That is going to be our plan. Looking good, though, up here. I will say I'm pretty excited. I, I keep saying I it, but I'm so excited to come into this line. Yeah, this arrival that we're going to be on is super cool. Because just the airport itself, the runways are like, they're not like the normal, like, whites. They're just more so the normal, like, uh... I, I would say normal because a lot of airports have it that aren't in the U.S. But like the green, not green, the uh, orange runway landing markers and all that, like the numbers and everything, it's orange. And I'm pretty sure that's just because it snows a lot up there, if I'm not mistaken. It's easier to read, but I don't know. All right, I posted it. I got you. Let me check it out. 
I can't wait to do tell my long haul. Y'all just love long hauls, bro. I just I like doing some, but y'all do them so often. It's just like yo, Caden <laughs> with bird pictures. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay. Highest auto brake setting, everyone. We gotta get out the run of ASAP because people will be on like five mile finals. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna use auto brakes three and max reverses. That's that's my plan. I was I was about to bring that up when we got closer, but I'm glad he did now. Ways with the amazing pictures out of uh out of Haneda. Oh yeah, that livery looks. Oh, I thought it was I thought it was probably something different. But yeah, your livery is exactly how it is on the Vats and Mono matching you him. That's pretty solid. Where did your pictures go, Don? What did, what did you do? Oh, your uh, flight request? Yeah, I got you. Thank you, thank you. We'll check them out. Check them out. I'm uh, taking gate three, making that known now. I'm going to be taking one of the ramps because I have the scenery, like the freeware scenery. So some of the gates are like messed up. So I'm going to be parking at the ramp. So I need at least somebody to, to leave the ramp open because that's where I'm going to be at. I can't tell you where exactly because I don't know the number, but I'm going to be at the ramp. That's that's all we gotta know. So somebody leave at least one ramp open for me. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yeah, the, the freeware scenery for some reason they have jetways that are on the ground and then it has the GSX jetways that are up there, like at the top. So I don't it looks stupid. Uh conga line, use highest auto brake setting, vacate runway as soon as possible in order to cause go around. In the event of cause go around, you will be bored. Basically. That that sums it up pretty pretty well, yeah. I appreciate it. All right, we gotta stay alert here though, because like I said, we're probably gonna be getting down here very shortly, very very shortly. Let's see. Uh, let's go hop back into the cockpit here. Once we get it on our this page, the 40 on Akamal out page, then we'll start paying attention. We're at 40 almost action, so it's gonna be flapping into this top part here. What do you say now? He's on final for only three, four, right? <laughs> Just some random dude reading that and being like, yo, what are y'all talking about? That's actually funny. I feel like I should do it here. I'm going to re I'm going to repost. How about that? Let's see. Using Obex three and four reverse should avoid uh, being bullied. Yeah, I was about to say, if you, if you do that, you should be fine. Now let's stick to that. So we don't get, so we don't get fully bullied. I'm just gonna throw it out and everything, throw, like a re-upload. Sorry. There you go. All right, this is gonna look really bad, but I feel like I lost traffic, all of this stuff. All the point sixteen fifty three is sent by the Choke. Uh, depart or sorry, arrival is sending to two thousand two hundred. There you go. For Isla Yankee two eight. Thought this place is gamble all, yes sir. All right, I just yeah. pinged it back out. I don't think I should get in trouble for that, but <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, that should that should be fun. All right, let's hop back in the cockpit though, because we gotta we gotta work on some stuff here. Yep. So minimums, because I feel like they're gonna be the traffic pretty high. Uh, forgot to say was in the ILS two eight. Uh, yeah, we're on the ILS two eight as well, so we're gonna be in the ILS Zulu for two eight. So minimums are five fourteen. So that's actually not as bad as I thought. So oops, set five fourteen up in here. What's going on, Classy? Welcome back. Sorry, I had to go. We went to dinner. I'm about to fly. But I should catch you back when I'm at cruise. Sounds good, Classy. We'll see, man. Uh, why are you cruising so slow? Pick up the pace. We're not supposed to be at this. When did my VNAV turn off? <laughs> I don't. Bro, I'm a, I was supposed to be at Mach, uh, Mach 7 1. You want me to go faster than Mach 7 1? Here, we go Mach 7 4. Yeah, I don't. My VNAV was off. My bad. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, cool. So. 515 was it? 514. 514 is what we'll set. Uh, can I be your co for the? Yes, sir. Southwest, hop in. Go out of, get out of your economy class seat and hop back in the uh, in the plane. Yeah, I don't know why. I think I double clicked it and didn't pay attention after. Uh, a lock is 108.90, so we'll set 108.90 here. 108. Here we go. 108.90. Looks good. We'll set 108.90. Oops. Went on 890 is set across the board. Looks good. Final approach course 286. So we'll set 286 on our MCP. Yep, we're, we're speeding her up. My bad. I probably, that's what I'm saying. In these, in these short hops, it's 
really good to start paying attention, but I'm over here looking at the beautiful scenery. I just hit my DPI button. 286. Am I tweaking? It is 286, right? Yeah, 286. Okay. Set it on this side as well. Double scroll technique. There we go. 286 across the board looks good. Top of descent is coming shortly. We're going to go ahead and we'll plan down. I don't want to go too low initially until we fully read the charts, but I'll say 15 for now. And then uh, we'll let me look at the rest of this chart here to see what we really got to be at. So we're coming in for the 28. There's the VOR. We're going to need to make Belgium at 5,000. So we could set, or not Belgium, but Bingham at 5,000. So we'll set 5,000 here. All right, 5,000 set looks good. Cool. All right, let's bring it in. All right, so guys, do not take my beautiful ramp. I don't want to be at the gate. <laughs> I think there's enough for like four or five people at the ramp anyways, so there might only be like one person at the gate. But if you have the freeware scenery, you don't want to be at the gate coming in there guys if you haven't not already make sure you hit that like button we are slacking on tonight's live i don't know what's going on but it's fun we're chilling just having some fun <clears throat> let's see here let's uh oops i mean to clip something yo what's going on what did you change your name to is that what you call it amari yeah it is what's going on amari how are you doing man did you just change your name to that or am i like on something I feel like you didn't just change your name. I don't know why. He's gambling. Let's see if he wins. Oh, you lost. Damn. Nice amount of clouds. Oh, yeah. Weather's nice. Tested my scenery before I joined in bad, so my gates are chilling. Well, maybe it's just part of the scenery because mine, it has like my, the jetways are fine. It's nothing wrong with the jetways. It's just if you really paid attention. The scenery has like model jetways defaultly. They, they don't work. They're just there. But the jetways are like on the ground for like Cessnas and stuff. You know what I mean? Not Cessnas, but like CRJs, like those kind of ground jetways. And then it has the GSX like world of jetways that are like the actual like real jetways. I don't know if that's maybe just mine. I don't know. This, this Pastor James, why doesn't he come to the streams anymore? It's because it's you. I don't get how you put on this alias for the whole streams, bro. It makes no sense. All right, we're coming out of uh, 30,000. Now, my custom jetways work. Mine work, too. Here, I'll show you. When we get there, I'll explain. Maybe we're thinking two different things. Akita traffic's on the pond. One, two, descending out of the flight level. Shree zero, zero, descending via the co coche for runway 28. It's uh, Akita. I don't know how to say that. It was my brother, bro. That was you. That was definitely you. Shree zero zero. Why y'all bullying me for saying Shree? Y'all be saying three, okay? Y'all say three zero zero. Say Shree. All right. We are respectful, real pilots up in this. <laughs> Come on now. All right, looking good though. Uh, hmm, I should buy your membership if you want to. It's very appreciated. Man, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get some more RAM. Say Shree. Yeah, I'm saying Shree. Not she, Shri. Because you do. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we have to get some more RAM though. Well, let me see if I can figure out what what is causing my RAM usage to go all the way up and then all the way down. Uh, Starfly seven eighteen starting a descent out of three five zero four seven thousand. Descending by the choke right. Maybe your views are down. I know it's because the stream ended and uh, stuff. That's what I mean. we are we're slacking on today's live, but it doesn't matter. Just that much. Forming around, I mean, around eleven thousand. There's a bit of turbulence. Just uh, for Akita. Where is everyone? I have no clue. <laughs> she was easier to understand, anyways. As goofy as it is, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I have no clue where everybody is. <laughs> like I said, I'm just chilling out, flying. People are stopping in one by one. It it is totally fine for me. Like I said, we got a pretty hectic weekend plan, so we should get our viewers back. Bro said turbulence. Dude, there was one time on that What You Called's video, he was, like, talking about how just go through the storm cell. It's a virtual plane. You're not going to die. It's like, bro, you got to be realistic, man. 
See, there's turbulence at a. What did he say? He's going down to 11,000, but I don't know what kind of turbulence he is. And the uh, conga line going to Akita. Can I confirm who's number two? I think it's flight line. Um, on the phone, 1553 should be number two. Let me double check real quick. You are. All right, there you go. And uh, last station call. What's your uh, cruise or descent speed as of right now? Uh, Mach seven zero. All right, and the person ahead of me. What's your cruise and Mach speed? Um, we're descending to eighty thousand. We're at three one, and we're at five four. Uh, on the point 1553. You're at Mach 0.54, 1553? 0.54, sorry, um, on the point 1553. Uh, 53. What's your, uh, what's your nautical miles until you reach the choke uh, waypoint? 25 miles, uh, on the point 1653. Roger, right. So on the pond one, two, we're going to slow speed down to uh, two, five, zero knots for now. For the keep the traffic. Because we, I'm about to, I'm about to hit him. <laughs> we, we are on top of each other right now. I don't see him, but he, I, he has 25 miles to go. I have 25 miles to go as well. Roger, Stock Flyer 718. We're going to be reducing to box, uh 0.65 on the descent. Sounds good. Our mock speed for uh, on the pond one two is going to be Mach point five eight. All right, so we'll see what we got going on here with that speed. Final line's going slow. <laughs> it goes so slow. Uh, I always show my support. Appreciate that, uh, senpai. That means a lot, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, beginner to some. Please fasten your seatbelts and prepare for landing. There you go. Okay, yeah, Yohim should be a controller. <laughs> Bro, Mikey was saying when I was flying with what you call that sound like. Just check Vastify for the spacing. Seems good between you and Flyline. Does it? I'll just base it off of how much nautical miles he has until that waypoint. We're both at 25. I don't see him on my TCAS or anything, so I think we are fine. We'll, we'll say what we're at now. I'm maintaining Mach 0.6, so. Dude, there's something in my eye. How? If you haven't already, though, guys. Y'all know the drill. We're trying to hit 90 likes this evening. Help us out. We are at 41, I think. 41. Yep. Help us out. We're kind of close. Not really. We got another whole flight to do and all that, so I think we'll be fine. Game crashed? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Yeah, we'll get the uh, spoilers out. There we go. Is my traffic even on? Yeah, I got TAR on. I'm just not picking him up or anything, surprisingly. Join you on the next look. Alright, sounds good. If you're doing another one, I am. We are. <laughs> We're gonna head down back to Osaka. And then like I said, depending on how much time we've actually been live for and all that, uh, if it's if I think it's been a little too short, we'll uh we'll fly back up to probably we'll probably fly back up to here, honestly, because I like this airport. So we'll see. Traffic, traffic, climb now. Climb now. Or climb, climb now. Like I said, we got TAR. I kept, I don't know if you realized, but I kept coming down to check if I did. But yeah, I, I got it on. Turn on traffic radar on the autopilot panel. So say we're, we're chilling. I'm not picking you up on anything. You turn traffic on, just turn on TAR. It's not on. Oh, got traffic now. This is your flight attendant. What's going on, Reigns? How are you doing, man? This is your uh, flight attendant speaking. We have just started our descent. We should be arriving shortly. Flight attendants will come through the cabin shortly. And once again, thank you for flying with the uh, on the pond air. There you go. Now spacing with owls, not so much. I was about to say. For reference, we are roughly 50 not miles away. Yep, it should be good. We're roughly uh, 25 knock miles away from the pond one, too. Roger, Yeah, we got traffic turn. Like, I don't. I think he's just invisible. <laughs> invisible, bro. We got TA on. We got traffic radar on now. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. Turn it off. Turn it back on again. I'm not picking him up. On what you call it though, it says we're fine. I'm looking at it now. 
We don't look like we're like on top of him or anything. He is moving very slow though, so I don't I don't know what he's really doing here, but we'll watch out for him. I'm not trying to hit him. Yo, Am's acting like a controller? No, he's just trying to not kill get us to like kill each other. I think that's uh here. 1653. That's his call sign. Okay. Traffic on on the knob. Yep, yeah, we just clicked it. You see the traffic uh, illuminated down there. You're not 25 knocking about your 17 from the waypoint in front. Oh, you said in front? I thought you said Choka. Buddy. Oh, my bad. I just wasn't listening to it. Yeah, we're 14 now. Maybe like 30. We're, we're 15. Or 17. 13. Yeah, Choka, I did. But 25 knocking miles. Okay, Boeing is weird. Never mind. Ignore me. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, we're going to set auto brakes to, uh, we'll get auto brakes three today. And uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get our performance page going. The C7 uh, doesn't age with me well at all. The C7, I don't like the C8. That C8 is stupid. I like the C7. The C7 looks amazing. All right, let's go ahead and get this performance here. What is going on, Botronics? How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. All right, so we're going to be doing, I think I already got the ILS thrown in. So 108.90, 108.90, 2.86. Yeah, we've got that thrown in. Let's do our weights here. 131.8 is our gross weights. And landing gross weights, 8.2 remain. There we go. 123 points. Oops, 123.6. And we'll go flaps 30 at 137 knots. I think that should be good. Minimums are set. All right, cool. So now we can do our descent checklist. Sounds good to me. Okay, you ready for the approach checklist? Yes, sir, Captain. Doing 240 knots now? Yeah, you gotta speed it up, bro. Are Akita you under- Akita traffic, uh, all nip and fizzle five, turn left base for uh, runway two way. And on upon 1653, can I get, can I get your estimated knock miles into the Benjen waypoint? Uh, we're 15 miles out for Alnipon 1653. Roger, thank you. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Akita traffic, Alnipon 745, establish localizer for runway Bro, what you call it's already, already... Jesus. Approximately 7 miles out. Right, we're gonna do 250 on the speeds here. We'll get that to slowly slow us down because we don't actually need to be at it just yet. All right, descent checklist. Pressurization set to our landing altitude. That's already filled out. Recall. Check and looks good. And once you can get your current speed. And uh, have you passed the Ho 2 waypoint yet? Yep, we're uh, passing over the Hoku waypoint now. We're uh, slowing speed from 3 zero zero knots to a 2 5 zero knots. Wrong with one one two. Roger, we're going to be slowing way down. We're only 8 knots miles behind you at this point. I'm trying to space out with the uh, 1653 ahead of me. He's going, he keeps going slower and slower, my bad. Yeah, you're, you have good spacing with him. You're like 30 knock miles away, but I'm really, really close to you, so I'm going to be slowing down. Yeah, we'll speed 260. In that case, we'll speed up just a little bit. We'll uh, maintain 270 knots until 10,000 for 12. Sure, we'll maintain 250. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, yep. Dude, I can't tell because he see on my map. He's it's like he's like right in front of me on my map, and then what he's telling me he says he's right in front of me. We'll just we'll just maintain 270 now. We're all jamming, bro. Post checklist complete. We're not even done yet. Akita traffic. Uh, Anyways, auto uh, set to three. Uh, Landing data VREF is 514 per the charts. Min or VREF is actually 30 at 137, and minimums are 514 per the charts. Post briefing is completed. Landing checklist complete. If you guys already have are just now joining us and have not already, make sure you hit that like button in the face. We're trying to hit our like goal of 90 likes this evening. Should be possible. Sorry, I'm going slow, low, slowing down for the my flaps. No, you're good. You're good. Like I said, this approach is a little awkward because it doesn't real the way it, it's the descent, the way it has you in. You're automatically joining the localizer at like an eight mile to 10 mile final, so you do have to kind of slow down. But I also got to maintain 250 knots here, so. We're gonna slow 250 now. All right, past the 10,000 landing lights, come on. Akito traffic, uh, for your information, it's raining, wet runway, Akito. Thank you. 
Alright, seatbelt signs come on as well. Alright, seatbelt too. And to keep the traffic on upon one, two for traffic behind us, we're passing 10,000 feet slowing to speed 250 knots until about 20 nautical miles out from the field. So we're going to uh, maintain this speed until five, we basically get final, really close to not, not killing him. Uh, you going to end here? It honestly felt like five hours. We've Roger, only been streaming uh, for two, choke, two uh, hours yes. and 30 minutes. Uh, are 22 nautical miles away from Choka. Not yet, we're currently 10 nautical miles away from Frontal Pond 1 2. Roger, so we have 10 nautical miles facing. Uh, we'll continue slowing down. We'll go to 240 currently. Roger. Uh, yeah, but no, we've only been streaming for like 2 hours and 30 minutes. We are, we are chilling on the, on the time. We're going to be flying back though. It's already been like 3 hours and 20 minutes combining both flights and streams. Really? I mean, well, yeah, both streams have been like 3 hours, but. I, I'm going to be flying back down to Osaka. I think that's a good plan. All right, we're coming in, guys. This should be a very interesting approach. You just said it's wet and rainy, so <laughs> we're definitely going to need auto brakes three and uh, reverse full. We'll see what we get. Maybe it's not that scary. I remember last time where it said it was like storming and the winds were gusting at like 56 knots. It really wasn't even that bad in Microsoft, so we'll see. I know passing through these clouds and stuff right now looks freaking insane, but that does mean there's a lot of activity down there. Five more minutes until we reach the field, guys. Should be a decent landing, hopefully. And uh, traffic that has landed in Akita. Can we get some open to check, please? Winds are at the 103 knots, uh, Akita traffic. That's not bad winds. Roger, man. thank you. It hasn't changed yet. Forgive me for what I'm about to say. I sadly cannot uh, stand around for that long. Just seeing the same clouds. Not turning left base for runway. Not everybody can. I just think Akita. that looks freaking cool. I mean, I'm We'll see you, Chris. Man, it's all good, man. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. <clears throat> we'll see. You. Do you have the uh, member emojis? Go ahead and send the peace out emoji for him. Peace. All right, here we go. I didn't even listen to what what she called. So I should probably stop focusing on this and worry about the plane. All right. We're coming in now. I said until 20 out from the field, we're probably going to maintain 250 knots, and we're about to cross that 20 mark here. So. Akita traffic on this. Uh, uh, should I fly the Learjet 35 from RJSK to RJO? If you want to. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Should I get that Learjet? I was thinking about it, but it's like, it's too much of a, it looks so much of an older plane, like with a bunch of like, you know, dials Akita instead of spins. I'm not going to be good for it. Very big step with three people in that. Nice cloud break through. Oh yeah. I'm going to try it. Sounds good. Let's slow her down a bit. All right. We'll, uh, we'll slow her to... All right, I'll go ahead and repeat. Um, on the bond, 1653 is turning left final for about a nine mile right, final. We'll go ahead get the songs come off. Eight, I'll see if there's a Japan livery. Yep, go ahead. Roger, and traffic landing once vacated. Uh, uh, please reduce the uh, traffic chatter. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Can you, what, what did you say? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so loud? All right, we're going to be landing 2-8, uh, departing on Tango 5. That's our plan. I think you heard me. Uh, go ahead and repeat, please. <laughs> sterile cockpit. Anyways, uh, keep the traffic on upon 1-2 sterile cockpit, passing 6.8 for 5,000, slowing speed 2-2-0, Kita. All right, here we go. Absolutely phenomenal greenery. Oh, yeah, it, it looks insane right now, dude. I'm not even really looking out the window, I'm more so monitoring my screens and all that. But yeah, this looks good. Alright, so we it wants us and, to join uh, that waypoint two, very well. So. Looks like we're only ten on miles apart at uh, this point. Thank you. Yeah, we're trying. We got about ten nautical miles until we join the localizer for about a six mile final, so we're trying. Roger, no worries. We're currently two thirty uh top. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get 1,700 here on the altitude. Let's go level change, vertical speed, and we're gonna get her down a thousand feet per minute. Thousand one hundred should do. And this is gonna be the busiest approach we've ever had in a minute, so that should be nice. 
It's expected we get down there a little bit from there. So what we're going to do, maybe I'll vector us up. Uh, 020 zero would be good intercept heading. I mean, and is on a it would be, but that would be even eight. shorter. So what uh, I'm going to do, track. when we get close to the localizer, I'm going to go direct to uh, Sierra, or not Sierra, Charlie Fox Route 28. That will give us a nice little curve into it, because just hitting that hitting that zero two zero heading will just freaking throw us straight into it, and we'll have to be at like a 1,000 feet by then. Because look how, look how short of a final we're already on. This is less than a 10-mile final. So let's we'll see what we got. We're going to maintain 230 here. We'll see if we could catch it. Traffic all the pond six and fifty three is on short final for runway two eight. Final call, Akita. Akita. Right, let's make it happen. Here what we do you go. Mean final call. You need to say you vacated too, bro. <laughs> Dude, literally going through these clouds is freaking insane right now. Final call is usually set when, like, you know, when you're near landing. But, yeah. All right, y'all, cut me some slack. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. What do y'all think this landing rate's going to be? Got a landing rate monitor open. Should be a nice arrival here. Kind of scared, but, hey, it's fine. Ooh, it looks nice outside. I swear, this is my funniest day on Vatsim. All right, we're at the discount. We're going to go ahead and go direct. Actually, we're going to get on a heading here. I'm going to have to, because we're, we're not, we're too high. We're gonna get on a one zero zero heading. Gonna keep the traffic looks a little too high. This is all upon one two. We're passing four thousand. We're gonna be downwind for runway two eight. We'll spread out for that traffic. You can still get in behind us if you want. And actually, no. What we're gonna do. We're gonna be on a one two zero heading until we can get that out. Traffic behind you is maintaining two twenty. Uh, eight nautical miles away from a pigeon. 2,500 here. And that last station call, we have you on TCAS. Like I said, you could uh, feel free to scoot in behind us. We're just trying to get down for some altitude. We're not going to be able to keep this heading, though, as there's mountains in front of us. Can keep this heading for a little bit, but we're not trying to go smack into these mountains here. All right, we're gonna get flaps two here. I'm gonna say 200 and just 200 flat on All screen. right, Akita speak. traffic uh, on the pond 653 is vacated runway 28, Akita. And we're gonna have her do a quick spin here. Akita traffic. Starfly 718, turning heading Speech 060. Thank you. Nikita traffic. Nikita traffic on a pond 12, now number 2 for the ILS runway 28, making left base about a 12 mile final. Keep it. Uh, uh, all in the pond 12, we'll let you go in front. Uh, Nikita traffic. Uh, Roger, at number 1, and uh, acknowledge for all in the pond 12. I was gonna let him go in front of me. I'm so far out now. I could just slow the freak down. He was going to zero to zero heading. So all right. Heater traffic star flash seventy eight turn heading. Stunning landscapes turning, all around. Heading, oh yeah. Zero nine, zero. Oh yeah. He had to go around too. <laughs> he was too high too. I was about to say this approach just has everybody super high. All right. Tax lights come on. And it wants us to be at a 1,700 feet here, so we're going to plan 1,700 feet level change, vertical speed, and we'll get her down about 300, eh, 800 feet per minute. That should reach it. That's a little too quick, actually. Let's get, like, 500 feet per minute. Still got to get over these mountains. 2,500 feet. I low-key might fly this in by hand, though. Low-key. This is a scary approach. Like I said, this is going to be interesting. 160 on the speed. It's traffic star flyer, 17, turning heading of one. Zero. Yeah, he's did the same thing I did. <laughs> this Air Force fun. I want to go back here. I told you it was going to be a nice one. I was telling you, I was really excited for this one. Flaps five, flaps five, super check. And we're going to go ahead and drop gear down here. I love the landscape of Japan. Yeah, it's freaking insane, Pyro. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button. Drop your landing rates in chat. What do y'all think we shall get? Getting locked on the VOR. Is that the runway? 
I think we have the runway here. We're going to maintain 2,000 here. 2,400. Hit slots 5 here. Will there be a replay? Not for this leg, uh, big blue or final leg, yes. I'm trying to get eyes on this runway here. I'm pretty sure it's right there, but we do look a little little low here, so we're gonna we're gonna maintain this altitude here for a little bit. If anything, we might go up to Yeah, let's let's get that back up here. Let's get three thousand back up there. We could get down there. Get down flat fifteen, not yet. Traffic, uh, slowing down to speed two. Two zero zero, turning heading zero six zero. Need a traffic. What's up, Cap? What's going on, Zach? Man, hope you're doing well. Coming into this nice airport. Yep, we got eyes on the field. Cool. Terrain and habit switch. Yeah, I was about to say. Let's get to terrain radar. Uh, Starfly seven eighteen, turning heading. Uh, Good idea. Three three zero. Try and get established in this localizer here. All right, now let's slowly get her down here after we uh, can cross this mountain range here. This is an insane approach. 154 Pyro John says, all right, all right. This is a pretty Gator quick traffic, approach. Traffic, stop by 718, slowing to 180, Gator traffic. Just for hammer speed 170 here until we're fully established. It's just insane though how like how we're not even that high, but it feels like we're just sitting in mountain ranges. I'm about to fly this in visually, low key. I, I actually don't and want to get on the One two, can uh, can I get your speed at nautical miles distance away from Charlie Foxtrot two eight? Yep, currently four and a half nautical miles from Charlie Foxtrot two eight. Speed uh, one seven zero knots, getting uh, locked on to the ILS now. Roger, Starfly Won't give you the horn if you uh, zero, if you don't get fifteen with the gear. I see. Heading to. Uh, all right, gears down. We'll go flaps 15. Correct. I think I'm some visual here. Right, let's go ahead and hit 1,700 feet here. We'll go level change, but we're going to get her slowly down here. Do like 100 feet per minute. 300 feet per minute should actually do. All right, here we go, guys. Glide slope capture. Yep. We're trying to get on it here. We're not uh, We're not really getting on it at all. Um, Makita traffic. Uh, stop by 718. Slowing one. Five zero, uh, direct Charlie Foxtrot two eight. There you go. Give me leg. What? I right, lucky want to fly this in myself. We're gonna go ahead and uh, hop off the uh, localizer or hop off the ILS. Flaps thirty at one three seven. And uh, landing traffic. Uh, Star flight seven eighteen nine knock miles away from Charlie Foxtrot two eight. Need to traffic. Roger, we keep the traffic on a pond. One, two, we're on the visual approach now for runway two eight, about a uh, five and a half mile final, Akita. All right, we'll put, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put one, three, seven on our speeds here. Go ahead and arm our speed brake. We're gonna be ready to vacate. All right, here we go. Slower down, flaps 25 and flaps 30. So, where are we going after this? Back to uh, we're gonna go back to Osaka. Appreciate you guys flying all these legs with us, it means a lot. And the key to traffic star flying 718, reducing to final approach speed. Approach looks amazing. Oh, it does. It's a very fun approach, I will say. All right, landing checklist, gears down, three greens, auto brake set, three, speed brake arm with the green lights, and cool, I think that's about it. Landing checklist complete. And flaps third air with the green light, gears down, three greens, speed brake arm, cool. All right, yeah. Key to traffic on the pond, one, two, three mile final for the visual, two, eight. Landing checklist, landing checklist complete, thank you. Keep the traffic on a pond. One, two, short final for the visual two eight. So keep it. Still here, just looking. Sounds good, Mikey. Appreciate it. Just been busy, kind of watched, and just haven't said much. You're good, Zach. Like I said, we're just chilling out today. 
And uh, gated traffic, star five seven eighteen. We're ten knots miles away from uh, two eight, but we are currently maintaining one three five. Uh, we should be no factor, but uh, yeah. All right, let's make this happen. We'll turn the windshield wipers on, but uh, can't really. They don't really work. Thousand feet, stabilized, checked again, we continue. Got a little bit of a mountainous range right there, so we'll watch that. Try to get down a little bit lower on these pappies. Try to trust what they're saying here. I don't trust these pappies at all for this airport, because look how we look and look at what the pappies are telling us. So we're gonna we're just gonna continue our little glide slope we just gave ourselves here. Yeah, we do not look high at all. We look perfectly fine. I don't know what this thing's tweaking about. Goes that beautiful orange runway. Plus hundred. Two red, two eight. Minimums. Continue. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Ah. Oh. A little bit harder than the last lane, but that was smooth. Nose down gently. Well, that felt like such a slow landing, and it was. All right, reverse is coming out. 80 knots. Manual braking. Can we make this? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we slammed on the brakes there today. We need some brake fans. We need everybody to get out and blow the brake fans. Kita traffic on the pond. One, two. Brakes are hot. Clear. Runway two eight. Tango three. Tango to the ramp. Akita. <laughs> oh my. Roger. <laughs> thank you. Akita traffic. Star five seven eighteen. Uh, seven knock about final on the island. Zulu for two eight. And uh, shields come off. Traffic. Wing lights off. We'll just roll her into the ramp. Ooh, those those brakes are hot. <laughs> very, very very hot. Um, I don't know if there's a brake fan thing in this in this plane, but uh, we need it. Also, did I just turn the wrong way? How did I manage to not see any of that? All right, flaps up. We're gonna do uh, the <laughs> brake fans on the Airbus, bro. This Next guy post. really turned the wrong way. On the pond, one two. <laughs> Does FS realistic work on any plane? It does. It won't. Uh, it won't simulate the best in every plane, but it definitely does work in every plane. Is the ATC uh, online? No, we don't got any ATC uh, online. Four knots about final runway two eight. Uh, final call and to traffic. All right, don't Can worry. Can you all hear me? No. Paper. All right, cool. Don't worry about that. This isn't the normal Airbus uh, zero degree turns. This plane, this, hey, don't worry about that. In the grass is crazy. Shh, we're not in the grass. We're not in the grass. What have I come back to? What's, in, what's going on, Caden? Don't worry about it. Nothing, nothing to see here. We just, uh, <laughs> we just couldn't, we turned the wrong way. We had to, we had to quickly turn back the right way. So I thought, hey, let's just do a 360. This plane isn't really good at doing 360s. I think in real life it is and disseminate for me. Actually, no, those jetways look fine. I'm thinking about a different airport, actually. Here, we'll just slide into that one, then. Thank you to traffic. Uh, I'm lying about the final call. Star flash 718, short final uh, runway to 8. Did that say Thank 5 or 3? That says 5. All right. Let's keep it going, now. Tax lights can come off. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and slide into the ramp now. Yeah, I was thinking of the other scenery that we're going to be flying to. Not this one. Never mind. I was thinking about two completely different airports. <clears throat> is this Roblox? No, this is Minecraft, man. It's the internet's viewership, bro. What? What's going on, Mario? How are we doing? If you guys are just now joining, and make sure to hit that like button. Try to hit 90 likes this evening. Help us out. Anyways, I'll catch up on some chat once we get in here. Supply cooling switches and over, but this is not Roblox. Fix my mouse problem? Nice, Patty. How did you do it? Where are we going? What's going on, Mikey? We are coming in 
to uh, an airport, and we're going to a different airport, sir. We're not starting this just because I do it on your channel. It doesn't give you permission to do it on my channel. Oh, we're going the wrong way? Here, there we go. I will have a dance this time, guys. Reinstalled that game? Nice. Alright, keep it slowly getting us up. Uh, uh, uh. Zero, 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 zero is what we're going for. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. Ah, oh, all right, zero, zero, or right, zero, two, zero. There we go. All right, brakes are set. Will she dance? That was a pretty good engine. Engine's cutting them off. We'll go ahead and get the APU gens on. Engine's spawned down. Indicator traffic, star flight seven eighteen, clear runway two eight. It's going to Lone Star Vader. Hope we're doing well, man. She gonna dance? Indicator traffic, good job. Buddy did not dance. Oh yeah, no go around. Anyways, so there goes our We're engine spawn down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looks great. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and chill her out now. Go ahead and request some deep boarding. Almost all zeros. I know, man. That was that was nice. We got a negative 91 feet per minute, by the way. That was where our landing was. 91 feet per minute. I'll take that. We got a negative 80 something. 203? Oh my. All right, uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get the uh, electronics back to a normal position. Isolation valve goes off. Fuel pumps off except for the left after the APU. Uh, we'll get the seatbelt signs up. Y'all are free to deboard. APU gen switched on. Y'all dampener off. IRS is coming unaligned. Uh, Pro peak can come off as well and beacon lights off. And no, we don't want to request ground power. Passengers All right, we're deboarding now. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and catch up on some chat, guys. Everybody's flooded in now, like I was saying. After like an hour of streaming, everybody would flood in. So we got we got everybody flooding in. Appreciate y'all coming in. Uh, let's go ahead and get some songs turned back online. And uh, go ahead and get her deboarded and ready to head back down to Osaka for the last leg of the day, I think so. I think that'll be a pretty good last leg. Let's see. Let's go like here, something like that. That looks like a pretty sick view everybody coming in or getting off the plane all right cool so negative 91 feet per minute i will take that lane we'll go ahead and catch up on some chat sorry about that guys uh main or breaking yes sir i was please send me the fs releasing profile i got you just text me on discord so i could be reminded uh oh nice line my friend appreciate that dream dream much from flight tail is butter thank you senpai with the butter emoji appreciate it does that yeah fs releases works and everything uh, can I have a field day in the media after this one, bro? <laughs> plane smell of grass. It just wanted to go play for a second, guys. Give it a break. Plane just wanted to go, wanted to go play. It's a small mistake. I did for a phone run, but a long one, probably uh, part deal. But S STL to I at NZ A to Y is Y. That's a nice flight. But yeah, that would be a long time. I can think about that though. That's not bad. This is pretty cool. Um. Patty says fix his miles. Yes, sir. Reinstall the game. Are you playing this game on Xbox or Roblox? Yeah. What's going on, Lone Star? Though. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> uh, what's going on, Swiss Kid? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. You got a uh, 1 through 40, 54. What does that mean? Oh, 154. I was about to say, that's nice. Yeah, I got 91 feet per minute. I'll take that. Uh, Yeah, I don't think I could fly the MD 11 from here. Yeah, I don't think you can, pal. Uh, bro's going to have a field day with Mike's of me. <laughs> Should continue strong? Yes, sir. Love the all upon liver. Yeah, this livery is great. It would look a lot better if it wasn't like, you know, kind of storming here. But I mean, this looks this looks pretty bad right now. Or not bad, but you know what I mean? Like good. It looks like mean. Look, look at our conga line. We also got another guy landing in. Oh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is what's up right here. Look at this, guys. Look at our conga. All right, let me go ahead and let's refile the flight plan. We're going to say we are in a we're going to say we're all upon 17. And we're going to Osaka. Sim brief. We're a 737 800, not an A320. All blue liveries are amazing. I know. I'm telling you. Yo, Mike. If you guys are just now joining in, please be sure to hit that like button. We're trying to hit 90 likes this evening. Low key, just because of how we started off stream today, I don't think we might hit it, but we'll keep it optimistic. Uh, here's our new route. Like I said, we're actually going to have a flight today uh, for this leg. It's about an hour, 20 minutes, so there's an actual leg we could fly. Not just like a quick reposition, basically. 
We're gonna we're gonna fly today. Uh, we'll go ahead with the party runway two eight. Boom. R J O O slash three two left is what we're arriving on. Uh, you're my favorite. Appreciate that, Swiss kid, man. That means so much. Appreciate uh, that I can make you or enjoy. Yeah, appreciate that you can enjoy my streams. That means a lot. I can't talk today, my bad. All right, double fold for good luck. We'll go ahead and reconnect as on the pond 17. So everybody's going to be gone for a second. Then we can reconnect and everybody will join back in. Just like to appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. All right, we're back in. Uh, cool. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started, shall we? Let's go ahead and uh, redo our sim thing. Hopefully this doesn't jack up again because that was the first time I ever did that. RJOO Osaka, not Osaka, but on the pawn 17. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why the thing messed up. Definitely showing the uh, most support possible. Appreciate that, Sim. That means a lot. Uh, all right, cool. So let's get this thing started. Um, I don't know who's the 8 20. I think that's Clove His plan actually looks really, really good. I'm not going to. Ooh, look at that rainbow. Yeah, this uh, this all in the pond looks pretty, pretty solid. I'm not going to lie to you. You got me. You got uh, Yoham down there that randomly changed from a CEO to a to a CEO with the uh, <laughs> with the winglets now. Then we got uh, what's his name? Ooh, what is that? We got Flightline. Anyways, let's get this thing started. I think I am ready to rock and roll back down to Osaka in the stream down there. I think that'll be good. Cool. Welcome everybody. Happy to see everyone here. Oh yeah. All right. So, ooh, I gotta sneeze. We're getting everybody deboarded still, but we're gonna go ahead and go upstairs and realign the IRSs. And we'll come back downstairs and we'll get everything filled up and ready to rock and roll. So, flights today. We're at uh, Romeo, Juliet, Sierra, Kilo. Yeah, I think this was one of my coolest airports that I've actually picked. I Usually, the cool airports we go to, I don't be picking. This was like the first one that like I actually picked myself. And I actually think this is like a cool approach. Now, the whole ILS thing, I could have joined the localizer, but... Flying that in by hand was a lot more fun than ILS flying that to the ground. Because not not gonna lie, that would have been the most boringest average approach. But just flying it by hand, trying to make sure you don't hit the ground or anything, that was pretty fun. So I think to make this more enjoyable, you gotta hand fly it. But it's not a hard hand fly like Kai Tak or something. I think I'm gonna have to go to Kai Tak uh, one of these days. Y'all think I should? <laughs> I was thinking about going to. Is my camera actually off? Freak! I didn't mean to. I was thinking about actually going to Kaitak, but I don't know if I should or not. I feel like that would be a a rough stream. I would just look like a horrible pilot. ZFW's 123.0. So set 123.0. Boom. 122 passengers again. Nothing too crazy. Reserves for today. We got a 2.2. We got taxi fuel of 500 pounds. So 2.2 on the reserves. We do have 500 pounds of taxi fuel, so we shouldn't be able, we shouldn't be, you know, under, under that. I know one time that SFO flight where we had to go around like three times, if I was trying to be realistic, we would have just crashed because I had to sit on the ground for like 30 minutes. So I ran all my taxi fuel out and then I had to go around three times. So yeah, we, we ran out of fuel, but I just refueled. All right. That's about 3.21. Looks good. Camera back on. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Final leg towards Osaka. Yes, sir. I was like, it's like the 747. Everybody loves it. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Cat Aviator with the spam spaces again. Interesting. All right. So we're taking 2-8 on the uh, Golf Tango Charlie 2 departure. Activate, execute, take off. Boom, boom, boom. V2 plus 10, which is one. What's that? One, five, four. Get flight directors realigned. We're still on that same heading, though. So we'll, we'll watch out for that. Do not deboard the crew. We could get some catering services, though. Going all around Japan today. Yeah, that was what we were playing today, man. Appreciate you guys for hanging out and flying with us this whole way. I wasn't expecting everybody to join in a conga line tonight. So, appreciate you guys. I feel like this is some fun for you guys, hopefully. We're taking 3-2 left on the ILS. Uh, I, Ico Man. There we go. I love how there's, like, no transition. These are all just, like, straight up. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just straight up landings with, like, an RNAV approach. And that's stupid. Uh, I have to go. Hope you get to nine likes. Appreciate that, Swiss kid. We'll see you, man. Thanks for your like. All right. Uh, so we're gonna be joining Airways again today. So we go. We go check this out. Okay. Uh, uniform forty-five is what we're Airways at. Uniform forty-five. We're going to Kilo. Kilo Mike Charlie. 
that's what we're looking at then from there we're direct to Roko or actually no we're not we're direct to uniform uniform 384 uniform 384 Duh. first route there and then yeah there we go okay cool Duck's good we'll go check out our flight plan and leave the terrain radar on as well uh, what's going on rooster if I disconnect the IRS will my screens go blank in the aircraft yes that's literally the whole point of the IRS to see where you are so yes all right everything looks good in our flight plan so far heading all the way down north little there we go finally a proper approach three two left exact that's what we want that's what we took off on that's what we're landing on. all right we'll set two eight six on the heading here and uh should be good two eight six cool do a pre-flight let's do it doing replays after we land on osaka do i want replays i got you off you all right so here we go uh pre-flight we got our oxygen looks good now change display switches looking normal and auto window heat is on uh pressure mode selector we got to fill that out i always forget that so press oop, that's not sim brief all right pressure mode selector landing at 12 feet uh so we'll set that to zero we're going to 34,000 feet so we'll set three four zero and set this to zero here looks good uh, V2, we got our, our MCP panel. We got V2 plus 10, 154. Actually, we got to... I don't think I'm going to do a decelerate. We'll do a little bit of a decelerate takeoff, but this runway is, like, short. So, here, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go a D-rate on that, but we'll definitely not do it on the climb. Actually, we'll, we'll do a small D-rate on the climb. All right, 144. So, same thing. All right, cool. So, we got 154 heading set to 286. Altimeter is 1013 now. So, it's at 101. Oops, that's minimum. 1013 now. Looks good. CD pre has been completed. Runner and airline trim. Still so on free and zero taxi briefing. Okay, just tango all the way down to tango. Four, five, and, uh, or no, starting that's not, and no. pushing at gate six. Cool. And we're going Parking brake set, red light. And then we start lowers cut off. All right, pre flight checklist complete. Wait. Let's get it. The flights have yeah, been amazing with this green here. Oh, yeah. Uh, like four or five minutes until we're all out and pushed. So, uh, maybe save the fuel. I'm not going to start my engine. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, okay, Roger. I'm not gonna start my engines, okay? <laughs> That's actually funny. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get ourselves boarded on up. We're gonna be checking out our window view here. I think that's pretty cool. So give us a quick second. I will be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom and everything, and then we'll get everything set up and we'll get on out of here. Also, never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and start boarding now because they're already done. <laughs> All right, we'll request boarding there. And uh, we'll just look at this view here. So we can see all the people getting into the plane. There he goes, pushing back there. Nice to see ground operations. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love GSX. It's super, super nice. I don't know what kind of view we should get. I like seeing the people walk in, but I also don't want to see their heads. That's fine. We'll just do like this. keep it with this view all right cool so there while they're going away we're getting our uh, ground baggage carts to come on in so that seems fun get a nicer view here atc view you want to like an air traffic control tower view i've never heard that before but hey that's a good idea what do we got he told you the jetways were trailing. yeah i was talking about a different uh, a different scenery i thought i was talking about this one but it's actually a different one all right, cool. Yeah, this is a pretty cool view. I, I mess with this view. All right, give me a quick second. We'll be right back. I'm going to go use the bathroom, and uh, I'll be with you. Ground just for information, QA just changed to 1013. Thank you.
Alright, we are back. It looks like Clove Fairy pushback sounds good. Uh, chill over liquid planes? Oh, yeah. It looks pretty darn solid. I would say this airport looks so cool when it's like not raining. Calling the pun 745. Yeah. Are you really just gonna sit there the entire time? <laughs> Look how cool this freeware scenery is though. Like look yep. how look at look at how this whole setup is, dude. This is like sick. Just plane spotting our plane from the parking lot, you know what I mean? Like type stuff. Welcome back, uh hold hearted person at return. Appreciate that, man. If you guys are just now joining into the stream, make sure you hit that like button. I'm trying to hit our like goal of 90 likes this evening. Appreciate it. After can you help me after? Yeah, I got you, man. I said we're just gonna let our uh let our stuff get thrown into the aircraft and then uh, we'll be right out. Shouldn't be that much longer though until we're ready to go. Got most of our passengers boarded and uh, just a little bit more with the bags, and then we'll be uh, ready to rock and roll. As soon as it fixed the scenery vibe, yeah, it's a it's a Japan playlist. That's why. And Check uh, out the all screenshots. One, though. The I got seven you. forgot to tell you that your AFK uh, the Q and A has changed to one zero one three. Yep, we got one zero one three in the box. Thanks for on the pond seventeen. All right. Uh, let me check out these Discord pictures. What do we got? What's going on, Mel? Using NVIDIA game filters? I am. I have my settings I've made myself after like three months, and I'm gatekeeping. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, my father, Learjet. Did you see my other comment? What did you say? Oh, uh, what flight should you should I do that's going from LAX or from the east? Um, If you want to do from LAX, LAS, LAX to LAS is always a good flight. Or you could do like a... LAS or LAX to Seattle, LAX to Anchorage. That's usually some good flights there. I would say San Diego, but that's like a 20 minute flight, not even that. Oh, yeah, flight line with the tail picks. Oh, yeah. I said, this is a really good conga line, dude. I, I really appreciate y'all hanging out in this conga line tonight. All right, cool. So we basically got most of our passengers in now. We're just waiting for our baggage down there. So what we're going to do, we're going to run through everything, make sure everything still looks good. We'll get that to X. Uh, XPWR and since we got time I don't even think I did this the last two flights let's go ahead and check our system so that looks good down there all the pins are down we'll go ahead and do a TCAS test test alright TCAS test pass go GPWS test that should be good Turn off our terrain Lights. radar here. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Pull up. up. Right, there goes testing all the colors. Like I said, we're already pretty much ready to go. About 30 more passengers to get on the aircraft and a bunch of bags. And we'll be out of here. <clears throat> so you guys that are flying with us, you can go ahead and start those APUs up if they're not already on. We do got a lot of bags to go through. We're only 33% done with bags. And have like 10 more people to get on the plane. Look how their heads just kind of hit. Our bad is funny. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you're missing out. Can I even open this door? I think I probably can. But I don't know. Hello, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Hello, welcome aboard. We'll look at it at this angle so you can't see them disappearing. Hello, how's it going? Not when they ban people for bad reasons, though, yeah. Hello, welcome aboard. How are you doing today, sir? How's it going? How's it going? Mr. Timmy, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Hello, ma'am. How's it going today? Thank you, thank you. Hey, nice sweater. Appreciate it. See ya. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Got like three more people to get on the plane. Hey, man, you're the final people to get on the plane. How's it going? Yeah, we'll see ya. Yep. How's it going? Nice sweater. And we got one more person to get on. Hey, man, you're the last person to get on. You're slow. I could see you're going slow. Hop in the plane. All right, cool. Let's get on out of here. All right, actually, no, we can't really just do that yet. We have to, uh, <laughs> we got to wait for the baggage. <laughs> we'll go ahead and prepare for pushback and departure, though. So when, uh, when they're done with all that, we can just go. <laughs> I love this view that we're like just see how they're boarding the boarding the plane. I think that's just sick. Cool beans. All right, let's get this thing set up. Almost ready. I'm blocking the dude. My bad. 
Of course, the grandma's last. <laughs> She's just taking her time. Don't worry about it. Enjoying her retirement on vacation, you know. Coming from uh, someone around LA, North Carolina. Coming from someone around LA, North Carolina. Wait, what? Next stream, we're probably gonna doing. We're doing Airbus ops for the rest of the week, so um, I don't know really what we're gonna do. I have flights planned. I just don't know which one to do. I'll figure it out by tonight. So after this stream, of course, we'll post it out and be like, "Hey, this is what we're gonna be flying." So that's what I'm the only one that sees this nice rainbow behind us. Yeah, I saw it when we came in behind Clover. Yeah, I'm looking at it. it looks really nice. Yeah, look, it's the uh, where is it? Where'd it go? I just saw it when I when I came into the airport. I think it's gone now for me. But yeah, it was it was there. <laughs> All right, he's got his tail light on, and Loki, that's a good idea when it's like dark out here. We're gonna be cool. Yeah, now also, why is the airport just laid in the most deserted place? Like, how do you take transport here? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Something bro. called the roads. <laughs> Not but for real. Where are we, bro? <laughs> When my uh, cousin drove two hours from New York City and stopped by for 15 minutes, gave us a little animal crackers and dip, bro, what? <laughs> Where are they going? Are they trying to go somewhere? They must be in a hurry. <laughs> I was about to say, we're in the middle of nowhere, bro. I don't see no rainbow. Well, yeah, that's because it was there, not for me anymore. If you rewind the stream, you would have saw it. When we pulled into the gate and I looked at a, his A320, I was like, ooh, that's a nice rainbow behind him. Most airlines board elders before everyone. Yeah, that's in real life, they do. I know that they do on Delta. It's usually the wheelchair ones. All right, all flight pitch, or all fuel pumps get thrown online, and uh, let's turn our music down here, and let's get it started. We are ready for the pushback. I love the accent, bro. All right, before uh, start checklist, flight the door, close and lock, MCP V2 plus 10, 154, heading uh, 286, altitude 10,000. 10,000. Take up speed. So uh, let's check. Take off speeds. V1, 134. VR, 135. VR, 144. Checked on MCP. Plus 10, 154. Confirm. CG pre flight. Complete it. Runner in orange room. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Complete it. Anti goes in light. Uh, okay, ground. Oh. You guys keep. You Let's guys go. getting uh, ready yet? Hey, firm. We're going to push last. Our flyer is 720. Yep, on. Um, uh, I'll push right now. Alright, this is going to be the interesting part to see how we could push. I'm sorry, the uh, on the pond seven three says pushing now. Yeah, we're about to get out of here. You should probably let the on the pond uh, the right beside you to your right push first. No, nah, we just go push straight that back. that for sixteen fifty two. Yes. All right. And for uh. Uh, I keep I keep the traffic. It's all the pond seventeen. We can just push straight back and then have a nice turnout. I think that should be working for everybody. Cop. All right, let's go. We gotta remove. All the next best is four five. We're gonna start our engines now. All right, we're on the APU. Yep, we are. Move chucks. He's starting his engines now. They weren't even on. He just pushed. What was the point of sitting there? I'm just gonna go do good old DC at Atlanta. Hey, that works. All right. I don't even need to push, bro. Akita traffic on the pond. 17, push and stand 5 straight back. Akita on the tango. Alright, parking brake's getting released. On the pond, 1652 GSX died, so we'll be here for a little bit. My station calling, what did you say? GSX died, so we're gonna be here for a little bit. Roger. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some lights down here. You don't have, like, the go. other pushback helper? Absolutely not. <laughs> Crazy. All right, pushing, looking good. Go bleed on, packs off, ground on number two. Let's listen to her spool up here. Oh yeah, I love the the rainy. D oh yeah, that looks great. I swear, whatever update they did to the PMG, they they like nerfed the beacon light. Cause I remember the beacon light in this plane. Right, the ground star flyer seven twenty. Uh, never mind, we'll be pushing back. The the beacon light, in my opinion, used to be like the brightest beacon light, like in the in the whole flight. So I think it still looks good at nighttime, but during the day, it's not as bright anymore. I think it used to be like way brighter. Anyways, let's listen to a startup. I think uh, they're pushing there. Yep, he's pushing. Listen to her spool. 
I don't even know what my camera views are. And we're pushing right here. <laughs> great, great push by GSX. And I'm only going to start one engine right now. Just because I feel like I feel like we're going to have to wait here for a second. So that's fine. He's getting our pin. Uh, the guy says crazy. If you guys have not already, though, please hit that like button. We're almost at 50 likes going for 90 to see anything. I feel like we might be able to hit it. Help us out. We're so, so um, close. And uh, all aircraft uh, without GSX. Uh, in the event GSX doesn't work, uh, just remember you do have two engines that do have the ability to <laughs> reverse thrust. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, we'll go ahead and get the bleed off packs back on it. Isolation valve can stay All off. All dip in uh, 1652, you're gonna push back? Go ahead and get flaps set 5 degrees. Also, you can use slew- I thought he was gonna say slew mode, and then he said you have two perfectly working <laughs> reverse thrust capable engines. Like, what? Sorry, uh, that's him died. Uh, yeah, we're starting our pushback using the default Microsoft pushback to <laughs> love ya. <laughs> Why does he keep saying love ya to everyone, bro? Yep. Alright, full right, neutral. Check out the other side. Full left, neutral. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to the front. Fly lines have some issues with GSX is, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and redo that that uh, that lovely flight control check. Full right, neutral. Full left, neutral. Full up, neutral. Full down, neutral. Full right. Neutral. Full left. Neutral. Flight controls look good. Do a spoiler check here as well. Spoilers look good. And, uh, go ahead and arm those things. Actually, no, we don't. I'm not going to do that. Auto brake set RTA. We'll do a before taxi checklist just so we can get ready to rock and roll. So, before taxi, generators are not on this time. One engine taxi. Probe heat is coming on. Probe heat's on. Inside, it's not required. Actually, is it? What, we, what is the temp outside? Now we're looking at plus four. Answer is not required. Isolation valve is not on at this time. One engine taxi. Engine start switches. Engine two set to continuous. Recall is going to say electric. Looks good. Auto brake set RTO. Engine start levers. Uh, one is at or two is at the cutoff position. One engine taxi. Flight controls checked. Feel good. Ground equipment. We are clear on the right side. I think we were. All nip and seven yeah, and we're clear up a little bit. on the left side. Cool. And we have this ginormous hunk of traffic just all right here. So. What we're going to do is, <laughs> I don't even know. i got to wait for him to move, and then I'll go. It's like Cliff Ray is now last in line. Anyways, we'll uh, wait for the traffic. I love doing this kind of stuff in Batson, though. It feels so much more realistic. To be honest, uh, should I am I not last, bro. <laughs> You're last, though. He's last. What does he mean? He How is he going to? Okay. <laughs> Yo, he said, I am not last. I'm just kidding. The key to traffic, star 5720. Oh no. Uh, we are going. That's actually funny. <laughs> he said, I am not last. Anyways, uh, you're going to do Tampa uh, to Atlanta at Spirit Wings 2126. Sounds good, traffic. man. That's a solid flight right there. To be honest, should I do Albuquerque to Seattle right now or tomorrow? That's a long flight. That's like two hours. So if you have two hours of free time, go ahead. You should. It's Friday. I just randomly clicked you on similar, did you? <laughs> That's actually crazy. I'm right, waiting for uh, what you got to get himself ready to rock and roll here. Yeah, bro just said, I am not last, and just instantly dipped. <laughs> Dude, I just want to, I just want to put an emphasis on what we got going on here. This is sketchy, bro. Like, <laughs> look at this. Tr I don't know how to taxi this plane. What plane are you in? The uh, Learjet? So, this is what we got going on. I forgot. Using the default tool takes you off that, uh, that time. So, <clears throat> my bad. The rudder ain't working? Uh, oh gosh. I wish you guys just stepped on him. Alright. I'm ready to go. I'm not going to release these parking brakes until I know I'm ready to go. We're using one NG. Um, I'm not going to have the gin switched over yet. We're still going to run off APU for now. I am not last. Peace. That's what I was saying. He said, I am not last. Peace out. Like, bro. When I fly with y'all, I'm bringing out the Boeing 777. Not yet. <laughs> exactly. Take your time. <laughs> Man, dude, I actually, I love doing this on Vatson, especially in events where you just sit here and you just wait for, like, people to go. It's so fun, especially looking out your windows left and right and be like, yo, we, we about to go. 
I forgot how much I hate the Microsoft pushback tool. Oh my god. Not gonna lie, you gotta chill out with the talking on frequency though. <laughs> you talk a lot on frequency. You can talk just a little bit, but stuff like that, just just, just keep it to yourself. You don't want to say that on Unicom and have a have a administrator online. Uh, you did not just call your engine an engine. You gotta say engine. All right, there goes Yoham. He's going. I might just mosey around him. Y'all think we could? Y'all think we can make it? Bro, talk a little too much. <laughs> okay, let's have a uh, uh, I mean, all Nip and 745 are gonna follow the uh, fly star. What, what was your uh, thing, Brad? <laughs> uh, star flyer 720, we'll let you guys bind. We'll depart last to get the traffic. Yay, I'm free! There's no way I hit him, right? They keep the traffic on the pond 17, following the 320 on the pond on the Tango to runway 28 on the pond. Or, Akita. There's no way I hit him. Akita traffic on the pond 1652 taxiing to runway 28 via Papa 2, Papa 1, Tango 1, Akita. <laughs> I was about to say on the pond. There's no way I hit him, right? Oh yeah, we're, we're chilling. See, this plane can actually make some good turns, just can't go fast. Like, at all. All right, let's go. Also, since we're already ready to basically go now, we're gonna go ahead and get bleed on. Packs off. Oh my god, I'm overrunning the wheels. I didn't mean to go that fast. Anyways, packs are coming off. Yeah, that's good bleed zone. Stop touching the grass. <laughs> I almost did. I didn't this time. <laughs> Is that wax on? Wax off. All right. Got ground on number... Uh, he needs to stop moving. We got ground on number one. Do a nice slow taxi just so we can get this engine split up. N2's rising. Look for 25%. Is there, like, any way I can make the my game less laggy? Are you on Xbox? Um, You're on Xbox, right, Rooster? Sorry, you only have to be moving that area. Right, let's make some quick taxis here, guys. Yohan be moving that Sorry. freaking 320. I'm telling you. No worries. Uh, A320, depart as fast as possible. Thank you very much. Roger. Look at 7709. Oh, no. I was about to say, if you're on Xbox, I don't think there's a way to make your game a little better. Alright, tax like can come on now. I didn't want to blind them in the ramp. That's the only reason why. You can't do anything to make it less like I was about to say, on Xbox, you really can't do anything. You're kind of stuck. Alright. Continuous, Jin's coming online, APU's coming off, Bleed's coming off, Pack's coming on, Isolation Valve on, Gen 2, Gen 1, Gen 2 should be lower, that's checked, cool, recall, looks good, clock gets stopped. Alright, Akita traffic, start by 720, taxiing runway 2, eight by Papa 2, Papa 1, Tango 1, we'll depart uh, My Xbox gets so high, uh, yeah, no clue. I'm a professional uh, spacer, I see. And Nippon uh, 745, we're gonna Actually, depart 2-8, uh, GTC 2, departure. I didn't even pin the newest, uh, the newest route, I meant to do that. I'll just scroll up and chat and do it. I don't even remember where I sent out the thing. I know this is dumb, but how do you get the weather radar on? You just hit the, uh, that's not weather radar, that's terrain radar. Just because we're around a lot of mountainous ranges. And he's already gone. And Akita traffic on the pond 17 at Tango 1, lining up behind the parking traffic runway 28 Akita. Alright, beacon light, or call the cabin, strobe light comes on and moon light comes on as well. Clear on the right side. Traffic's downfield. I'm about to say, I wish it was, but it's not, sadly. On the lovely orange runway. I have a question. When you're just when you're just hacking, like just no, you're checking check, huh? Wait, hold up. Line up and set that parking brake here. All right. Wait. So. Okay. Traffic alcohol when clear. Sounds good. Let me find the route here so I can pin it. 
There's the new route. I meant to do that. My bad. Anyways, catch back up in chat. Boom. Uh, I I have a question. When you were just hacking, like just now, you were checking the GPU switch or something like that. When I was just hacking, I was checking the uh, the amps and the volts and all that, and the uh, APU gens to make sure they're good and online. Because <laughs> you can start it up, but then this could be usually this is around 50 to like 51 amps, and then the Gen 2 is usually at 45 solid. So if any of those look off, different between the AC and the uh, AC amps and volts, then I usually make sure there's something not going on like bad. Oops, let me do that. All right, engine page is going on, oh, going off. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Taxi. I was like, what? Reinstall, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I'm Eric. Is up to date on my other plans. Everything works great. Wait, what happened? PMG says are broken. I clicked to find says says none ideas. Yeah, did you update it? You know you have to go into the uh, Navigraph thing and you have to sit up there and have your plane in the game, and then also click the update on the plane. Did you do that? I know you said you updated your nav data, but did you just update the general nav data or like the whole thing? Because I know for like the CRJ I have, I have to manually go in there and update the the nav for the CRJ. I have to do it for the PMDGs and I have to do it for the Phoenix. That's like a, the Phoenix is is weird. It's like a whole add-on thing. It's different than the rest of them. That's what I have to do, though, so I don't know if you did that. Uh, where did you learn this stuff? YouTube tutorials. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. YouTube tutorials told me everything. And also just general, you know, aviation knowledge that I like. Just because I like this plane. Okay, the traffic, runway 28, they're cleared. Keep okay, traffic on the pond. 17 departing, runway 28 on the Gulf Tango, Charlie 2 departure to the, uh, to the left of the field. Akita. All right, spool 40. Landing lights, come on. Get this thing moving. 42 good engines. It's okay. Slight nose down pressure. Akita traffic stops. on the pond 1652 lining up behind departing traffic. Akita. Thrust set airspeeds alive. 80 knots. Right, we're, we're moving today. D1. I told you we were moving today. Yeah, we we're very light. I'm just climbing out of here. Pause the rate, gear up. <laughs> I thought we were going to need a, a little bit more of a decelerated takeoff, but I knew we were, we were decently light on passengers this time, but not that, that light. We go LNAV VNAV now. LNAV V will have checked uh, in one speeds. <laughs> flaps up speed. Can get flaps cleaned up now. Oh yeah, I feel like a rocket coming out of here. Bro. I love these kind of departures where you just feel like you're in business. Like you just you plan for the departure, and then when you execute it, you're like, yeah, perfectly executed. All right, flaps coming up speed. Le Transit. We got flaps coming out of one to up. Flaps are in up position, locks, lights off. Looks good. I'll keep climbing out at 3.8. Once we pass probably 5,000 and get a little bit closer to this other waypoint, we'll go ahead and call that we're clear. Autopilot comes engaged. We'll look at our map here to see how far out we actually are. Keep the traffic on the pond. 17 clear of runway 28 passing 6.8 for Shri 40V, the Gulf Tango Charlie 2 departure to the left of the field. Uh, Akita. Look at that break. Akita traffic called upon 6052 is departing off of runway 28 by the Gulf Tank. First shot with the new PC. Nice, the Eli, bro. How's it going? I hope, I hope that PC does you well, man. I know you've been Akita really looking forward to it. Fans are spinning and I'm happy. There you go, man. I know that's a that's a nice successful feeling there. All right, we're going to get our music turned back on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how is it? Tell me. Tell me all the details. I'm, I'm excited for you, man. 
you've been talking about that thing for a long time. Uh, what the nav down in the plane? Yeah. What did I look up? I just looked up Boeing 737 PMEG tutorial. That's the same things I've been sending you, Rooster. That's why I don't understand how you don't know what you're doing. All right, wing lights coming up. Auto brakes off. Double ping the cabin. I'm not gonna turn off the seatbelt sign just yet because we're in mountainous terrain, so I don't want to, uh, you know, encourage taking your seatbelt off when the weather is unpredictable. Now time to install Microsoft. <laughs> it's great. That's amazing, bro. I'm happy for you, bro. Uh, what, nav down the plane? Yeah. Yeah, I figured out. We'll see. Climbing like a rocket? Oh, yeah. That was a smooth takeoff, too. Uh, what's going on, Corwin? How are you doing, man? Haven't seen you in a bit. How are you doing, man? Uh, yellow is uh, due to contrasting the snow. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I like the uh, the runways where the yellow's on the ground because, yeah, it is to contrast the, uh, the thing. I'm low-key. I don't know what it is, but I'm wanting to fly again after this route. So <laughs> if I'm, I may or may not continue flying after this route. We'll see. I just feel like since now it's Friday, I could I have free time. <laughs> I don't know what it is, dude. I haven't flown like this in a while. Be lucky, Mike. Outside view, I got you, man. Sup, pals? Uh, my friend just left my house. What's going on, Zach? Nice, nice. Hope you guys had a good time. Love that on the pond 7-3. Oh, it looks amazing, dude. I'll fly with you. All right. I think, I think we might go back to, like, probably let's say we'll go back to, uh, I don't know. Where should we go? Maybe we could go back to where we just came from. I think that would be a good a good thing. Maybe. I think we should. I don't really know. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Akita is what we should go for. It's only like an hour flight. I think we could, honestly. I'm going to eat during during this route. Well, is that where he wanted us to go so badly? <clears throat> if you guys have not already, though, you're just now stopping in, make sure you hit that like button. Going for 90 likes this evening. Help us out. Beautiful. Oh, yeah trying to get a nice little angle where the sun's kind of you know reflecting off of the lettering but we'll get that in a second looks like we're not in an angle at it yet fly back to honda you think so Hanita? that's such a short flight though i don't know back welcome back wi-fi end of the day at the big hub i mean yeah we could i don't know looks like a 40 minute flight honestly yeah we, we might actually do that i don't know like the better we'll see once we get on the ground let's see what we got we'll see what we got when we get on the ground it is a better day over there, too, so we'll see. I want to be home anyway. In it. What well, does a good 737-800 special livery? What's going on, Just Aviation? Um, shoot, I don't even freaking know. traffic. Uh, I mean, Delta has a good one, on the pond, solid. Sunwings has a really good one. Um, there's a bunch of good liveries. Go to Guam? Or even Seoul or something? I'm going to be going to Seoul in like the next two weeks. I'm just trying to pick up a scenery for Seoul. And I don't know if I could, if I could like sit here and justify the $20 for that scenery when it's, in reality, I won't fly there that often. And also for $20, that scenery should be like, a lot better than what it is so i'll see if i is this the thing is more so the fact that i'm not gonna fly there as often i would get one of those scenes that look like that for 20 bucks if they if they weren't like in an airport that i would fly to like once every month that airport i just want for long hauls for korean air operations that i want to do and long hauls again so because i want to do atlanta to seoul there's a lot of long hauls that connect you so a lot of cargo cathay pacific all of that so that would be good for like those kind of flights but then the thing is, twenty it's like twenty-three dollars. I'll, I'll show you guys. I don't I don't think I could I could I don't know. We'll see. I feel like something like Hong Kong I flew out of way more than Seoul. You know what I mean? That's that's why I'm like nah, I don't know. Beautiful approach. Oh yeah, Dom. Just aviation, all the American liberties, yeah, that is good too. Oh man, Microsoft looks so good, it's gonna take a while to save up for a good PC plus paste to put it. Oh yeah, cafe. I'm telling you, man, once you save up for it though, you'll you'll love it'll be one of your best decisions. It's a great sim. Before I can even install Microsoft, I have to install Steam today. Uh, slash tomorrow is going to be a long day, I can see. Use Hong Kong first. Hong Kong series. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have Hong Kong, and it's amazing. That's why I fly there a decent amount. I'm going to start flying there more a lot with the uh, A300 and the uh, A350 and all that that's coming out. Cathay Pacific A350 1000 Ops. Oh, no. Cathay Pacific 1000 Ops. Maybe, like, Hong Kong to LAX. I don't know something I could cook up in the works, but yeah, Hong Kong's a solid scenery. It's just Seoul. I don't. I want to do Korean air ops, 
I've been wanting to do that for a little bit of time now. It's just the fact that Korean Air, I don't really know any places they go other than Seoul. And I can really do some research, but I feel like it'll feel more authentic if it's straight out of Seoul, South Korea. You know what uh, I mean? Traffic, star five, seven, 20, That's what I'm just like. Too late. We just had MCAT take over for some damn reason. But uh, don't worry, we're not climbing at 6,000 feet per minute. Get traffic. 737 Max 8. <laughs> I feel so bad. <sighs> Get the uh, Jirixi Narita. Narita does not... I I don't know. Nah, I that's a horrible purchase weapon. Okay, keep the traffic star flash seven twenty might have an internal bomb. You might need to divert. Uh but uh TV posted. Going triple seven X hops everyone? Well the triple seven X isn't even in the game. They're gonna be based in a triple seven two hundred. Which again, Hong Kong, British Airways or not Hong Kong, Cathay Pacific, British Airways, United, especially United Hub Hopping, dude. And I'm telling you, probably by the time that plane comes out, I would have already been in Virginia. So... I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Narita over Hanita every day? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I used to think that until I realized that Narita is really not that not that popular compared to Hanita. But yeah, that is a horrible purchase. I'm never buying that scenery. No. Just took off from the MD-11, bro. Time to crack a beer, a root beer, and watch the stream. <laughs> oh, my. Was it you, Eli, that had, like, the, the really good monitor as your second monitor, and then, like, your main monitor was, like, the older one? You're the complete opposite of my setup. My setup is the good monitor here, and then, like, the... I got this off of, like, a... It was, like, the end of a movie sale. I think I've told you all this before, but it was, like, a one of those movie sales, and, like, they just sell... Or they sold all of their props that they use in, like, you know, Vampire Diaries, because they filmed that in Georgia. Um freaking like stranger things some of their stuff was filmed here they had like all that kind of stuff it's just like monitors and like you know stage props and all that stuff they just sold them you know they didn't need them so they just sold them i don't know that those are called but it's a sale it's like a real estate sale something like that but that's where i got this monitor it's like a second monitor for freaking like 20 bucks like 15 dollars and that's what i use as my second monitor now granted it's not good but it's still a second monitor that's big and bright enough so hey it works Man, you're the complete opposite of If I use this monitor as my main monitor, I would think it just looks weird. Because this monitor is so much brighter than that one. I'm sick for a second Apple time on brakes session now. Oh, that sucks, bro. I'm so sorry to hear that. Wi-Fi. If you guys have not already, make sure you hit that like button. What did you just say? My station call and say again? For the conga line, uh, all Nippon 745 probably need to go off the displays uh, because it's like 4 a.m. for me right now. Roger. The top of time is coming up shortly. This is a, a beautiful flight right now, guys. Day one. <laughs> yeah, we could. Uh, where is uh, where is Nagasaki? We'll look that up. Let's we'll see what that is. There's a house that was used for Stranger Things in my time. But yeah, there's like a lot of... I know there's like a whole mall they used. Like the main mall in like, what is that? Season 3, I think. Whatever was one with Billy. Like the brother. And they had like that giant Demogorgon. Like, it was before Vegna. Whatever thing was before Vegna. I didn't really watch that that much. I'm going to be honest with you. I skimmed through that season, so I don't really know all about it. But it was before Vegna. Whatever that little character was. Like the big twisty guy. I don't know. Anyways, it was that mall where that like most of that that season happened. That mall, like where we met uh, the sister, or whatever at, that was in Georgia. I didn't know that was like the old mall of Georgia or something like that. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that was filmed here, <laughs> like at all. Well, I bought Narita for some good long haul roofs, Air Canada, WestJet, United Emirates. I don't know. I don't want that. I've never watched that. Yeah, I was about to say I never. I've liked Stranger Things, but Stranger Things just, they, they fell off, bro. They they made a, a new season every, like, year. And, like, if you keep, you can make a season a year, but if you expect people to remember and kind of still be into the show, you can't make it every year, bro. That's, like, horrible. It's good stuff, but it's just, come on now. There's people that make good enough shows that are, like, relatively the same and even better now, and they take, like, what, seven months, five months to make a new season? Like, come on. I have, uh, have you ever heard of Panama City Beach, Florida, and like uh, 30 Alpha? I know what Panama City Beach is, but what is 30 Alpha? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Nippon? Nippon. There you go, Nippon. But Mikey's lurking. I've not flown uh, like this for a fat minute. You are just stealing my window left and right. It's kind of crazy. It's actually kind of insane. 
If you guys haven't already, though, make sure you do hit that like button. We're trying to hit our like goal of... Oops. Trying to hit our like goal of... Uh, 90 likes. Help us out. Sorry, I was looking at my phone for a second. I was like, what's going on? Alright, let's pop this thing back up here. There you go. The yeah, 30 is crazy, but the Pacific is still better. What is 30A? What is that? I don't even know what that is. What are y'all talking about? Pacific is still better than the goal? What is 30A, though? I've, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Is it like a, a show? Like an episode? No, I said fat. If I saw it, it would be fat. I'm gonna need to make an emoji for that. That's what, that's what you just reminded me. I was trying to make another emoji, and I was thinking that would have been one. All right, we can get the terrain radar off. We're good. All right, so we actually got a cruise now. So we got a hundred, little over 170 nautical miles, a little under that, until we reach our top of descent. We're gonna be chilling. Seatbelt signs can come off now. That's a Hiti Nui. Go ahead and check out this view from over here. It's a famous street. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Why is it famous? Look, I just set that from the start. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. I live right by uh, Panama City Beach. Nice. I know a friend that has a beach house there, dude. It's like a... It's not really... I think it's hers. I think it's her grandparents. What Matthew, uh, going on right now? Who's he talking to? Anyways. Um, I think it's their her grandma's or grandparents' beach house. Ball or maybe it's just a... Yeah, Ball in the Pond 170. Is that for us? Yeah, what map you going on right now? Uh, currently crew, currently cruising on Mach point seven nine if we're on the pond one seven. Uh, okay. If we get some up, a bit, because I'm going Mach point seven eight. What's your altitude? Three four zero. Why do you choose the same altitude? Roger, just let me know. I'm number two, so I'll just do whatever you say. Copy. I gotta learn not to fly at the same altitude for the same direction of flight, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Why why do we have to keep saying this? Anyways. That's fine. I don't think he knew. Alright, we'll get our view back. There we go. But yeah, she has a she goes there like every single like break or anything, and they just chill out in Panama City. I don't understand what's so fun about Panama City, but they love it, so I guess that there's a airport named Fats Fresco. Yeah, I know that's the ICO KFAT. Yeah. Uh, do you know the company Thirty Alpha? Dude, I like. Dude, I don't even know what y'all talking about. I didn't even know Pit Pilot was here. Oh, he is here. I just didn't read it. <laughs> How's it going, Pit Pilot? Hope you're doing good. I right, said, so guys, we are trying to hit 90 likes. We are 53. Help us out. I feel like we could somehow hit it tonight. Even though we started off a little rocky, we ended it. We ended it pretty good here. So help us out. Hit that like button. Let me see where. Uh, Actually, we'll check that in a second. Yeah, let me show you all this scenery that I was talking about. I feel like it's not worth it. Seoul Microsoft Flight Center. It's on Simmark. Now, of course, they have, like, freeware stuff, but it's not that. Another flight for this? Probably. I think we are. I'm going to take a snack break, but yeah. Uh, we can only hit it if that one guy bots it. No, usually that guy... Well, yeah, that is true. But yeah, he's never been in here before. We've, we've, oh, this is not what I was looking for. We've, uh, we've been getting, uh, like, a hundred likes, like, normal. But then that guy came in and botted it. I wonder if we got Shadow Man, Loki. We might have got Shadow Man. That would have been crazy if he got a Shadow Man. Anyways. Let, uh, let me, uh, let me show you guys what I, what I was, what I was talking about here. So, here's the scenery. It's $24, all right? $24 for this scenery, right? And it's not bad, but I mean, I'm never going to fly here. It looks so much better than the deep. Like, I mean, it looks good, but for $25 for somewhere I'm not going to fly. I'm trying to save up for the planes right now. That's that's ma that's mainly the reason why I'm hesitant right now cuz I'm trying to I'm trying to save up for like the 777 and all that when that stuff comes out. So we'll see. I don't know. I think I think I'll pass. I want to, but I think I'm fast. What's going on, Sim Pilot? How are you doing, man? Um, how long was the flight originally? This flight, we did like three legs right now. That's uh, this is our third leg now. We just did 
Uh, what is it called? How many nautical miles are you from Terrad? Ah, uh, leave me alone. From what? Terrad? Uh, currently 30, uh, about 44 nautical miles away from Terrad for all upon one seven. I am about 31 nautical miles, uh, Nippon, uh, 4 5, so, yeah, you speak shit. Yeah, just for space, and I'll slow down to block point seven seven uh, on the pond one seven. Copy. Just to give us a little bit of space in there. All right, let's get back on a nice view. I think you should leave me alone now. Thank you, Clover. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, then don't get it. Yeah, I was about to say, but you really need to pay for it. Yes. On this one, we got about uh, it was about an hour twenty minutes. We got forty one minutes left, so we should begin there soon. I said copy. <laughs> Uh, the water is crystal clear. There's other fun things to do. Also, lots of aviation related, thing, related things like helicopter tours and sea. Have y'all seen that helicopter crash? I don't know when it happened. I saw it on Twitter the other day. It was basically like there was two planes or there was two helicopters and they're just minding their own business. On like, one seven, what's your cruising altitude? Five three four zero on the phone one seven. But yeah, there were two helicopters. On the phone seven forty five, what's your cruising altitude? There was. <laughs> There was, okay, I can't even talk. Uh, I lost control. There was two helicopters. There was like a, uh, the one in Sydney. I have no clue. All right, thank you. But basically, it was two helicopters. I don't know where it was, and they were like doing a tour around the city, and they just like smacked into each other. Now I, the video is on Twitter, and I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if they had parachutes or anything, but I didn't hear about this. So maybe this was years ago. The camera quality looked pretty new. And the height they're at over that water, they either like got a nice kick into the water or they're just like not here with us today. So I don't think I don't I was trying to look at that the other day. I was like, I don't know what crashed this was. I've never seen it in my life. Then again, the video also looks like it could have been from like 2017, so I don't know. I lost my thing. Playing with a spring in my yoke and I keep dropping it. On the pond, yes sir. Of course it's only on Twitter, bro. That's what I'm saying. Twitter needs to get removed, bro. I'm, t I'm telling you, Twitter needs to get removed. I I am one of those people that's just like, bro, why is all of this stuff just on Twitter? It's <laughs> that you could find a range of literally anything on Twitter with no filter. Like, I'm not I, I think it's TOS if I get in detail, but y'all know if y'all have Twitter, I've ever seen Twitter, you know what I'm talking about. There's a big range of anything you can find, bro. Anything you can find. Just search up anything. It'll be on there. Now, granted, for some reason, Twitter, you have to be so specific with the searches. 60, 52, what's your but mark? you can find anything on there. Trust me. Uh, point seven they don't follow the rules anyway, so uh, it's just as in. Dude, I've seen some okay. very gruesome shit. That were, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's crazy. Uh, They collided midair. Yeah, I think it, that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the one in Sydney. Oh, okay. Well, that's what it was. Yeah. When was that? I didn't even... There was no date or anything. It was just a video, like a random clip. But Reddit might be worse. I've never had Reddit before. I think Reddit is such a weird website. I've used Reddit for, like, Googling answers to stuff. Like, you know, how to use frame generation or how to get more FPS in Microsoft Flight. So I've, I've done that on Google and then, like, you know, gone from Google to Reddit when it pops up and just read the, the pages, but I've never actually had Reddit like as an account or anything. I think it's like so complicated. Probably just because I've never thought of using it before. I think that's what it is. Honestly, yeah. Like, uh, what's your mini music on Microsoft? The default one. I saw somebody that changed it to the other theme and it sounds good, but only for one part of it. So I was like, never mind. But I used the default Starfire, seven twenty back in flight deck. Uh, we did not die. Yeah. Uh, literally, people use etc. and it doesn't get taken down. That's what Good I'm saying. Point. I thought with Elon Musk, God, it was gonna be everything was gonna get locked. And basically, the only thing that really got blocked Thank down because my friends are down, so like freaking down, down bad, button. they were just complaining. Oh, my favorite Twitter account got shut down. My favorite Twitter account. And if y'all know what I'm talking about, that's what that's what I mean. The, only those kind of accounts got shut down that I know of. Most of all the other other accounts that aren't really 
like that, but like still way worse, <laughs> they're still up. It's like, dude. And I know one channel that like they post stuff and then they, and then they like keep it up for like two days and then they delete it. It's like what? And their channel's the craziest, dude. I'm I'm like, ugh. You switch every time, bro. What playlist is this? It's a lo-fi beats playlist. I gotta. I forgot to uh, up or resubscribe to my Epidemic Sound subscription, so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do that. But yeah, it's it's a YouTube playlist on a uh, lo-fi beats Japan like Japan lo-fi style. So him all good. He got left. Yeah. He should be fine. I think he's fine. I hope he's fine. Uh, the Microsoft Music is copyrighted. Is it actually? That's crazy. I was with my call sign on the pond 17. A and A 17. I'll type it in for you if you need it. A and I 17. Hey. Uh, now we're sure should be the name of Elon Musk Tesla. Bro. We did not die. The X is just crazy. I swear. I don't like calling it X, dude. It's Twitter. Okay. I don't know why he decided to rebrand the whole thing. I'm not going to lie. I'm so used to the X logo now that I still just see X and call it Twitter, but I don't know. I followed, I'm not going to lie. I follow this one account that has school fights. It's low-key funny. Well, yeah, I do too. I, I have a like two accounts I know, like school fighting accounts. Those are hilarious. Just because you just see people get like beat up, and it's just for the dumbest reasons, bro. Like, they'll be like talking about, yo, can I have your milk duds or something? Or can I have your can I have a sip of your sprite? And they take a sip and they just boom 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 boom. It's like yo. <laughs> those are funny. I think those are fine, because those are just like world stars type stuff. I'm just talking about those Twitter accounts where you just see like anything. Like just the most diabolical like oof. Uh so you're Brimmy KTL, yes sir, that's me. I have the yeah, Microsoft music turn off is kinda irritating. Absolute distort. Yeah. I, I like the music. It's pretty cool. It, it makes me feel like I'm playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. I know one thing when I first got on the sim, dude, I was so excited to hear that music and I heard it for the first time. I was like, I was chilling, bro. Yeah, I spent like uh, three minutes trying to find uh, Twitter and I always forget it got switched. Yeah. <laughs> like some kids got hands on their job. I know, bro. Twitter's weird as. Yeah, they have strange. I'll post some vids on where of where I live and how cool it is on Discord. Sounds good. Anyway, you just tell me when you send them out. 39 more minutes. We're probably about to start at the top of the scent. I'm really just waiting for Clover to call in until we can ship check. Oh, yeah. Waves is flying that, that MD-11. Oh, wow. His plane looks crazy. Dude, his... Look at a... Go into Discord and look at Waves' pictures right now. Holy... I w I'm waiting for that new Learjet to come out. I don't think they're really working on it right now, to be honest with you. Or not the new Learjet, the new MD-80. Or, not MD-80, MD-11. Because I DM'd them because I was trying to get a free, uh, you know, creator copy of it. But I couldn't get my hands on a creator copy because they were saying something about the initial release versus the uh, collector's edition release. And then I was like, all right, well, that sounds like an excuse. And then now I'm just genuinely saying they took it away from everybody that had the creator's release too because it's not ready. Like, half of the modeling's things aren't even modeled. The landing gear, like, the gear bay of the MD-11, that's not modeled. So I was like, oh, that makes more sense now. They actually just weren't ready. So when I see them probably releasing it, that's when I'm going to ask them again. Hey, I'm at 4K subs now. I got a pretty decent following, pretty decent community. Can I please review this plane? I just need one company to let me review a plane for them, just so I could start my review planning career. Cause it's so amazing it's like it's such a less hassle to buy the plane to not buy the plane yeah, and then like just fly it and review it for fun you know what i mean i have one person that i have one person that actually gave me a free copy of this plane that he made and that was the da42 um it's not really a big creator but like he he saw the streams like a few weeks ago months ago probably and he was just like hey um I like your content. You seem to have a nice community. I made this plane. It's on the flightsim.to. Uh, I could give you a 24-hour key to download if you want. And I was like, yeah, sure. So he gave me the key, got it, and now I, I have it. But I mean, of course, not the most study. I mean, it's, it's not like a crazy plane. It's a DA-42 or DA-40 or something like that. It's the one with like two wheels or whatever. But that was the one free copy I got. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to look at Midnight Membership. Sounds good, Just Station. We'll see you, man. Bro, Elon Musk needs to work on his naming ability. We really have to change his son's name from... Oh, my gosh. Dude, that name is stupid, bro. Uh, I like the Japan livery. Oh, yeah, it looks freaking amazing. Saw this kid where... Hey, yo, he's annoying. That's I mean. He literally one-hit drop slap. That's crazy. TFID, I'm excited for that. Yes, or TFDI, yeah. 
should be out by the end of January. We'll see, hopefully. Uh, Flight Streamer got partnered with PMDG. He's lucky. Who got sponsored by PMDG? I have never seen a single person get sponsored by PMDG. Granted, they make an amazing plane, and I would love to get sponsored by them, but it's too late now because I already got everything from them, basically. But, dude, I've never seen... Who got sponsored by PMDG? I've only heard of, like, you know, I and I builds and Orbex and, like, freaking other other flight sim creators sponsor people, but PMDG? I was about to say, I don't think they do sponsorships anyways. That's why I was confused. Who is it? I don't know who makes it. I can look it up real quick. It's a, it's not a big creator at all. But yeah, they do? Interesting. Have you sent any emails about this stuff? I have. I've done a few. Like I said, it's a, it's more so just when they start coming out. I've sent a few emails, not to like I and I builds or anything yet, because they, they strictly say in their things, they really only do the bigger, the, the bigger people, right? So, I don't think I'm that level to go with I and I builds yet. But I've been talking to some of these creators, like you know, that are redu producing planes shortly to come out in the sun, be like, hey. I got a small channel, you know, I'm kind of growing in popularity. I got a decent community. I got a decent viewership. I was wondering if I could review your plane, blah, 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 blah. And 90% of the time I've gotten them come back to me. I've had one come back to me and I'm not going to tell you who, but I'm trying to see if we're going to be able to go through with who I'm talking to right now because that would be pretty cool. We'll see. Who makes this plane? Let me just go and see. I don't know his name. I forgot his name. Again, he's not like a big creator, but he made this plane. It's on the marketplace. So. We're gonna do Maui, Hawaii at the end of the month. I'm hoping to do some plane spotting. Ooh, that's are you going to Maui? That's sick, big boy. Hope you like it. Aerosoft. Have I DM'd Aerosoft? I haven't DM'd Aerosoft at all. Also, I love how these Christmas sales are still going on. That's crazy. You should partner with uh, Captain Canada for a shared flight. I don't think that would work. Captain Canada does not do that kind of stuff. Camp on Discord, check him out on stream. I got you. What's going on, Hindo? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. Currently cruising uh, above Japan, flightable Shri 40, 34 minutes till we arrive in uh, Osaka, man. How are you doing? Now, I was about to say, he doesn't do shit cop tips. Okay, I'm just going to guess until you tell me. Give me a hint. I'm not going to tell you because I don't know if I can tell people yet. That's what I'm saying. It's not. It's nothing crazy. It's just somebody I know, they got a partnership with them. So I've been reaching out to them, and I'm going to see if they respond to me. Honestly, I think I can because we're not like in contact contact. But it's a, uh, you know, the E-Jets by FSS or whatever. Um, I, I don't know if I should tell you who, but somebody has a connection with them. So he was asking, hey, can we uh, review your plane, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah. So he got a free copy. He got the uh, key for it. So I'm trying to see if I could get a key. So I've been I've been talking with him to see if I could freaking get a key. But we'll see. Captain Kane, I was talking to you about Captain Will. Really? What do you do? Also, I'm like brain dead right now. I'm just talking. All right. We are in Microsoft Aircraft and general aviation and there's so many freaking planes on here. all right oh yeah the da20 is it f yeah it's f f sim solution yeah so it's just a, a cheap little 19 dollar da20 but i mean it's still a cool plane this is the one i got from a, a guy in my stream <clears throat> yeah f uh his name is f sim solutions this is his plane he gave me gave me a key for it I mean, like I said, I don't really know the time I'm going to be able to fly this first stream, but like a GA flight, I could definitely do it. He was just like, I could give it to you one day. If you want to stream it, go ahead. But yeah, I was, it's not a bad plane. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's like a 20, $20 little aircraft. Nothing too crazy. I've flown it a few times. I haven't done it on Vatsim though, but I mean, it's, it's really basic. I, it's basically because the plane's basic too. So it's not really you could do much with it but it does kind of just fly like a default default Cessna in the sim it has the basic same concept of it in my opinion just like a DA20 body but like I said he's a smaller creator so I'm not expecting a freaking study level DA20 or something but yeah that's that's the only freeware product I've got so far so that's progress that's progress you want to sponsor me for the EJets that's what I'm saying like I was I'm feeling like EJets would be the one person that would instantly be like yeah sure I don't know are we going somewhere after this? I'm thinking so, Waves. I'm thinking about we head back up to, uh, uh, uh what is it? Uh, Akita? Or we just go to Narita or something. We'll see. I have an emergency autopilot. Trim is bugging out on the Phoenix or Airbus. Oh, gosh. I need manager. Yeah, he jokes around with them because he used to PS4 to control and flying into... Oh, that's what he'd be talking about. I thought he was... Oh, I, I know who Captain Will is. I was, I was like, who is that? Yeah, I, I thought he was serious saying his content was good. He's just joking. He doesn't actually like him. 
I thought he was buddies with them or something. Because I've seen Captain Will. I haven't seen his streams or anything. I saw his stream. But I've just seen his shorts on YouTube, bro. That's all I see. Especially TikTok. That's all I see. Dumb aircraft for fire? Yeah. Only with the G1000? Yeah. And he has a yoke and he'd rather use a PS4 controller? Yeah, he's just strange. Down for either? Sounds good. What time zone are you in? We're on the east, east coast. The EST time. So right now it's 10.30 p.m. I'm thinking I'm gonna go get a snack platter. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go pick up the conga line. If you look to your left, you can see some very nice mountains. <laughs> Anyways, I'll, I'll be right you. Back. you must not be battling your Airbus to stay in the air. He's struggling. All right, like I said, give me like uh, two minutes to go grab this snack mix and then I'll be back. I thought they were thought they were chill with each other. Alright, cool. Let's see. Oops. Just gotta throw it. Anyways. Uh, welcome back, Aviation Page. Hope you're doing well. Uh, bro became a tour, I was about to say. That flight was great. Nice. What airline were you on again? You said American 737-800? Watch his autopilot fail. I swear he... I don't know. So I had to go for a sec. Uh, but did you like the vids? I did. I saw them. They looked pretty darn, pretty darn cool out there. What's going on, Jay? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. Mr. Eddie's joining in. How are you guys doing? If you guys have not already, make sure you hit that like button. If you are just not joining in, we're trying to hit our like goal of 90 likes today. Man, that, that beach looks insane. I can see why she likes going. Just, oof, that's that's actually nice. Yeah. American uh, 2565. Nice. Did you search up your flight? I saw it. I didn't I didn't show the stream, but I looked it up on my phone. That I need help. <laughs> He's struggling over there. I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad for him. I think uh, I might fly the fly by wire from a or whatever, or the INI, but the INI is stutter. Yeah, I still have the INI too, right, but it's, uh, it is for, really uh, stuttery. Uh, the conga line, it seems like I've got my Airbus settled at 30,000 feet. Uh, I should be fine to make it all the way to uh, Osaka. <laughs> Alright. Nice. What's going on, Mr. Mickey? Still airborne? Damn, man. Long stream. Like I said, I was I was planning to do some streaming this evening. I'm just not tired today. We might do a set, another leg. I don't know. I'm wanting to do another leg, but if we do, it's probably just going to be the Narita, not going to lie. Because I was trying to do a, a long flight back here, which was like an hour, but low-key. Now that we're chilling out here and I'm like relaxing, I kind of want to lay in my bed. So I think we might, if we do do another leg, we'll just fight an Narita. We'll see when the closer we get how we feel, but we'll see. Uh, do I make money off YouTube? Yes, because you guys do support the channel. It does make make a make it helpful to get flights and that on and stuff. Uh, I bet Yoham, did yeah, Yoham is is trashy. Hanita has scenery. Narita has, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh wait, no, did I say Narita? I meant Hanita. My bad. I was battling that thing. VC later. Oh yeah, I'll join it. in the snack mix are so hard because they're cold. Oh, 
it looks great up here. Long flight tomorrow going four hours, 20 minutes. Where are you going? Oh my. Do I like steak? I love steak. I want to do a little, another leg so bad, but I want to chill on out. That's what I'm saying. I'm feeling the same way. Honestly, we've been streaming for four hours. We're going to be live for a long time tomorrow again. I think we're just going to call it here. We'll get it. Uh, we'll land it down. And, uh, I think we'll land it down back in Osaka. We'll get the replays going and we'll just end it there. I think that's what we're going to do. Birmingham. Oh, yeah. That's what you did say. I didn't know it was that long of a flight. Jeez. Just uh, look at my Volante trail up and down, up and down. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't know how people uh, do ultra long flights without leaving the game or something. Well, most people, if they do like really long flights, they don't like sit there the whole time. They'll either like sit there, watch some YouTube for a little, go eat dinner, come back, watch YouTube, look at the flight for a little bit, chat. You know, they don't like just sit there and stare at the screen. That's what a lot of people don't get about flights. They're always like, do y'all just really sit there and just stare at the screen the whole time and just watch your plane slowly move in, the, in a straight line for two hours? I'm like... Well, yes and no, but <laughs> you're blowing on the PMDG Jet 2 thumbnails already posted. Oh, I was about to say. Let me see. Let's see what you're. Let's see if you cook with some grease with this thumbnail. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he did. It matches the. Ch okay, yeah. He cooked with some grease. He did. That's a lovely livery, dude. I only. I really like that livery on the 757, though. I think that's like the best. The best Jet 2 livery. I've been mean, watching YouTube like crazy and cruise. Really? I don't, I don't really do that that much on. On stream, I actually just like genuinely just sit here and like I watch the flight on this stream. Like, I'm not the person to like watch YouTube while I'm streaming and stuff. But when I'm by myself, I'm usually just laid back like this watching TikTok. Like, just genuinely. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like what my parents would say. Yeah. Munching, yes sir, butters. Uh, do people at your school know you stream? Yeah, a lot of them know I stream. A lot of them are probably watching me right now. Most of them, like, just lurk, though. They don't even say anything. And then I go to school. They're like, I was in your stream yesterday. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Felt like a real pilot all these legs. Oh, yeah. Spicy food is the only good type of food. That check flight some screenshots I did like ten minutes ago. You post something new. But yeah, spicy food is the is the best. Mm. Spicy food is the best type of food. It has the best flavoring, the best kick. It's amazing. Honestly, though, beef fruit. No, I'm being for real. Uh, I took the fly by wire from LAX to Honolulu almost five and a half hours. Dang, that's a that's a long flight, but that's solid, man. I think we're going to have to be going back to Hawaii soon. We haven't flown in Hawaii in a little bit. There's just really nothing to do in Hawaii that's not like a long, longer stream, you know what I mean? Like, you either fly to you either fly to Honolulu, which is like five hours at, like, basically five hours from LAX, the shortest, or you do, like, you know hopping around and around in like just island hopping but i did a stream on that and i came to realize even island hopping doesn't last that long it's like it's still like a two hour stream for hub hop like island hopping. so i don't know we might uh you should do some yeah i was about to say we i have a hawaiian flight plan i just don't know if i want to do it you do uh 45 minute southwest hops that's so boring though because that's basically what we just did it's like, I like doing these flights, but like 45 minute flights back to back to back, they're just so short. Alright, we're going to be prepared to start our descent here shortly. Oh, there's my eyebrow. Nice. What's going on, New York Aviation? How are you doing? Well, uh, look, the New York. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. I think I'll probably go to, how do you say, Kalui? Kalui? Or something like that. I've taken my yoke down two times, bro. Might do some island hopping, yeah. I'm telling you, when uh, that 350 releases, I'm going to have two-part streams. Oh, I am too. My first one I'm really thinking about is Atlanta to Cape Town. I don't know why, but that, every time I think of A350 Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think Delta Delivery, Atlanta to Cape Town. I don't know. I don't know.
Wasn't that the inaugural flight though? That was the inaugural flight, right? The, for the A350 for Delta? I thought it was. Also did a uh, Delta A330, Atlanta to Tokyo, 15 hours, nice. Nice to have more time for giving flight after the straight up and down. That's what I'm saying. Nice and long flight that we can just sit here for a second. And mind our own business. Oops. Yeah, we're like 10 miles behind them. Go ahead and slow Mach 0.74. Line traffic to Osaka on upon one seven. We're gonna be slowing down Mach point seven four for spacing. VHH to RJCC oh, for me. I don't know why. I have the A three fifty. Luckily, I don't have to worry about spacing because uh, Atlanta to Johannesburg. Yeah. That would be even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thought Atlanta to Paris. I could be wrong though. Uh, the inaugural flight. I thought it was, I'm pretty sure it's out of Detroit because a lot of flight reviewers they say, "Oh, it brings me back to when I did the inaugural flight with A350," and it's always in Detroit. I'm pretty sure it was in Detroit. And, I don't know uh, where it's in. I forgot to mention the Star Flyer 720 were direct Rocco, which I Atlanta to Amsterdam, ooh baby. I don't want to do that flight, Eli, just because that's more so done in the uh, in the A330 300s. I see that a lot more uh, often. But. Atlanta to Johannesburg would be sick. It's your bestie, Atlanta's bestie. I almost did Moscow to Miami, but my autopilot was bugging out, so I didn't bother. Do they still do that flight with the... Uh, what is that? Who does that airline? Um, oh, he's at JFK. That looks sick. Who does that flight? Air... Air... Uh, air flight. Do they still do that, even with the uh, whole Russia thing going on? Dom with these crazy pictures. Your pictures look insane for... Xbox Microsoft. If you guys haven't already though, make sure you hit that like button. Going for 90 likes. We'll just say we're going for 80. Sorry guys, I'm chewing. They sometimes do that in the 50 Yeah, I know. Sometimes they do, just most of the time it's in the 8 through 30. That'll still be a good flight, though. Air flight, yeah, I was about to say. I want to get early access so I can learn it, but I don't think I'm big enough to have any bills to take into consideration. That's what I was saying. People are like, I was talking about earlier how we should, uh, how I'm trying to reach out to different kind of flight sim developers and like IRL, like, you know, production people that like make Boeing yokes, like Thrustmaster or make that little MCDU. I reached out to them. They just haven't reached me back. But. I was going to go for any builds, but then when I was signing up for they have like a partner program. And that thing is like so much bigger than what I'm at. I'm just like, I don't know. Because I was just going to send them a quick email, but then I was like, dude, they have like people with minimums of like 17K that get like the bare minimum sponsorship. So I'm like, and these aren't even for Microsoft Flight Simulator. These are like for other stuff. Or not for, that's Thrustmaster. But you know what I mean? They're like bigger creators. So I was like, eh. I'm going to wait for any builds, and then once I get a little bit bigger, we'll call for them. But, yeah, I wish I could, too. That would be great. Uh, RGT to LAX with the A350 would be nice. Dude, Japan has some of the nicest wingtips on their A350s. They look really nice. Uh, you also have London to Montego Bay, version Atlantic 787, that, or 787, or the British Airways triple. Yeah, I know the 777, that's 200. That's more so. Just wait. We are. How long is it taking you to build this channel? Um, I would say I've started posting content like a little over a year now. But posting streams and being active and like taking it as serious as I am now, probably like six or months, six or seven months. So you got a headache from all the issues. 
Top four options for me, Ethiopian A350 out of Dubai to Toronto, British Airways, A350 Heathrow to Toronto, or Cathay Pacific A350, Hong Kong to Toronto, or Air Caribbean. Oh, I like that last one with the Air Caribbean. I like their A350. It's pretty much quick. Yeah, I mean, we're doing great. Like I said, I've heard people that say they've been starting their channels for like two or three years, and they're only at like 3K. So I think, I think I'm doing really good. <clears throat> but you could always do better, you know what I mean? Bro's munching on everything I am, bro. I'm telling you, if if y'all saw me, like what I did other than flight streaming, or like flying planes or being on my computer, behind me is my bed. Y'all know before I had the green screen, y'all saw how my layout is. My bed is behind this green screen. I will sit on that bed with my AirPods in, eating some something, just eating anything, something. Just laying down there, just eating, watching TikTok or your YouTube video. That's that's literally all I do. And I freaking love it. It's amazing. <laughs> Just a nice relaxed day watching some YouTube. Video. I don't even expect ILS or Pressure Mode to work, so I might visual we'll see. <laughs> Newark to Delhi or Mumbai. Ooh, that's a nice one. Wanna do some of Thon's A350 or British Airways A350 to San Diego? Oh yeah, I wonder if it's gonna be a bundle though. I wonder if they're gonna be weird and make it two different planes. Y'all you know, think it's gonna be a bundle or two different planes? Did I come into your streams in the beginning or middle of your streaming career? I think you've been here for a, for a while. I would say probably like towards the end of my beginning area and towards like like the very very beginning of my middle era of streaming. Like I said, I've been doing this like almost daily now, so it's kind of hard to remember. But yeah, I think you've been here for a long time. I rate that fly hours pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's sick. Six months at 25, but what do you post? Let me see. You gotta be consistent and keep posting like content. You also gotta make some thumbnails. Yeah, you're not consistent at all, bro. You posted like your landing videos and they're like up and down vertical. And then you also haven't posted in two years and then you randomly came back five months ago, then eight days ago, and then 11 hours ago. That's why. You just have to stay consistent. Your your content's like all over the place. Prop two different plans, yeah. Flight sim. What's the best editing software for free? I would say CapCut. That goes crazy. What's going on, Flight Man? Why don't you fly the A300? I've been flying the A300 for like three days. So I, I've i stopped flying the A300 for a little bit. We're going to go to some Airbuses, and then we'll probably hop back in it. Thinking about some LAX or SFO to Hawaii. And when the Max releases. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to be doing some Max to Hawaii. That's, that's going to be nice. Made my account like two or three years ago. Yeah, this account, this was like a fun fact in my channel. My account that I'm on right now, this used to be like a Fortnite montage account. It was, I lost on my first one. one seven. Can you please repeat your mock number? You slowed mock point seven four now. All right. Yeah. I lost my Fortnite account that I used to like do videos on. Like, you know, I used to be a Fortnite montage editor and I used to make montages. And I had made the. Is slowing to and I was posting on that account, like videos or... and everything. But that account that I posted it on, I made that account when I was in like third grade. So I didn't know the password or anything. It was like a fake email, a fake password, just random stuff, right? We're not fake well, password. Just <coughs> stupid stuff. Yeah. So I had to make another Hold account on. when I got a new phone. So then I made this account and I start posting stuff, but I was like, dude. It's getting like to the 2022s, yeah, you know. Nippon, Nobody's five, really watching my uh, stuff. I've been doing this for a while, Aquaman thinking it's good, and my stuff is not as good. So I just quit it. I was like, yo, I still want to make a YouTube channel. So I was like, hey, I wonder if I can make a, a aviation YouTube channel. I wonder if anybody will watch that. So I tried it out one day. Y'all can see my first ever stream. I was just like, hey, let's try it out. I did that the day after I signed up for being live streaming. Uh, my friend was in the chat. Only people from my school were in the chat. And I just, we just flew. And I was like, hey, this is kind of fun streaming it. So I kept doing it, kept doing it. I was like, hey, I actually like doing this. And boom, here we are today. That's just a little fun fact. You just got to be consistent, man. That's what I was saying. We're about to start our descent here. Put a 10,000. Uh, I have vids scheduled for the month. Yeah, I was about to say, just can continue posting stuff. Because what I'm seeing, not even trying to diss you or anything. You're posting a video like once. It's like you're 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 not you're not consistent. It's just random. You know what I mean? In my opinion, it's just posting random stuff, and that's good. But it, it has to be like in a pattern. You know, like a random pattern. If that makes any sense. 
You're just kind of just like, okay, let me post today. All right, I don't want to post. Six months later, I don't want to post. You know what I mean? What am I eating? It's like a, uh, a kebab kit. It's a, it's like a cracker, and then it has like some cheese, some gouda cheese, and then it has like some, uh, some pepperoni or salami. I don't know which one it is, but yeah, that's what we got going today. All zip seven four five. The auto copy for two minutes. You're so close to me. Slow down. Why are you right behind me? I'm saying you are like on my tail. I don't know where you are, but I see you on my tail on two guys. I genuinely just don't see. I actually just don't see. Oh, you're like decently behind me. You better slow down, bro, because I'm not slowing down anymore. Let's right, speed up. Okay, Congo line traffic on the pond. One seven speeding for Mach point seven four for uh, Mach point eight zero for spacing. We're also going to start a descent out of thirty four thousand, descending via the uh, Amin one for runway three two left in Osaka. All right, yeah. The so three or four week, yeah, I'll say that's that's solid. Three or four week is probably a good enough amount. And even if you can't do that, at least like twice a week, you know. I don't think I'll ever get a lane like I did like ever today, dude. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but I've been trying to get better lanes than you all today. I just can't do it. My average right now is like in the 80s. I got an 81 or something the first leg, and I got a 94 in this leg. So on the last leg. So we'll see what I get now. I'm 142 subs. I can't complain until I get my PC. I get my back. Exactly. For our stream tomorrow, I'm thinking we're gonna do some South Africa flying. I think that's what I want to do. I think that's the more the one I'm looking forward to a little bit more. So I think that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, we're not gonna be in the U.S. for a long time, guys. So. All nip in seven four five. We're back. If y'all uh, if y'all wanted me to be flying in the U.S., I'm not gonna be doing that anytime soon. So, <laughs> we'll see. All right, negative 13 is beyond me, bro. I swear. We're on the same flight level or not. I think he's below me, but we're not getting a traffic alert. And he's like five. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's chilling. He's right there. I, I got side with him now. We're fine. You just lost all your owl bucks? Oh, no. You know, I'll be there exactly. Yeah, consistency is the biggest thing of a YouTube channel, man. You can't, you cannot, like, at all expect to post a video once every seven days. I guarantee this is a picture of me eating. Oh, no. This is my plan. Okay. You can't post something random every seven days and then be like, hey, why am I not getting any views? You know what I mean? 56-minute flight time we've been in the air so far. And uh, we've been flying, or flying for 56 minutes. Got about nine minutes till we reached the field. Around probably 12, 15 guys haven't already though make sure you hit that like button sadly today i don't think we're gonna hit our like goal but that's fine i think it's just because of what we were doing earlier kind of jacked everything up that's fine rj uh -oh. um what are we descending on right now yeah the oh man okay that's good we're gonna approach ILS 32 left. Course is 322, so it's at 322. Alright. Minimum's 281. One more flight? Probably not, man. I think we're gonna call it for a night tonight. We've got a pretty long stream tomorrow plan. I, I think I'm gonna go with the South Africa one. It's like two legs that are both two hours long, so I think I think that's that's gonna that's gonna be it for tonight. All right, 281. If I'm smacking you guys' ears, just tell me I'm sorry. And uh, frequency 110.10. Uh, 
I need heat a lot, Congo. Can I get your estimated time of reaching waypoint Rocco? I don't want to step on anybody. Uh, Solid upon 17, we're number 2 in the Congo line, estimated time 05220. Or about 29 nautical miles. Solid upon 1652, we're looking about 0400 for about oh, coming down. 29. We get our V ref going here. Let's also throw this over there, sir. Roger, um, get our math out. Starfly 720, we're looking at an arrival at Rocco at 0.3 minus 7.7. That's 123.6. Tokyo native traffic on the pond 16. Native has started initial descent. We're not going to Haneda, man. We are definitely not. Anyway, slaps 30 and 137 knots sounds good to me. Minimums are set. Let's go ahead and run through the checklist. Yeah, man. Let's just run through that. Anyways, descent checklist. Pressurization set to the landing altitude. Recall is checked. Looks good. Auto brakes. We're going to use auto brakes too today. It's a shorter runway than usual, but that should be fine. Now, let's actually pull up and see how long this is. Let's just make sure. All in the seven-four. Five, it's about 9,000 foot runway. That's not short, but I think that's good for our bridge too. Landing data, V-Ref flaps 30 at 137 knots with the minimums of 281 per the charts. Approach briefing is completed. Descent check was complete. So we're going to be downwind here. That's Roger, fine. Thank you. I'm tired. And, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry. We're going to check up stuff. Uh, let's go on, Zach. There are so many places to find the entire world. Why would you want to restrict yourself to one country? I could understand maybe setting up a schedule. There's like a month there. And yeah, that's what I was saying. That's where I'm like, nowadays, I'm kind of just flying anywhere. You know what I mean? I used to only fly in the U.S. like only. But now that I've been like getting flight requests from you guys, I've noticed that flying around the world sometimes is a lot more fun than doing the same approach I've been doing for two years. You know what I mean? So I think we're going to be just flying around. Flatline is rooster right now. <laughs> uh, who are you? Who's going to do a long haul tomorrow? Nobody's doing a long haul tomorrow. I think uh, Clover said he might. But I think uh, I think Mikey's doing just a five-hour flight. You don't have any problems with Microsoft changing your ATC frequency? Yeah, you gotta make sure you turn off in the assistant settings auto ATC tune. Cause then it'll just do that. I was saying I had so much fun in Brazil today, except for that controller going to Rio. Yeah, I didn't hear about that, but that's what I'm saying. Just flying, flying places that you don't normally fly are so much better than being stuck up in the same area. And luckily for Microsoft, you don't have to download Ortho for the entire world. You know what I mean? It just looks good. Thanks, of course, man. Uh, watch the stream at uh, 144p. is like having blurred vision. Yeah, right now we're not in 1440. We're in 1080. But I honestly don't think anybody could tell a difference from 1440 to 1080. So for now, for the sake of conserving my RAM, we're going to be streaming on 1080p just with the ultracast that I got going on now. So it basically looks the same because I'm ultracasting. But same, same thing, just a lower resolution. I don't think anybody could tell that. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna do JFK to Singapore tomorrow. We're just at freak at JFK to Singapore. <laughs> like, what? Like, I'm doing 22 hour flight in Microsoft. What? We're ever going back to the US? Yeah, we're flying back to the US, of course, man. But we're just not doing it, like, for, like, another week. You know what I mean? Basically, just taking a break of flying, you know, in the US, doing the same routes for, like, a week. We're just gonna be doing Airbus ops anywhere. You know, Copenhagen. We're going to freaking, you know freaking france you know stuff just random things you know what i mean just, just anywhere that my little heart desires we're probably gonna go i wanted to get a replay i think we should get a replay i'll get flight recorder replay open i should just get to the gate i think we're just gonna get to the gate to be honest with you i was gonna do replay but nah let's just get to the gate i don't feel like doing all that <laughs> Hope my autopilot works the rest of the flight. That's what I'm saying. He's in the MD-11. Dude was vectoring me to a completely different airport, and then when I corrected him, he basically told me he was unable to vector me, so I disconnected. I was about to say, that's what I would have done, bro. What? Not replays? Come on. You think I should? I don't know, bro. Last time your internet went out before we could see a replay? Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. 
it shouldn't do that today that was just it was being weird that's why i'm also excited to move because for some reason the internet connection here it, it goes well and then sometimes just just dead replay all right we'll get a replay i'll open it up we'll get a replay md11 yep that's what he's uh that's what he's flying This is frustrating to say at the least. Yeah, uh, I get you. We're gonna go down three thousand now. That looks good. Not gonna lie, American football is fun, but I, but I remember that there, there are guys that are fast and strong and can literally get thrown like a rag doll. Yeah, that is true. Waypoint cameo at time zero four zero nine Zulu. Just for information, Osaka arrival. Alright, cool. Let's get it in here. We're also gonna go ahead and get our charts out. Firm landing and RJTT. Hey, it's all good, man. Alright, we go airport here. I'm joking. I was about to say, there's no way you're about to be for. Oh, we already got the charts up. I forgot. All right, we're going to land three, two left. And I'm saying we're going to vacate here at Whiskey Nine. I think that's pretty reasonable to vacate Whiskey Nine. I played uh, offensive lineman and defensive lineman in football for six years. Jeez, that's crazy, bro. And Osaka traffic gets is on the pond one seven. We're descending out of 11,000. Descending via the end man downwind runway three two left of me making right base here shortly in about the next five minutes. Osaka. No way bro still alive. We are, bro. We're grinding today. You guys stepped on each other, but we pretty much understood it. Alright, landing lights come on, we'll get continuous here. Wing light comes on. Double ping the cabin. Park or not parking brakes, but that comes on. We'll get landing rate monitor open. LRM. Looks good. Cool. Oh, it's already open? Oops. Cool. Yeah, negative 91 was our last landing. All right. Here we go. Let's uh, let's make something happen here. Thinking out loud here, what did you say? If you should look up at least none flesh from your where the country is small, at least none. I might put some guys on the map. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that would be cool. I was going to Seth Ronald, just bought the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X to go with my RTX 3060. You'd like the CPU? Yeah, it's an amazing CPU, man. Right now, the only thing we're really capped at is with our RAM. We need more RAM, but... <laughs> We're chilling right now. All right, coming on the downwind though. I will say this Osaka scenery is kind of laggy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Every time I, I was rendering it, it just gets loaded. Taking so gate eight, five, ending right today where we started. Sounds good. I'll go back to gate nine. My Volanta position is way off. Yeah, I just closed Volanta, bro. I was like, I don't know what it, mine's doing the same thing. It was telling me I was like way uh, behind. I, I couldn't even see where y'all were, so I think my thing's disconnected. That's fine. I just closed one. Around zero four zero four UT UT like yeah. Hmm. On one seven, we're passing directly over you. Yeah, on the pond one seven, we're maintaining a consistent speed. I thought you were gonna slow down, so uh, we'll speed it up, but uh, please slow down. Yeah, we have my bad. Buddy. <laughs> I'll just let him go. And uh, those two on the pond battling it out in the sky. Uh, can I get your expected Zulu arrival time at waypoint cameo? Expected arrival time at a waypoint cameo is, is showing um, 0524 Zulu. And for that, all the that just passed over me, we're going to slow down to one, or 190 knots for spacing now. Roger, Roger we'll see Lack, up. station calling and just be advised. I think your SIP time is screwed up because it should be in the 04s. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna slow her down here. I don't know what the heck that was. Anyways, on the pond. <laughs> big up from Brazil. Thank you, man, for an amazing strategy. Appreciate that, Stefano, man. That means a lot, man. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up down there. I'm trying to hit 90 of those thumbs today. Help us out. Besides, lots of time. Side word of flies. Just spinning around the world until I get dizzy, until I figure out which country it is. Look up roots. Oh, yeah. How many monitors are in your setup? We only got two. Just two good old monitors.
we're just gonna maintain a consistent speed here. We get flaps down to one. Thumbs up and Nusa, appreciate that, Stefano. Sorry, it's probably not gonna pop up your thing on stream. We'll see if it does. Is it sitting in a beautiful Osaka? Yes, sir, Cathy. Uh, What's going on, Harry FS? This is uh, Harrison from Railer. Here's the new channel I'm probably gonna upload the first bit this weekend. Nice, man. Let's go check that out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Solid channel, man. Just post some good content. It'd be good. What kind of stuff are you thinking about making? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, flight line. I was chilling. You were. <laughs> Anyways. What's going on, Isaac? Yo, yo. We're, we're just slow. We gotta meet that at 210 All knots. Again, on so. I don't know if you heard people. We're slowing down to 240 now. Yep, just continue that speed. We're maintaining 190 knots. We can get Stendar down and if you really need us to for on the pond 17. That'd be nice. Thank you. Roger, right. We'll stand our down one for about a five mile extension, then we'll join back for the localizer 3 2 for on the pond 17. <clears throat> I have no clue how to say your name, man, but thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. What's slow on 240? <laughs> That's in flights are probably some uh, live streams. Oh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be pretty, pretty sick. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our music off here because we're going to have to focus up now. we got to extend our downwind and stuff now, so that should be interesting. All right, present heading. Let's find it. What is this heading at? 149. So let's set 149 here. On our MCP panel. One four nine. We'll maintain that present heading. We gotta meet a Bino at five thousand feet, so we're gonna set. Actually, we gotta join this at three thousand five hundred. So we're set three five zero. We'll slow leave this in. I'll go level change, vertical speed. We're gonna get that about six hundred. Yeah, go. 500 feet per minute just because we're going to Osaka traffic Palma Pond 1652 is turning right base for runway 32 left Osaka Osaka track just to confirm this is on the Pond 17 we're going to be extending our downwind for about 5 nautical miles then going right direct to Abina to join the runway 32 localizer for a 15 mile final Osaka Roger. Did your channel start out slow? Of course it did, man. It did. Was, uh, what was brought originally? I think 270 or something. That's why I was like, how did he pass me? That's, that's why I was like so confused when I saw my TCAS go off. I was like, who was, who was around us? <laughs> like, buddy must have been like over speeding or something. Look at that clouds though. Uh, under negative two feet per minute, a $500 donation. What if I managed to do that? <laughs> What's your favorite uh what's your favorite and least favorite places you've flown while streaming that you've that you've made the choice places to begin with? Um I think my first favorite right now is I don't really have a favorite. I mean everything is super cool. I just like handling the planes. So I don't know. I I don't that's a hard question, bro. I don't even think I can answer that. I like flying everywhere and I hate flying and I think the only places I hate flying or like JFK, because, you know, the FPS. I think I can only say it based off of the FPS type stuff, you know? Osaka traffic on the pond 1652 is turning right final. For yeah, mine doesn't make arenas. I think there's a there's a thing you could do to make arenas for it. Uh, it's uh, data or something like that. I forgot what it is. Osaka traffic, Starfly 720. Uh, entering the Ico Man arrival for ILS 32 left now at Cameo at 7,000 feet. We'll be descending by the Ico Man arrival and uh, we'll make any adjustments for traffic if needed. Uh, Osaka traffic. Osaka traffic uh, on the pond 17 making right base direct Albino for a uh, 15 and a half mile final for the ILS runway at 32 left approach Osaka. And we're going to redo this here just to make it a better, cleaner turn there. There we go. Call it the cabin. Now we're about to arrive. Cabin's called. Tax light's coming on. We're maintaining 190 knots at this waypoint. It's 210, so we're under the speed, of course. <laughs> the WXR button. Is it? I don't see that. I know there's a way to get rings, oh, and I used to remember how to do it, I just haven't done it in a long time. Is fully established for the RLS left Osaka. Are you running a 2 slash 4K monitor or a full HD one? I'm just running a full HD one. I have a uh, 165 hertz 1080p monitor. Have you ever been down under? Where? 
like in Aust- Australia. I mean, I, I did a, I did take a seven thirty seven to Saint Bart's on Leo Lick Stick Stream. Oh my gosh, fires! You're just turning into one of those people, <laughs> those flights and people. Huh? No, I'm farther south because I had autopilot issues. Yeah, I've heard that there's a f- that there's a few new uh, flights that's going to release soon for Rolox, and people say it's the best. Yeah, I've have right seen it, bro. Um, it does look pretty impressive for a Roblox game, but again, it's impressive for a Roblox game. But some of the but I saw that buttons work and all that, so that's cool. Look at that, bro. Look down there. That looks sick. Guess because it rings when uh I get the rings when activating. I think you have to. There's certain ways your plane has to be set up because I know I have rings sometimes and sometimes I don't. I think it's just the configuration of the plane, like what kind of systems you have on board your aircraft. Because I I you know there's ways you could change it in the FMC. So I think for this specific airline, they don't actually have that on this stuff. Because I know there's ways you could do it. I don't know. I uh, do it all the time. You just see me do it at times. Oh, that you don't do it all the time. I see. I said, huh? Oh. What's up, traffic? All Nippon 745, short final for 3 to left, final call for Osaka. Oh, we're all coming in at the same time like this? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. All right, let's get her down. 700 feet per minute. Approach checklist altimeter set 1017 per the charts. Confirmed. Bring it down. 100%. <laughs> Backing out of your move, and I'll find you, JK, and let's not. Oh, I remember now Elon Musk told Delta Airlines something. It was dumb. What? This is a nice arrival here, though. We're going to start the replay. Hit the TFR button. I believe it gives you the raise. All right, give me a second. All right, recording has started. Ready to get those replays. TFR? Yep, I got you. TFR. Where's TFR? Or TFC? Yeah, I've clicked that. I already have. Cl- I've clicked that. It just shows him on me. That's what I'm saying. I think it's only in certain aircraft configs that put up the we'll rings. Osaka traffic. Call the pond. Go approach me here just to get fully localized. Three, two left, Osaka. And uh, well, makes sense that we're good. One 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 ten. One 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 ten. One 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 ten. Course three two two. Three two two. Confirmed. Good on all sides. Let's go. How long was the last leg? Just about an hour twenty minutes. Nothing too crazy. We got the field in sight. We do have two aircraft in sight as well, so we'll watch out for them. I mean, if it has an entire globe, people will be fine with it. That's true. That's odd. Yeah. I think that's what I said. I think it's just configs because I know I've done that before by just clicking that. So I think it's just a configuration thing. All right. We're going to blend into the localizer here. We've got to be at 3,589 at this next one. So cool. Be under two feet per minute. I'm not going to lie to you and say we're going to do that. So we'll try. Can't wait for South Africa, Mike and just Cape Town to Johannesburg. I don't know what else is going. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. So <laughs> that's uh, that's the thumbnail we got planned and all that. All right, we're gonna go in slow 180. It wants us to be at 142. We'll be to just say 172. Flaps, uh, flaps, speed shit. Whiskey six. Uh, cross runway three to right, and then we'll go with Charlie two. Bro was yapping about his tag team. <laughs> we'll go, uh, Charlie. Two, the two. Osaga, Travik, Japan, Air, 118 Heavy, pushing. Ooh, 118 Heavy. Uh-oh. Uh, Osaka traffic. All right, 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 speed is on a three-mile final for only 3-5. What's the Japanese? Osaka. And Osaka traffic on the pond. One seven fully stylish for that. That was 3-2, 10-mile final Osaka. I'm going to say the Japanese. He said we're gonna take Charlie, then Charlie two, then then Charlie three, and then <laughs> Charlie yeah. dude. What is it? Oh, no traffic. Uh, on the dude, I haven't Osaka talked to Clove for in a minute, bro. But I forgot how funny he was, bro. <laughs> what is he German? He's German, right? It said he's. It says four a.m. for him right now. <laughs> oh, he's he's cool, bro. Ever been to Gary GF the pyramids in the simulator? I haven't. That's another one. Like I said, we're going to be doing mostly Airbus stuff. So Osaka a lot of Airbus is like the 320 family. They usually fly to like crazy runway, airports. So three, that's what I think we're going to be doing. Left, Osaka. Osaka traffic uh, on the pond. We're in 1-7. We're about 
six miles in trail for number one. We're going to be number two, fully stopped. Shot was three, two left approach, about a seven and a half mile final in Osaka. Do you have the 321? I do, but I don't like flying. Uh, Japan one, Air 124. I'm more so like the X Pro. 2,500 feet. Gateway. That's shit. Go and get slaps to Osaka. See you tomorrow. We'll see you. Aviation, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for a great stream. I'm gonna lay down and watch some YouTube. Sounds good, man. We'll see. We're gonna be joining the ILS. All right, gears dropping. For three, two left at Ikema. We'll be on a ten, uh, fifteen knockabout final for ILS uh, for the runway three two. I'll give him some uh, space here. Traffic. Slow down one hundred and fifty. What's going on, Nathan? Continuous recall. That's what I'm saying. So we're gonna go and run that once I get flaps thirty set. Flaps thirty. All right, engines continuous. Let's check. Recall looks good. Spoilers on with the green light. Landing gear down. Three greens. Flaps 30. Green lights. Landing lights checked. Cabin has been advised. Let's make it. Make it happen. 137 is our speed that we're referring for. Get 137. Cool. Osaka traffic on the pond. 1552 is clear. Runway 32 left. Osaka. Tower just came online. Did he actually? 108.1. Soccer Tower on the pond, 1-7, fully established, about a 3-mile final for the ILS, 3-2 left the bridge. Soccer Tower on the pond, 1-7, 3-mile final, ILS, 3-2 left the bridge. Alright, we're just going to go back to even common contact in later. Saga traffic uh, on the pond, 1-7, about a short final for 3-2 left, final call, also towers on, we'll advise them off of clearing the runway, Osaka. Thousand feet, stabilized, check, my aircraft. 137 is what we're aiming for. Let's make it happen. Dude, these ILSs in China, dude, I don't know why, but they always feel like they just throw you to the, uh, what you call it, the right side of the runway. We contacted Tower twice. He didn't say anything. I'm just going to advise the people's frequency right now. Osaka traffic. Um, Starfly 720. Nine Nakamel final for the ILS 3 2 left. Osaka traffic. Osaka grounds on the bun 16. <laughs> Continue, we're landing. 6 You got a little bit of a ground effect there. Osaka traffic on the pond, 1 7 gun around right uh, or left field traffic, Osaka. Alright, let's go around. Climbing 3,500 here. Maintain this present heading for now. Like a very penny one one eight texting runway three two right. Go ahead and select Talk the traffic. Uh, on the pond 1652 is crossing runway one four left taxiing to the ramp what via the Charlie heck? four Echo five Echo four Osaka. Dude, what the heck? Bro went around because he wanted butter. No, I was just about to float down the whole runway. That's why. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Kathy. All right. We're trying to get on the uh, missed approach thing here. All right. We'll go direct to Inc. Starflyer 720. We are three knockabouts off ILS 32 left. Stop the traffic. Caution. 
Oh my gosh, what is this thing doing? This is bad. This is real bad. There you go. I'm so bad at missed approaches, dude. <laughs> like, oh my. Manu fight in, that's what I'm doing. Can this uh, shut uh, up, dude? I hate the bell with this plane. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Shut up. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, just got back. Why'd you go around? We were a little too high. We start floating in. We got a lot of ground effects, so just coming in for a take two. Soccer traffic, uh, all the pond. One seven, we're going to be making, uh, right or left field traffic on the base for a nice three two join the local base. Alright. Mr. Senpai with the $2 dono. Appreciate it. First ever Super Chat. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Bro just wants to fly longer. That and also we're going to be illegal. <laughs> Wowzers, yeah, Fortnite Club. I'm still alive. I am. This is not a banger and I know bangers, bro. What? All right, we're going to try this again for a take two. We still got the same VRF and all that, so we should be good. Try that again. Let's, let's fly some headings here. Okay, I didn't mean to. Okay, I probably shouldn't have turned it on heading mode just yet. So we're just gonna go out and then back in. All right, maintain 3,500. And we'll go ahead and make that base turn. Zero six zero. Cool. You didn't happen to have the uh, 737 Classic for X-Plane, do you? No, I definitely don't. <laughs> All right, so we're at flaps to five, five, I believe. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and drop flaps to ten here keep the same speeds all right come back in for take two I don't know if they're all on tower now but we'll we'll see at least you're not fighting at your planes right now is what I'm saying bro I just need to I think I need to just work on going uh, around Three two, right? Three two, right? One four zero is heading. I was just streaming at twelve twenty two. It's crazy. It's eleven twenty two for me. Uh, this area, Japan, one one eight heavy departing. Three two, right? Three two, right? Roger, Starfly seven twenty holding short. Three two, right? All right, one eight zero on the speeds. Here we go. Try this again. I'm gonna stop the recording. We're gonna redo it. Yo, is that rudder, dude? I'm telling you, every time I throw rudder into this plane, like, I these past two lanes, I haven't had to throw rudder into it. That's why we got, like, so smooth and so accurate. But the second we got to throw some rudder into it, it just kind of floats the plane back up. It's so weird. Stream at 12 your time, please. AM or PM? Bro's in a day before me. That's kind of crazy. All right, we're going to keep going down one. And then uh, we're right back. 520, crossing one way, three, two, right at whiskey eight. We got tower online. Just don't think they're online. Like they're just there. All right, here we go. Take two. What do y'all think this landing rate's gonna be? <laughs> Stream till twelve? No, nah, probably not. Go ahead and keep that traffic on here. And we'll go full out on the localizer. How far out are we from the field? Low key. Let's descend two thousand. We'll level change to two thousand, right? Let's go 700, uh, 850 per minute. That should work. Let's get on a, an intercept heading for the first start. 120. We're going to make this straight in. Speed, 160 knots. It's going to be crazy. It's going on notation almost at 5K. I know, man. We're so close. Uh, my plane stalled. Oh, no. Nah. Uh, you want to buy me the Phoenix A320 or PMV 737? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take two. Alright, we're gonna watch our speeds here. It's gonna start. Yep, I knew it. Just drop the gear now. Like I said, we're gonna be on a nice little little special turn. Alright, I hate that bell, dude, because it just doesn't shut up for a long time. 
Isn't there a thing to mute it? It's in the Airbus, the loudspeaker. Turn high, 500 feet. I was put gear before flaps 15. I know. It's a habit that I have, and then when I do go arounds, I lose all my brain cells. Keep in mind, $500 is on the line here. I'm not getting negative two feet per minute. Sock traffic on the pond. Uh, 1 7 making left base final for the ILS runway. 3 2 approach. Going to be at about a 10 mile final. Sock. All right, let's go ahead and intercept heading here. Three five zero there. Speed one five zero. Approach mode activated. Top's twenty five. Try this again, let's go. How much was that gaming chair? It's not that uh pricey, I remember. It's it's pretty well priced, I would say. I think like uh hundred and fifty bucks, hundred and twenty bucks, I remember. I got this a long time ago. We'll say after a while, of course, it's going to start fading out, but, I mean, it's a great cheer. All right, landing checklist. Speed brake still armed with the green light. Auto brake still set. Two gears down, three greens. Uh, cool. Continuous gins on both. Cabin's getting pinged again. Let's make it happen. Let's try this one. I feel like we got, we got this one. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, yeah. Do you use photogrammetry for the scenery? I do, Infinite Pilot. What's up, bro? Haven't been on all night. Just start watching. What's going on, Trey? Hope you're doing well, man. Coming in for a take two. Had a negative 91 in the last place, negative 83 in the last place before that flight. So let's see. I'm trying to... We were floating down the runway this time. So I was like, let's just come in again and try this again. <laughs> Never fly the MD-11. No, dude. <laughs> the <FDI> comes out. <laughs> Bro. Oh, no. All right. Maintain 2,000 here. I think that's a pretty pretty stable height to join the localizer. Just seeing how the airport looks right now. Trying to fly away from the building, so that's a no fly zone right there. So, all right, everybody lock your landing rates in. Here we go. I got a 270, should have pulled more, but I'm too tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one with energy right now. I don't know why I have so much energy. All right, let's start turning towards the field here. Low change down to 1500 feet. Actually, I feel like I'm just going to fly this in by hand. Yeah, let's just fly this in by hand. I'm going to have fun. Soccer traffic. Uh, Omnipon 17 fully stylish for the uh, visual approach. Showing way 3-2, about a 5.5 mile final soccer. I got to catch my thing back in. All right, let's fly this in visually. 3,500 is missed approach. Uh, missed approach heading will set. That's through two, where is it? 285 there. There you go, 285. Alright, let's try this again. Here we go. What's going on, Brandon Lewis? Oh my gosh, it's Brandon, bro. What? Alright, here we go. If you do a barrel roll, you won't. Yeah, I definitely won't. Alright, I'll just go crazy right now, bro. Alright, here we go. I feel like they all went to tower. Is tower online? It's like a tower on the pond, 1-7. Hello? It's like a tower. It's on the pond, 1-7. Fully stylish for the visual. About a five-mile final run, 8-3-2. Hey, uh, 1-F-1-1-7. Uh, Tower is having voice issues, bro. He's just giving the voice. Oh, sorry, text to at this moment. I, I need to get clearance, though. Alright, 137 on the beer. I have to just slow down to that. I don't know how I'm supposed to handle this if, like, he can't say anything. Anyways. Alright, let's see. All static, bro. <laughs> All static, bro. Alright, well, uh, I guess on the pond traffic, it's uh, on the pond, or a sock traffic's on the pond 1 7. We're on about a short final for running 3 2 left. I see it playing on short, so we're just gonna continue. 1000. Uh, yeah, uh, 
Holding on 17, Japan Air 124, be holding short 32 left. Oh, uh, roger, thank you. Alright, here we go. Let's try this. It's slow to the slowest approach speed I had just to see if he was gonna do anything. Going through the landing up. I'll try. Go around again. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, we were a lot more stable on this one. I don't know why we were getting blown off. Plus hundred. Continue. Ah, we still five. Yeah, boy. 40, 30, 20. My phone, uh, seven, Osaka, Tawa, 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 Tawa,
This is Echo, right? About to say, we can't taxi through the apron because there's that, uh... Japan A122 cleared to uh, Tokyo right. International by the Osaka Ford Departure. Tax lights still on, let's turn on. Uh, actually, we don't even need to worry about all that because we're going to the replay. Anyways, APU's on. We'll get the strobes off. Wing light can come off as well. We'll just taxi into the ramp. Uh, I don't remember cleaning up the plane, so let's go ahead and clean her up. Yep, there we go. Okay, sorry. Osaka, oh, sorry, Oscar 4, the shuttle transition, uh, only for one. Uh, sorry, Japan hit one, two, two. No, but thank you for your $5, I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to Discord to help me? Yeah, I got you, man. Let me, uh, let me end up here and I got you, bro. <coughs> what do you got planned for your weekend? Okay, 32 left, 2997, and, uh... Dude, that's a solid triple seven. I hope he's not in Microsoft, bro. That would be horrible. I think it's massive too. Look at that thing. Which call? I'm probably gonna go in general, but I drag you into my office. Okay, hold position, Japan A one two two. All right, so taking spot nine, where we just were. Sounds good to me. Uh, what happened earlier? We came in, uh, we had came in a little bit too far on the, uh, the right side, so I used a little bit of rudder, and that kind of kicked us over, so, uh, I had to go around because we weren't, oh, spot nine's taken. I'm just taking spot ten. This doesn't matter that much to me. All right, we'll scoot it over. Attack slide's coming off, and we'll get our TARA off. Just go mode Charlie there. We'll change our facility to spot 10 here so we can get a marshaller. Uh, oh, I forgot. Gate 10 doesn't really have anything. I don't know how to say that, but appreciate that, my guy. Anyways, with, like, the part... Uh, Japan, one, two, two, eight, firm, and we're ready to taxi now. 7 shows up with default 8380 for me. I don't know why. It's probably because I have FS traffic, too. We don't even need a marshaller. We have the freaking... Distance thing here. Ever flown into Queenstown, New Zealand? I haven't, man. Okay, taxi holding point, whiskey two, runway uh, three two left, cross runway three two. How right, good is this, is this thing? I don't know if I trust it or anything. Oh, we're randomly from 10 meters to 3 meters? 2 meters? 2.1 meters? 1 meter? 0 0.5. That's that's gonna work. Parking brake skin set. Oops. There you go. Parking brake set. Switching over to the APU gens. Boom, boom. Go ahead and get that panel brightened up. Engines can come off now. And boom. Welcome back to. Oh my. I forgot his what his livery was. Welcome back to Osaka. I cannot understand that 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 dude. But I was in Mile High Club. <laughs> oh no. Mr. Mikey with a $10 donut. Everybody's just throwing in the donut train now. I appreciate that, Mikey. Here's your spam. I got to talk to you later, by the way, because I could. I got your thing now. So I'm going to call you in a second. But we're here. Mikey with a $10 bomb. Great stream, bro. Where's the alerts? I just realized that. I just hear it, but I don't see it. <laughs> this thing's jacked up. Anyways, welcome back to Osaka. We'll go ahead and honestly, I don't feel like shutting down this. So we're just going to. Oops. So what we're, we're going to do, I'm just going to, that 777 was taxing way too fast. We're just going to disconnect from Batsim here. And we'll get our tunes back on and we'll go ahead and uh, let's just check out this replay. I won't lie to you. Of course, the worst landing has to be the one we got a replay oh, of, but that's fine. Then we're here getting money. It's kind of brand I know. I mean, we try. I, I put a I put a, a good fist into here. So it's kind of just a, a small little treat. It's pretty nice. Nice flight. It's fun two legs. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you guys flying with us. That was a very fun conga leg. We shouldn't have gone around it. That kind of made me mad. Anyways, let's check out what we got for this lane. We got a negative 124 feet per minute, so it wasn't bad, but we did kind of float all the way to the end line, the, uh, about the second to last landing marker. I think I just hit the freaking drone mock mode. Oh, my gosh. And we'll just reset position here. There we go. All right, cool. Let's check this out. You guys have not already... We're still trying to hit 90 likes. We're at 71. If we can, help us out. Let's see. It was a still a good landing. I know. It was still a good landing. It was still legal, so I'm not mad about it. I'm just mad that the fact that that's the one landing that we recorded 
<laughs> for a replay is, is this landing we're gonna go on this side it looks a lot more brighter yeah look how much we are floating i don't know why there was so much ground effect going on but hey we kissed the ground though i will say that was that was pretty darn solid nice little kiss on the ground so uh, let's go and check that out from a uh, better angle in the middle Fun with that landing so hard into a socket. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why I was I was landing so much fine, like way better. And then I came into a socket. And now I just can't land. Like, I it still wasn't bad, of course. But like, look at our angle of attack. I feel like I just thought we were a little too high, and then we were a little too low. You know what I mean? Because of that little dip it has coming into there. But that's fine. Didn't flare enough. Yeah, that that happens to me sometimes. Sometimes either flare too much or just don't flare enough. Appreciate that $10 donut, Mikey. Brandon with the $5, though. And uh, Mr. Simpilot, I think. Who was that? Uh, No, yeah, Mr. Simpilot with the $4 in total, man. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. All right. Let's get some uh, let's get some wing views, shall we? I like me some wing views. Don't sink. I won't sink. Don't worry. All right. Let's go ahead and check this baby out. 270s in terrible, but easily could have done better, yeah. Uh, yeah, but when I get better, it's lame, you know? <laughs> Uh, uh, what's going on, Dre? Yo, yeah, buddy, use Navigraph tries for your flight planning on Simbrief or Simbrief because Navigraph doesn't give accurate cruise altitude. So, Navigraph isn't really a flight planning thing, it's more so just for charts and, like, you know, literally just charts. Navigraph is just nav data and charts. I use Simbrief. Simbrief is the only thing that I really know that will give you an accurate flight plan and all that. So, that's what I use, but I use it through Volanta. It was just the integration, so I don't have to manually put it all in. But yeah, I Volant uh, Navigraph is just for charts, and Vol Simbrief is for like the actual freaking flight planning and all that. That was a solid landing. It's giving us 123 and then 124, so I'll take that. Let's go back out, check it out in another angle here. Look, look how crazy it looks over here now in Osaka, bro. Simbrief is free and kind of easy to use. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Navigraph isn't like a isn't a it's just nav data and charts to see what's around the airport sim brief is where you get like your flight plans from so landing I'll, I'll say it a little bit of a float though that's the only downside that's all the eh. got a 128 on my landing uh, feeling intense satisfied in such extreme freeway after three eight. that's what i'm saying bro we basically just flew the whole length of freaking japan and then came back home like i think that was that's the that's why i think i wanted to end it here too because literally we just flew the whole japan like we flew from the bottom of japan basically to the top of japan and then we're landing back at the bottom of Japan. That's literally all we did. Like, what? Wait, those sceneries are free? Uh, yes. None of these are payware airports, Mikey. These are all free. That's what I was saying. I love flying in, like, other places other than the U.S. Because the freeware sceneries are actually freaking good. Instead of, like, all of America's freeware sceneries where they just look like blocks. It's horrible. If you have premium edition, do I uh, pay for Volanta? Yeah, I was about to say, only if you uh, have premium. Which I don't even really know what premium does. But, yeah. <clears throat> Volant is free. I don't have premium and I use it and it works perfectly fine. So, yeah, that was a solid landing. But I'll, I'll take that. That negative 91 and all that, that was a lot better. But one go around, I feel like one go around first stream is not bad. Is it uh, something you should pay for? I don't think so. I think, I think it's perfectly fine being a free product. I don't see you paying for it being a good thing. Here, you know what we're going to do? Go ahead and blow that out and then uh that's not what i was looking for we'll go here and we'll get drone follow mode off and since we landed like a f mile down the runway let's just scoot down here cool only if you want premium what's premium though like I don't, I don't even know what they have on premium to offer that's what i don't even know well i gotta go to sleep hope microsoft installed by 6 a.m see all right we'll see you man peace you guys do have the member emojis go ahead and spam peace for my boy eli flight some photo demon we'll see you man uh, throw that in for you. There you go, my guy. Uh, when you go live on YouTube, uh, when you go live, the YouTube website goes on. Do you have to exit out of it? Because when I, whenever I exit out to stream, the stream ends. Well, that's because you're, are you using OBS or something? Because I use OBS with the stream key. I don't just do it straight to YouTube. So if you have OBS through a stream key, I just close that and I only pop up the chat. And then I just sit here and I run off of, uh, I end the stream on OBS. <coughs> <laughs> Brandon, bro, what? Brandon with another five dollar donor. Really happy for you, bro. Since you <laughs> cocaine it. <laughs> okay, guys. For context, he goes to my school. <laughs> so this is 
bro. <laughs> like I said, I'm pretty sure people that go to my school lurk on my streams. Hint, him. Anyways, appreciate your five dollar donor. Thank, <laughs> thank you, my guy. I appreciate it. Um, oh, my phone just died. That's freaking crazy. Anyways, appreciate that though. W Brandon, appreciate that, man. Just wait for my screenshots of this computer. Oh, I know they're gonna go crazy. So sweet of Brandon. <laughs> The phone was that dono? I don't know. That's what I said for context. He goes to my school, so. <laughs> Super glitchy in the freaking replays, dude. I hate how glitchy it is. Sigma right there. Oh, yeah. He's at the thumbs up. All right. So, we're going to go ahead. We'll throw it back out. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. What about my screenshots? Your screenshots always look good. Waves. He's, he's kind of contesting you for screenshots. I'm not going to. All right, let's go ahead and get a pretty cool view here. We'll get one of the showcase locked views. We'll reset position and go fix camera here. Should I get with this one? I don't know if I should go with like an outside view or inside view. Okay, we're we're going to start doing this. Oh my God. I don't know why all the replay things aren't like popping up, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this sounds turned down. And uh, we shall get our intro playing and we'll be good. Or outro. Playing. Anyways, that was good. Wayso's, yeah, Wayso's amazing amazing screenshots. Brand, Brandon is right. Izzy Butters. Oh, the Colombian nose feel we were haul, hauling so nice of Brandon. <laughs> we don't talk about the Colombian nose feel, bro. We stopped. We stopped. That was like a while ago. You don't tell anybody about that. Give me the roll, please. I got you. I'll give you one. Guys, plane spotting is actually screenshots. Wow, that's crazy. That you get it man we use for replays i'm using uh what is it called it's on flightsim.to called flight recorder i'm using an old version i think i need to probably update it yeah who made the rjo scenery that has uh oh yeah i was about to say yes two other japanese scenery are freaking amazing too anyways we're gonna be ending stream tonight um i can't check what likes we're at because my phone just died because i forgot the charge was at like eight but that's fine i hope you guys enjoyed the stream i know we didn't hear our like goal of 90 but that's all good i had pretty pretty fun time flying with you guys five hour stream for today which is actually pretty crazy so again tomorrow we're probably gonna be doing some south africa flying i think that should be pretty fun in the phoenix so we're probably gonna cape town to johannesburg that's what the thumbnail is but yeah i'll be in the discord hanging out with you guys for probably like another hour and a half and i'm gonna go lay in bed because i'm trying to relax but i'll see you guys tomorrow probably around like 5 p.m 6 p.m est our time so yeah, i'll see you guys in the next stream thanks for the support and i'll see you Peace.